Hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Sheen Shots live stream. All right, just getting things set up here. We are good to go. Yeah, like I posted the other day, for those who saw my post on that, I uh, just got to stream some Outward this week because I don't want to get burnt out on Remnant 2 content. And uh, it's been a long time since I played Outward. I know I promised to several people that I would play it. And so I was like, you know what? Let's go back and do it today. Because why not? I got some free time before another uh, game comes out. Let's do it. All right, let me get... Uh... That's all good. Here we go. We'll just jump right in here. That's yeah, gonna be a corruption playthrough, which I've not done. Um, and I've got a, I got an idea, a couple ideas that I want to do here. So, we'll see how it goes. Kind of want to play into the frost a little bit too, because corruption gives frost damage. So we'll see if I can get that working. All right. Also, let me know if the music's too loud. I turned it up because I love it. I was listening to the title music again. I was like, dang, this is so good. Alright, we're gonna go for Dagger first, I think. Um, Dagger and probably Sword. Maybe Mace, I don't know. One of those two. Mace wouldn't be bad. Alright, does this cover up anything? No, we should be good. Nice. Okay. Let's see. We can decraft this. Be interesting to see if I remember anything. <laughs> like, as in all of my decrafting and all my uh, recipes and stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, that's good. I think I need iron for my shiv, though. What's up, Six? How's it going, dude? Yeah, I'm getting ready for our uh, our live stream on Saturday. I know I, we said we are going to do that. And I was like, you know what? It's a good time for Outward, bro. What's up, Kink? Realized last time I played Outward was made by a company in Quebec. Yeah. Yeah, they uh they put that in there a couple times. There's a couple words that are more Frenchish than anything else. Yes, sir, indeed. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to be back in Outward. Excited to see how the stream goes. You know, I haven't, I haven't played in a while, so could be a very unique and fun playthrough. That's for sure. He's a go ahead and sleep in one Okay, of the I got that. Rolls. I don't know if I want to decraft that yet. I might wait. Um, I'll take all that too. I'll probably drop the wood here in a second. That play it this week, get a refresher. Might as well. Just get back into the combat a little bit. Never hurts. What's up, Stefan? You're the best. Thanks, man. Play with my friend who's from Quebec, uh, Quebec City, and a lot of the city names are actually streets in Quebec City. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool. Very, what's up, Carito? Always a good time to get back into it. I, the only thing that's going to mess me up is I've been playing Remnant so much, I keep pressing tab to go in my inventory, and it's not the inventory button. <laughs> it's uh, I... Oh, man. I was doing it last night. I jumped in to just refresh a little bit. And I was doing it all night last night, too. Okay, decraft the pickaxe. And then I believe two iron. No, one iron. One iron linen cloth to make my shiv. And I can make a club as well. Drop the last piece of wood, and there we go. I just want to say thank you for the tips and videos. Help me clear Apocalypse to get Savior after playing for two weeks. Oh, awesome, Connor. Hey, congrats on the win, by the way. That's epic. Oh, yeah. I gotta... Crouch. Okay. Should I wanted to, like, equip my dagger skill, too, but they, uh... They're a little closer than I thought they were gonna be. I'm gonna watch my stamina here. Mm. 
Nice. Oh yeah, abuse the kick. Nice. Well, we can beat hyenas. That's a that's a plus. Always a plus. That's how you know it runs off to a good start. You didn't die the hyenas. <laughs> All right, let's craft a. I believe it's two leather. Yeah, make a leather outfit that we can carry more stuff. And then we'll decraft the other one, because I don't need that anymore. And we're good to go. Played Outward recently, I tried to do a rainbow hex, but the enchanting didn't work. Any reasons? Mm, not sure. I know the rainbow hex is going to be a bit finicky on when you, like, try to enchant it. I remember having issues with that myself, actually. What's up, Josh? Never heard of Outward before? Hearing you in chat talk about it. What's the game all about in the store? Uh, so it's a, it's a very straightforward RPG. You are role-playing as a shipwreck survivor. And you gotta go out into the world and try and pay off your debts for your house. And you save the world from some gods and liches. And It's like a very similar to a D&D &D type of story is what it is. I think I grabbed everything, didn't I? It's got a lot of D&D &D elements to it, actually. Other than, I mean, it's not D&D, &D, like... It's not related at all, but they do kind of like similar elements. Like there's troglodytes, which are basic little, uh, like frog cavemen that fight you and stuff like that. You'll see. It's fun. It's a fun game. All right. Um, we're gonna try and see if we can get Mafinos today too. Did I get any more leather? I did not. I decraft that though. Let's see. I might want to tone down the FOV so it stops clipping, but I I know I like the FOV a little bit bigger. Especially in Caldera. Higher FOV is amazing in Caldera. Let's grab all of that, actually. Some good stuff right there. Okay. Make sure I get my lantern down here, because I'll need that. Grab all that stuff. GM. There's the recipe. There's my bread. Okay, so now I can make the tartines. And it looks like... Two things of stew. Yeah, again, I turned the music up, so let me know if it's too loud. But I love the music, so it's going to be hard to put down. What's up, Link? <laughs> what version of the game are you playing? Uh, uh, Definitive Edition, yeah. Rise yeah, I'm going to go for a corruption-based build as well. Think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? A blood price is sacred. You got if I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever. Yeah. If you calm down, lady. I see you heard, mother. Away with you, or I I'm sorry. That was the first thing that gives. Once you can make the payment. All right, we got five days see. to pay back our Let's payment. Find a way to make it work. Does matter what I say? I don't think it does. It doesn't. You must find a. Have you forgot? Listen well. This is your task. That does never fit. Once you're ready to leave, remember, you only have a few days. Okay, yeah, five days for the May 50. Yeah, we'll just go do the basic stuff to get that. And then I think we'll go to Emmerker Forest first, honestly. I don't think there's anything I need here. Because I got to do Holy Mission and come back if we're going to do Corrupted Playthrough. You can use World Edge, or I'm actually going to try and use Dagger. Um, I have a neat idea. I don't know if it'll work that well, but I want to try and use Manticore Dagger. Since it gets four times damage on backstabs. I want to see if that pairs well with Corruption. I don't know for sure, but I think it might. Let me have a, yeah, there we go. Okay, the chest is to my left. Up the stairs. And we got some okay boots. I mean, it's better than I am wearing right now, so. Negative five stamina cost. I will not complain about that. I'll take it. What's up, Gig? First time watcher? What's up? Yeah, we're gonna go uh, horror armor and everything. We are gonna max out the corruption. I haven't done it before. I have no. I mean, I've done, like, variations of it and messed with it, but I've never done it on stream. 
the full long corruption playthrough, so. It's tough because you're extremely weak to lightning damage if you're wearing horror armor, but you have so much decay damage. Also, your physical defense is pretty high, too. Alright, we got the axe. Um, I can decraft that, I think. I don't know how much we'll need to use, like, traps. Actually, no, we want to sell all of that. Never mind, we don't need... Greetings, friend. He's got a pistol. Okay. It's not super important to me, but... Shoes. Clothing. Should I use that for linen cloth? I don't know. Nah, it's fine. Keep that. Ooh, elements resist potions. Sell that, that's good money. Don't need that right away anyway. Let's see if we got the cooking pot. We have Sears of Ceviche. Okay. What's up, Michael? Remember they added Zagus boots? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> do you remember the outrage we all had about it? How would they do this to us? Why would they nerf Zagus? Now we just all pretend it didn't happen. Try and get past it. There are little different builds in this game or something? Trying to gather what I can. Yes. So here's how builds work in this game. Um, there are skill tree masters or teachers throughout the world. I believe there are 12. I can't remember exactly. I think there's like, there's around 12. I remember the exact number. And basically how a skill tree works is you are allowed to build into the full skill tree, but only three times. So you can learn all the tier 1 skills from all the skill trees, but you can only earn the tier 2 and tier 3 skills if you build into it. And you only get 3 breakthrough points, meaning you can master 3 total trees. So the build variations come in, well, which which tree did you decide to build into? Um, which I'll show you in a minute where those are. But all of the skill tree trainers are, like, throughout the world. There's one in each town. There are some scattered throughout open areas as well. Are we doing blue chamber? No, we don't need to save him. Also, I should equip my... Dagger Slash. That way, when I go into a fight, I have it. But yeah, this is the first skill tree trainer. Amber, my friend. So as you can see, there's three skills. I can buy them freely. This is a breakthrough, so it'll cost one of my three. I actually am going to go into Kazite Spellblade because he has Ice Infused. I think it's a good idea. Um, and then the Tier 3 skills are up here above the breakthrough point. And so usually Tier 3, they were they tell you to split your points. So you can either get these two or these two. Some skill trees don't do that, but most do. I'm going to probably... But like the breakthrough of this one is increase maximum health, stamina, and mana by 15. I think I want the health right now, and then we want to grab the defense if I can, but I need the backpack first. We'll do a little scrounging around. I don't need to fight too much here, though. Rush Manticore Hammer for a decent early start. I'll probably Rush Manticore Dagger, actually. Okay, I've got enough to sell, I think. Started outward and it's been Isn't great. Thank you for. Really? Think they're gonna update outward anymore? Like more DLCs and stuff? No, they specifically said they they're not working on this game anymore. Hopefully they make a sequel, but they are done with this version of the game. Unfortunately, try keep the cooking pot. It's not a horrible idea. No, we don't want it right now. I can get a hat, like a basic hat. That's fine. Bag. There we go. Okay, so hood and leather. We can craft those together for makeshift leather hat. Now I've got my better backpack. It's not a piece of garbage. Sell the old one. Is there something you need? There we go. We got 35 silver, which is not enough is to buy. Need? I need 50. Do I, can I sell this? Crabe seeds. 43. Alright, come on. Give me something. What else is there here? Let's sell the weather potion. Alright, now I can go get the uh, block skill. Which is actually super useful right now. Any quality of life mods or vanilla? I'm doing vanilla. Um, because I'm going to do a modded playthrough with 6 on Saturday. He wanted to do one. 
And, uh, but this is going to be a vanilla playthrough because I haven't played in a while and I wanted to give people some legit content. That's no mods. What's up, D23 Slayer? Hope you're doing well. Glad to see you back in Howard. I'd like to ask you, I'm making a versatility comfort build with Hex, Rune, and Cabal Hermit. So you're doing Hex, Cabal, and Drums? Yeah, it's really good. Drums with Hex anytime is good, and then Drums with Cabal Hermit anytime is good, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both of those are very good. Amber, my friend. Alright, I want to train. Increase impact resistance by 10 while you're blocking. I should save my butt multiple times. Oh, I need to not run too much, though. Gotta go see y'all. Yeah, catch you later, Six. Okay, so the main thing that I want to do is not waste water. Alright, got plenty of stuff. Oh, wait. No, I need my skill, don't I? Crap, I almost forgot about that. That was close. I guess I, I probably would have remembered in the cave when I got into combat. We'll go mace. Actually, no. I want the sword skill. Um, so I can inflict pain. I don't need that until I go to Levant, and I can learn it in Levant, I think. So that's not too big a deal. We'll start out with the Mace and Fuse, because it's really good. Need something? Well, you got this. There you go. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you All want right. to head out. Now we got Mace and Fuse, finally. Nice. Now we're good to go. Bird mass farm for time saving? Uh, probably not. If I, I'll, I'll kill a couple birds, see if I get it, but I won't farm it out. I'm not too worried about it. The early game gear, Amalite or Blue Sand? Let me think. Blue Sand wouldn't be bad, but I don't know if I necessarily need it, you know? I'm going corrupt. Blue Sand would be good if I'm going corruption, actually. At least the... Whatever one has the decay. I don't remember which one has a decay resist. It might be the boots. What's up, Ahmed? Did just Bob Outward and your videos are so much help? At the fourth time to start a new faction quest? Thanks. Oh, nice, dude. You're almost done with all the factions, then. If you've done each faction quest. I know I did the same one a couple times. Yeah, horror armor is going to be the, the armor for sure. That's like the most obvious choice, I think. Breakthroughs I'm thinking of are going to be Cabal Hermit, obviously. It's like a, a no-brainer. I'm thinking probably Rogue Engineer. Just... Yeah, just because of, you know, being able to wear the backpack and dagger skills, that type of thing. And I'm thinking probably because I had Spellblade, too. So I can get Frost and Fuse easily. But I'm not 100% on any of them except for Cabal Hermit. That's the only one that I know for a fact I need. Alright, I have the Pickaxe. Okay. What's up, Raboyna? Good to see you, man. Alright, here we go. Dagger's super good. I'm just thinking if I can get backstab. Oh, that's another thing we're going to go do. We're going to go die. Actually, we don't need to die. We need to get captured. We need to get captured by the... Actually, I have an idea for that. If this works, it could be pretty cool. If it doesn't work, I will lose a lot of my loot. But... It should work. Bro climbed a rock on me. So far we're doing really good. I feel good about this. The dagger the dagger gameplay is just something I'm very familiar with, and it's easy to use. I mean, it probably would have been easier with a shield too. Make my water. Yeah, we're gonna do the Fendival Slavery quest. Because backstab is gonna be huge if I can like use it properly. It's gonna be massive for the early game. Speedster, but without the corruption resistance? Um, would Speedster be a bad... I don't know. Speedster might be a good idea. I don't use it very often. I'm not sure. 
No, I get it. I, I don't... It's like, you cover different games. Not everybody's gonna be into all the games. I get it, Perbuena. No worries, my dude. I'm happy to be back into Outward for a little bit. I, I love this game. The adventure is the aspect. Once I was, like, streaming it five times in a row, I, it lost the adventure aspect. A little bit. Because I just knew everything. Now that I'm back into it for a brand new, just clean playthrough without having played for a bit, this is really fun. It's already really fun. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Probably... I gotta craft the... Where's that? Ah, here we go. Ice rag. Which I actually don't need... I just remembered that. What I do need is a bandage, which I have. I'll craft more of them, though. You never have too many bandages. Mods went. We're doing mods on Saturday, actually. Uh, Six wanted to do a healer mod co-op playthrough, and so I was like, I'll, we'll do some mods together. That sounds fun. I can't... I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. All right, we'll give him a bandage. I can feel it working. Thanks a bunch. Ow. I don't think I'm fit to run oh, back. That's funny. This guy has, like, no impact in the story. All right. Sure. Here we go. Got to drop the bag right here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I blocked it. Easy. He gave me the power to defeat him. Brilliant. This stupid idea on his part. Alright, do I want to sleep here? No. No, I'm good without doing it. I'd probably just go straight back to the... Let's just go straight back to town. I'll turn that in and then we can go to Vendival. Worth going to the Academy? Yes, it is very much worth going to the Academy. I just don't know when I want to do so. That's the only thing right now. End up crafting more bandages than I'll ever use. I do that sometimes too, Besky. <laughs> I do that too. Oh man, we don't want to fight on a hill, though. Okay. Nice. All right. I think Mason Fuse, that was the best choice I could have made. Mason Fuse is just so good early on. Like, I think all of them are, but Mason Fuse specifically gives you such a huge boost. I think on one of my playthroughs, I ended up with like 60 plus bandages in a chest. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, if you have extra, like, linen cloth, it's not really a bad idea to make them. And so, yeah, it's very easy to end up with like a ton. Oh, that's the wrong button. Gosh darn it. Can you imagine if I'd gotten Pearl Bird Mask first try? Can you imagine the outrage in chat? That would have been cool. Nah. Can we just talk about the fact that this game has an auto-walk function? Holy cow. This is like something that needs to be in every game, and it just isn't. It's amazing. Gonna do mace all run. Sky Crime is easy. That's a good point. I don't know. I was thinking about either doing mace or sword. Because I'll probably end up doing sword for pain. But here's the thing. If I don't take Rogue Engineer and I take Warrior Monk instead, I can get super easy access to pain and confusion, which could be huge. That could be really huge, so I might end up doing that instead. Mm. 
What's up, Randy? How's it going? Yeah, what's up, guys? Let's see. Do I want the bird eggs? I'll grab them. Where's the thick oil? Isn't there a thick oil somewhere around here? Here it is. Should I kill some hyenas? Get like a... Probably get like an iron sword or something. Let's do that before we go back to town. Axes have Tal's cleaver. Hmm, I guess I could go axe too. That's a good point. I don't know what I'm going to go. I got a couple options. I guess more options than I thought I had. Alright. I think they're on him. Yes, they are. Okay, he's helping me. Not really what I wanted, but... Okay. Now I hit the pro bird. Nope! Oh, you suck, dude. Dang it. I didn't think I got any... <laughs> I got nothing. Dang it. No, we gotta wait. I didn't mean to hit him. I meant to hit the other guy. Oh, well. All right, I kept the bag on. We're going to take that off now. Okay. As long as I clear one, I can clear the other. I marry you. No, don't do that. Okay. Get out of here, dude. I made you go back to Outward. I had a couple of people ask me to play Outward uh, this last month, and so I figured I would anyway. Uh, I think we may play Enshrouded next week. People told me to try that. If I have some extra time, I might go try it. Uh, I don't again. I don't know when like new content's coming out for any of the games that I'm looking forward to. So it's it's tough to be like I'm guaranteed to play this. But this week we're playing Outward because I have people that want me to play it and I want to. It's a fun game. It, it draws you back in so easily. All right, we'll go in here. I want to buff up real quick though. Been hear about this corruption bill for years. Yeah. <laughs> Why did it not let me in? Oh, here we go. There we go. What's up, Joe Benji? How's it going, dude? If you're going to horror set, you'll need fang stuff. Good point. Alright, give me fangs. Yes, okay. We can make an iron sword if I want one. Or I can just make an iron mace. I don't know. You know what? Let's make a sword. Because when I go to Vendival, I can kill that guy out in front, and he's gonna have a confusion mace anyway. I'll just use that. Remember the DLC early mid March, right? I would assume so, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Hope you're doing well too. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm back to this. It's good. Been playing in Shrouded. Getting some funny glitches flying along the ground. It looks like a decent game, yeah. Looks like a decent... It looks very similar to Valheim in a lot of ways, actually. Alright, which way do we want to go? Do we want to go... You know what? You know what? If we're going to do this, let's just go do the Troglodyte Cave. Because I think I have extra room. Yeah, I do. And then I can get the shield, turn that in, get the heart, turn that in too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. I gotta come off. No, 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 no. No! Get back here, stupid... Wait, what if I just kill the dog? Okay, that might stop him. Maybe I can sneak up on him now. Oh, he's out of here, dude. No, 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 no. Crouch. I'm clearly invisible when I crouch. No, you can't see me. I'm crouched. Dumb bird doesn't even understand how crouching works in video games. 
Stupid pearl bird. Angers the crap out of me. <laughs> I got away. Dragon's Dogma 2 coming out in March? Oh yeah, I know. I'm telling you, Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out in March. There's good I didn't realize March was coming up on us so soon, actually. It is at the end of March though, so we still have basically two months. It's still very exciting. I don't know if I want to fight bandits yet. Let me go hit up the... What is it? The item storage up here? See if I can get a... If I can get the Mathenos early on, I can go do the horror farm right before I go to Hollowed Marsh for the campaign quest. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, he walked right up the mountain on me. Okay. That is not ideal loot. Not gonna lie. Yeah, the two months probably will fly by, but... I'm trying to stifle my expectations, so I don't, like, get too excited too soon. That's why I haven't watched hardly any of the Dragon's Dogma 2 trailers, because I'm like, I don't want to be too excited. I'm already excited, but I want to, like, pump myself up too much and then not be able to play it for a while. There's a lot of pearl birds here. I don't know what's going on with that. I saw the first trailer, but I haven't watched too much else other than that. No, come on. Alright, I got lucky. I thought he was going to get away too. That would be another pearl bird? I guess we are pearl bird farming unintentionally. I messed up my melee combo. That's why I almost got away. Ah, the pearl bird mask. What are we, 0 and 6 right now? I think we're 0 and 6. Another pearl bird. What in the world? There's never this many pearl birds. Oh, my expectations are way too high for this mask. We're not getting the mask. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. You only get it when you're not thinking about it. If mercenary is an option, maybe horror pistol? Ooh. I wasn't going to, but horror pistol is really good for corruption. Blood bullet? Mmm. That was not a plan, but that does sound like a good idea. Here we are, Blister Bro. Do I have any amount of lightning? No. I can craft one, though. I think. Unless I'm out of linen. No, I have linen. My eggs. There we are. Need some more water. That is true. You gotta get them all. Gotta get all the pearl birds. Don't want to sell that? No. That's a waste of time. Time to go farm some Traumatites. While I have lightning active. My stamina drain is pretty bad, though. I'm only at half. I ideally would not fight the boss, but probably going to anyway. Not quite yet, though. Ooh, that is some juicy loot right there. Where's the other one? There's another bot. Oh, here it is. That is some unjuicy loot. That is terrible. Alright, let me think. 
Can I go up this way and like cut him off maybe? Might be able to. I don't want to get surrounded is the thing. Oh yeah, I can. Oh crap. Come on. Yes. Yes. The big boy went in the other room. Okay. Probably shouldn't go over here and attack him, but I'm going to. Right here. He's right here. Drop the bag. Lightning varnish? Where's my lightning varnish? Crap. Gabberry? Here we go. Oh, I dodged and it did not do it. I, uh, pressed the button a little early there. No, I got him! Aw. Oh. Taking me more to impact him than I thought it was. Thank goodness I have the health potion, huh? Thought I was gonna impact him quickly? I guess I don't have... What's the impact on the mace, anyway? 20? Hmm. Probably not that good. Okay, uh, let's just take the potion because I have it, and then I'll heal up with, like, meat or something, too. Alright, we just came here for... the shield, so let's get that and get the heck out of here. Yeah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna fight a whole sloth of those guys. Uh, let's see, where's my stamina at? Here you are. What's up, Estev? Started playing this game a few weeks ago with my girlfriend. We're now moving... Loving the game. Now 90 hours in it. Nice. Yeah, thanks, dude. Hopefully you continue to enjoy it. It's pretty great. What's up, Critical? It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It's a very, like... It's a long game. You're gonna play for a while. It's like an RPG. It's, it's an RPG. You play for a long time. And But the ramp up to the combat is so good. Some of the later fights are awesome. Combat feels a lot better on mouse and keyboard. I think so. I I wasn't a fan of controller that much, but I also got used to mouse and keyboard for games like this, so that's kind of why I think. Just clean water in this cave if you need to refill. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I guess I could have. I didn't wish I'd seen that before I started that fight, actually. What's up, Dominic? Thank you for all the videos on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I did a lot of videos on YouTube. I get people I get people saying that all the time, like, oh, thanks for making these videos, dude. You have, like, 70% of the content on the game. I, I, I'm glad people enjoy it. It's a fun game. I had a great time making content for it, too. Oh. I was hoping we get it. All right, we've got the heart, the shield. Five, four lanterns? Wow. We're set, dude. Now I go get backstab, and then I think we can. I could. Ooh, you know what though? We could go to Hollow Marsh first. I have not done that in a long time. Should I do that? Let me think. If I can somehow get a horror weapon, I could deal with lightning enemies a lot easier. So maybe not. Maybe we go to Enrigger first. The flamethrower could be useful, yeah. Mostly for throwing, though. I, I mean, I am going to go magic a little bit. I want to use mana infusion, I think, too. Is that what it's called? Is it it's infused mana? I think it's infused mana. Uh, whatever skill it is, it lets... Oh, mana ward. That's what it's called. Greetings, I'm going to use friends. that a little bit. Lend me about your, as a matter of fact, I could use... Is what I You'll know it if you find it. Perfect. Lend me your ear. Okay, she gives me the antidote, and now I give her. Lend me your. I'm always. Oh ho! Excellent. Thirty silver. Lend me your ear. You've earned this. Seventy. Lend okay. me your ear. 
So now I got both the antidotes and this 100 silver. Nosh. Anything else I need to buy here, though? I don't think so. I could get shield infusion or shield bash just in case. Shield charge, I think it's called. Maybe I save that up. What's up, DJ? Thought he missed the heart so fast. Oh, yeah, I went and got it early. I grabbed it first and then I came back around, yeah. Ah, I got her. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, I got the chest over here, too. I, this is where I got these boots at, actually. Greetings. How good you have a wait and don't. All right, here's my Only tribal favor. Is leaving to go join the holy, as will we all. This is Avic. <sighs> Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Pretty good so far. We're getting stuff done pretty quick. I want to retrace back to Sierzo to get the Enmerker and Ziggurat shortcut. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I should just go to Enmerker first and then get like. Get some money too for when I go there because I might need money. Um, I need to talk to Yazan, don't I? I take it. I've got listen. Ah! Spam the dialogue button. Face the Abrasar Desert. I'll be waiting for you. I need to take a nap too. That way I have my stamina. What's up, father? How's it going, dude? To try and shroud it in power chain? I know, shrouded some people brought it up to me after I made that post. I'm actually gonna try it out, I think. Uh, I wanted to get what a... What can I do for you? Alright. Iron sword. There's one fang and one linen cloth, I believe. Yeah. All right, now I talk to Aaliel, spam the dialogue button. Mm. Once in the marsh, follow the pilgrim road. Which faction? We're probably going to go holy, holy mission. Because holy mission grants us a 20, 20 resistance to decay if I do it properly. Which is going to be really important for... Actually, I guess I don't need decay resistance. Technically. There you are. This it's going to be important if I want to use stuff like it's your Shriek choice. later your on. Life. You will need hmm? listen well. But I like the extra defense anyway. I, if I wanted to go damage, it would be better to go heroic, actually. But now that I'm thinking about that, if I don't ever want to use Shriek, I could just go heroic, go for more damage. I mean, I am kind of going dagger. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? That's that's a tough call, honestly. I was thinking I needed the corruption, but I guess I really I really don't. I don't need that resistance that much. All right, we'll sleep. Always end up going back to heroic. It's uh, I mean the damage is just nice, you know. Why don't you use sword from the start to get puncture? Because I'm gonna go to. Levant later on to get my dagger skills, and I think the sword skills over there anyway. I made the iron sword so I have it. I'm not going to use it regularly. It would have been a good idea, but sh like Mason Fuse is just so powerful beginning because you can get like a lot of advantages from it. So I figured it'd probably be a better idea to start with that. I think I'm going to sell some stuff and maybe get my first faction, my first breakthrough point. Do I want to take a side spell blade? I guess it's technically I don't really need it. What if I go warrior monk, rogue engineer, and then I just use like ice infusions? Let's do that. Dagger and pistol build with Levant quest. I guess I start with a pistol that way too, don't I? Amber, my friend. Grab that. So I have it for when I need it. All right, let's go get backstab. I want to cook any of this meat, probably.
Is there something you need? Let's see. I want to sell these for now. These for now. Oh, no. One of those. One of those. We're going to keep stealth potions. That's actually useful for this run. They're usually not. Usually don't care about them. Don't need leather. Don't need that. Okay. So we might end up going to Enmerker and then going straight to... I think I have a cooking pot in me, don't I? Doesn't matter. I can get one when I go to Vendable. I cook up that meat there. Let me think real quick. I have enough meat to start off. Two, five, stamina, stamina. Okay. How heavy is the survival crafting element in this game? The survival crap the survival and the crafting are like two different things. So like if you want to try and survive based on like health and all that stuff, there's a lot of crafting you can do to make weapons, make health potions, make mana potions and stuff. But in terms of actual survival, it's very minimal after you start to upgrade. There are a couple upgrades you can buy throughout the game that decrease as one specific one that decreases how much food costs that you need. Um and there's a weather one too. So like their survival aspect can be minimized by wearing certain gear and stuff. But the crafting, you're going to be crafting a lot to get like cool items and selling stuff, making money, all that jazz. I have zero idea what's going on. I'm somehow still enjoying this. The game seems pretty neat. It's a very cool idea. It's a very cool idea. I've always enjoyed the game myself. Aha, the cooking pot. Okay, we do have one. Very nice indeed. On the fence about this one, but I got Outriders a few days ago. It's been a blast. Oh, you like the Outriders? Nice. I haven't played that game since it came out. So hopefully it is uh, in a pre pretty decent state at this point. Dude, attack me, please. Thank you. Come on, attack me again. Ooh, I missed. That sucks. What? Gonna take the hit there, I guess. Jeez. Alright, let's do... Do we need Conflux? We don't need Conflux yet. Dude, I'm debating on Heroic at this point. Like, extra damage on Backstab? That'd be huge. I think that'd be a good idea. The Helldivers 2 looks great, too. That's what I'm waiting on. It comes out, what, two weeks from now? Is there another thing I could check here? Does anyone remember? Let me think. There's five, there's, what, six, seven in total? Let me see. Ah, here it is. I said it's somewhere around here. Power coil. Ah, dang it. Need a power coil. Helldiver's hype is real. I know, it's going to be awesome. Rogue Engineer and Mercenary Trees are both pretty useful. Like, if I took both, the thing is... You have any idea how much stamina I would have? It'd be insane. Also, you want to know something funny? I'm thinking about using the Light Backpack. The one that gives you light. Like, I think it's called the Brightstone Backpack, maybe? I can't remember if that light lets you stay stealth or not. I remember hearing something about that, but I... Like, no one ever uses this backpack, so... I just can't remember. Hold up, there's actually one to my right I can go get to. The glowstone, that's what it is. That was close, a bright stone. Bright stone's from Minecraft. <laughs> that's funny. 
If one thing you could add to this game, what is it? I would add passive uh, encounters throughout the game. That's the only thing this game really needed to beef it up a little bit was like random encounter, more random encounters than just enemies, like random NPC, like the Sorry Boring Caravaner. There should be stuff like that all over the place. Random merchants, random people to help, random mini quests, all the, just all over. Oh, that's why they're not dying fast. I didn't varnish up. Passive animals, all kinds of stuff like that. Just have a bunch of random weird side activities that we could do if we wanted to, that we don't have to. Brigand's backpack is an option. Brigand's backpack would be good, but the no lantern is... Eh, I mean, I could use the runic lantern, technically. I don't know if I want to be casting runes this whole playthrough, though. The hunting bag? Uh, which one's the hunting bag? They'll tell stories about this? Which one is that? Is that the... The dwellers? Come on, give it to me. This game right now, dude. They've clearly said no to the whole Mofino's trading backpack. It's not a thing. Not for this run. Hunter bag is on. Oh, the Mofi. Oh, uh, yeah. What's it called? Zafino's hunting backpack? Yeah, that one. That's a good one. Hmm, negative stamina cost. I wasn't even thinking about that as an option. I guess it's fine. Probably gonna go brigand over that, though. I guess that one has a lantern. Eh. I'm, I'm gonna use maybe the glowstone. If the glowstone backpack lets me stay, like, stealthy while the light is active, I'm gonna use it. So if that doesn't work, then we'll, we'll use, like, hunting or brigand. Uh, it just depends on how things go, really. Oh, finish the questline without ever being defeated? Ah. You can actually do the entire questline without fighting anything until the very end. If you really are think you're going to have trouble with it, you can do most of the game without fighting anything until the very end. At the end, you have to fight stuff. Actually, no. Technically, you don't have to fight anything at the end. If you do the quest the right way, you do all the side quests, the guardsmen will fight for you. And you can kind of stand back and range stuff. Well, if you go tank, like blue chamber and then go tank, it's not too bad. That'd be an easier way to do it. What's up, Michael? I've been to say I love your hour content. Oh, awesome, dude. My go-to source for hour guides. Ah, that's glad to hear it, dude. Glad to hear it. Is Butcher killable by the guards? Yeah. Somewhat. Like, if you if you do it properly, he should be killable. Uh, and then if you, like, sit back and range with a bow or something, he, he'll die. He'll die. It, like, if you do that, that quest properly with all the side quests, there's so many guards there that even if they beat Burak, I think the extra silver armor guards should be enough to at least get him close. You might be able to finish him off with, like, a bow shot or something. Bow playthrough is by far the easiest that thing you can do with the game. So, if, I mean, if you really are think you're going to have trouble, go bow, dude. It's it's really nice. When I did my bow playthrough, I think it's the only playthrough I never died. Or no, I think I died one time, and it was to something stupid. Because I like to play the game in weird ways and jump off cliffs <laughs> like an idiot. Now, I, I don't remember if that was the playthrough I got stuck in a trap or jumped down a hole or what it was. I died in some weird way, though. Play bow and great mace. Bow great maces. Great maces in particular is amazing. Alright, we're gonna go after this guard. Just so I can get a feel for the combat with him. Oh, there's two over there, actually. Come on, buddy. Ooh, we dodged. Did 
Dang, that machete's fast. Holy cow. You're not like that. Do bandage, too. Alright, now we got a double healing. Need my water. That's the wrong one. Okay. Oh, I got the archer on me. Epic fail. Watch him. Careful. Where'd they go? Ah. Oh, step in it, step in it. Oh, come on. Wow, I'm honestly impressed. Hey, they did not get in that at all. Yeah, I gotta get around this rock. Oh, I did a bad thing. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now they're both on fire. Now I can switch back to dagger. Drop the backpack. Ooh, don't get hit that by that guy. That sucks. Alright, he's dead. Thank goodness I had that fire on him. He was taking no damage. Come on, buddy. Kind of need, like, an infusion or something here. Did I have my ice rags in my pocket? If I do, that'd be nice. Nah, because that would be convenient, bro. I should really redo my pocket inventory. There you are. Now let's do this. For real. Oh my word with the dodging. You have like resistance to cold? I feel like I'm doing less damage. Alright, let's just pull out the friggin' lanterns. I don't have a good weapon for this guy at this point. I guess... Fi oh, you know what? Fang would have been good. Should have switched to that. Let me get back up on this rock real quick. It worked before. Okay. If I can hit all of them with this, that'd be so sweet. There's two of them. He's gonna step in it. He's gonna step in it. Yes, he walked in it. That's a win. Lanterns are overpowered. Ah! <laughs> Lanterns. What are you doing, bud? You're just dying. Stupid people. Anyway. That's 10 protection. Yeah, that's a good point. I thought he... I think he has ice resist, too, because he seemed very resistant to that. All right, that was much more lengthy than I thought it was going to be. But that is fine. He also had, like, no loot. I just wanted his mace. Did I pick that up, by the way? There it is. All right, we could drop the... Oh, my mace was breaking, too. That makes even more sense now. Alright, take everything I need here. Move this to bag. Move to bag. Move that to bag. All of my important stuff needs to be in the bag now. I've never tried this. I assume it would work, though. What the heck is that? I don't have any reason why it would not work. Move to bag. Why I have five of those, I don't know. Okay. 
What happens if I just draw my backpack outside and then get captured? This could be a grave error, but I feel like that's the way to do it. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Should I force pull the backpack? Yeah, you like that? <laughs> all right Ooh, i guess i you know what i want to keep my weapon too don't i that i literally just picked up i don't want to throw that away put that back in a backpack Um, there we go. Some armor in there, too. Alright, now, I think I just have to get captured, do the, the mining, and then I can just jump down the hole and get that guy out of there. You drop it inside before talking? I think so. Well, now, what do we have here? A lost traveler? We'll take good care of you. What can I do for you? And we get put in jail. Because he's a very nice guy. Okay. Step two. Remember when they had in the old version of the game and they had like nine pickaxes here? I don't know why they got rid of that. It seemed like a cool idea. I miss it, honestly. Super easy iron. Alright, there's a dead body here that I can't use. Nope, not the bed. Use the body, please. That's right. Corpse. Corpse, please. Corpse. There we go. Alright, let me go mine some iron. Yeah, free clothes. How are the only other game besides Kenshi where starting as a slave is optional? <laughs> or optimal? Yeah. Why not if it gets me a super powerful skill that I can use for the rest of the game? I say heck yeah. I don't know how much iron I actually need. Oh no, I think I just need to craft a... A shiv, don't I? Yeah, I just need to craft a shiv. I don't even need that much iron. Damn. She can't take it anymore. She wants out. Ah! Let me help her. I already read that. Let's see. I can decraft my boots that I got. And make a shiv. There you go, lady. Damn. Give me a hand, will you? Oh. Aha! Mm. Backstab! Mm. Mm. Dagger attack. If the attack hits the enemy's back, the damage and impact are tripled. Sweet. Does she, like, end her life with it, though, too? Yeah, she does. Free shiv. Nice. Geronimo! That kind of is a death. I think it does. Yeah, backstab is going to be awesome. It's going to be epic, I think. I think technically that counts as a death. But that's how you get out of there anyway. So it's fine. Now, yes, my backpack is still here. Okay, so you can do that and not lose any of your gear. I mean, you can fight your way out, but... Just jump down a hole. This is why I left the Hex thing on there, too, by the way. I had Hex potions. I almost sold both of them, but I need just one to get rid of all this crap. Just need one. Oh, 
Where's my backpack at? Oh, actually, my backpack is out here. They moved it. Does that mean my equipment is still in here? Huh. It still moves your bag, but the bag wasn't on you. That's so weird. I never tried that before. That's very, very odd. Oh, well. I have a bedroll. We'll just sleep real quick. I have water, and I have... Actually, I could set up, like, a camp. A makeshift camp. Uh, let's see. Do I need, I need wood? Where is wood at? Hey, look! The red moon! Let me grab some wood real quick. And I need food. There's that. There's some bread. Wolf that down. I need more bread? Wow. I was very hungry, apparently. And, yeah. I need some wood, and I can make a camp, and I can cook the rest of my meat, and I can also get the water from the sea salt. Oh, hey, the caravaner. Is that him? That might be him. That's unideal. That is the caravaner, though. Lore-wise, what is the ring on the ship? I have no idea. I assume it's some kind of sail. Like a magic sail. Because that kind of makes sense. That They have a lot of magic in this world. They would use that to kind of get across faster. Alright, I only have one guy on me. Not too bad. I need to get a lantern out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Forgot I have zero health. Uh, that's fine. Come over here, dude. I need to get a lantern so I can burn you to death. No, don't do that. There, do that. Alright, lantern's in my pocket. Stand in the fire a little bit more, please. Nah, he'll die to fire, though. Buddy, hurry it up. Please. I have no weapon. Not a good fight for me. I'm trying to make camp here. Alright, finally. I'm just trying to get some wood, man. Alright. Campfire kit. Put that right here. Light that up with the five flint and steel I have for no reason. Get my cooking pot. Remember when I and my friend first time came from that place? He was talking to the guy and said, oh, we could finally rest. And we went to jail. <laughs> I did the same thing first time I did it. Me and my brother were like, oh, this is cool. We're going to get to be friends with this guy. And then he put us in prison. And we were, we actually restarted after that. Because we jumped down the hole and we thought we lost all our stuff. It was quite the time. It was very funny. Very funny encounter. Alright, now I need my sea salt. And I can cook that too. Of all the places they could put you, though, after, you know, getting demolished by the hole, not a bad place to be. Alright, there's those two. Now let's just take a nap. And when I say nap, I mean let's just straight up go to bed for like 24 hours. Gotta get that protein, bro. How much was it? Was it like 18? I think it was 18 pieces of meat. You always find it funny in games where they have like no limit on what you can actually eat. Because your character can just wolf down a thousand pounds of meat in like three seconds. It's very unrealistic, but very hilarious at the same time. 
Okay. Well, what do I want to do with that? Just use it. All right, we got two options. We can move on, or we can wait and heal up a little bit more. I say we move on. Let's do that. All right, some more of those. I think we'll just go end marker then. I got all the stuff I need now. Backstab is going to be awesome, though. All right, let me actually equip my shiv. Uh, I got that. All right, what am I actually carrying that's making me too heavy? Probably the mace. Yeah, the mace is super heavy. All right, I got four rations. Got some traps. We could make some traps out of this. We wouldn't fight anything. Actually, we can go get my manticore dagger, like, right now. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Do stamina. Here we go. The only tricky thing will be actually hitting them with the backstab, you know? It's not exactly like they want you to backstab them. No! Alright, he's not gonna let me do it. If I can, like, knock him over, I can get the free backstab, though. Oh, you may be a liar. Usually, that's how that would work. This thing is slow. It's going to be better on bigger enemies, though. Because, like, impact on a humanoid, eh. Not amazing. Should I grab a bow? Do I need a bow? I don't need a bow. It's a cool idea, though. Oh, the caravan are moved. That's lame. I thought that was going to happen, too. Mm, decraft that. Perfect timing. I know, right? What's up, Alpha? How's it going? That was perfect timing for me to say that. Um, Where's the black pearl bird? We didn't see him. That's odd. You know what? I need a... Uh, what do I need for the... I'm gonna go there and kill the manticore? Might be a good idea. To just straight up get fire potions. I can kill the immaculate, get a fire potion. I need a gem though. Let's go kill the mad captain and get ourselves a guaranteed gem before we head to Emmerker. I think it's an emerald that I need. If I remember correctly. I guess I could start that quest, too. Treasure hunting quest. Why not? Poison rags? I think we want a fire varnish. So I think we're going to try and kill the... Im the Immaculate up there usually drops one. He's going to be a tough fight, though. I don't know if I actually do want to fight him. Normally, it would be fine. But at this point in the game, I have such low impact resist that it might go south pretty fast. I need Amolite. I did grab a piece. Somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Amolite. I need one Amolite. One Manticore Tail. And a Rondel Dagger, I think. Sorry, your video that said new trailer and thought it was Remnant DLC announcement. Oh, really? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I uh, I made one last year, and the one I made last year was, like, really long. So this year, I just made a super short one. Just talk about what's up with the channel. I was going to post it at the beginning of the year, but I just got behind on some stuff and finally finished it up this week. What's up, Sando? I need a Palladium Scrap, too. Okay. Do I need that Rondel Dagger, though? I think I do, right? Because it used to be three items, and now it's four. One tail, one palladium, one amulet. Okay, so no rondel dagger. I'll grab the rondel dagger then for free. That way I have something that's a little bit better. Okay, this guy's no pushover, though. So 
So much so. Okay. How many did I get? 21. I need one tripwire. It's going to give me enough impact to... Backstab him, I think. I need... My shiv equipped. Don't know what he's weak to. Off the top of my head. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh. That was a lot of damage that he did to me. Do I have a health potion? No, I don't. Dude, he hit me one time. I got roasted. Okay, the tripwire did a bunch less than I thought. So I need... Next time, I need two tripwires. Did half my health. Whoa. That desert kopesh don't be playing around. Also, I have no armor, so... <laughs> What's up, Smokey Man? Oh, I need the bandage. I need another meat stew, too. I forgot my health was a little damaged, anyway. Do I have anything to cure that? Like, paste or something? No, no paste. It's fine. I'll just give it a second here. Some more water. Alright, I think I can use kick, too. If I use... I just needed to probably use the kick after that. He's really fast, though. That's what I was worried about. I was afraid that he was gonna get hit by it. Instantly hit me as I went to kick him. So then I just didn't kick. Oof, that is slow. There we go. I mean, even if I don't hit the backstab, I still have that extra damage just from it being a skill. Alright, uh, there's my large emerald. And my coat remains. I think I need that for horror armor, actually. Let me go start the treasure hunting quest. I've sailed the whole world, but my time has come. The treasure I leave is small, but it's valuable beyond compare. If you believe yourself worthy of my legacy, start your journey by going inside my old ship's cabin buried in the sand. Dude had a czar stone for no reason, though. Padded armor. Don't need that. We'll decraft that, and we'll decraft this. And then we'll drop... Am I fishing, like, at all? I should be, but I'm not. Move that to pocket. We'll keep the fishing hook for now. Usually I end up throwing out my harpoon like super early on. I kind of like to not do that this run. I just remembered. The Immaculate has my Decay Boon. I'm going to make it a build a Speedster Monk and Rogue Engineer using the Dancer set. Oh, uh, you could use Knuckles with that. That'd be insane. You could use Knuckles with that? That'd be crazy. Alright, we'll delete the Kopesh. How much does it do? Kopesh does 22 damage. What does an Iron Sword do? Fang does 22. But she has more impact. 17 impact versus 7. It's the exact same. Alright. I was wrong on every account there. Make our way to the ship. We will get a Rondel Dagger. I should have gotten there early. Rondel Dagger would have been super nice. The padded armor. There's Amalite everywhere in chest knees. It's true. It's true. I guess Amalite really wouldn't have been a bad idea, but... I always like running with simple leather armor. Early on, just for the extra power space, and... Amalite's not my favorite, actually. I prefer blue sand over Amalite, I think. She's back in Howard. What's up, Ashram? Heck yeah, dude. 
Are you on me right now? No. An emerald. So... That entire thing I just did there was unnecessary. It's a mana stone. Love your outward streams? Awesome, dude. I know a lot of people do. That's why... I, I was kind of excited to come back and do one again. It's always fun. It's a, it's an easy game to interact, too, because like I, there's a lot of walking time. I could just look at chat. What's your typical upgrade path for armor on a melee build? On a melee build, I usually... I get a lot of... A lot of times, I'll go for... Um... Leather immediately. Leather is always what I get immediately. Because it's super easy to do. Like, you could just make it even before you get to the town, almost. And once I have that... If I'm going heavy, like, tank, I can get blue sand... I usually don't go heavy tank. So then I'll go... Just stick with leather for a while. Ooh, hack knight. That's what I wanted. Like I said, I, I would like to use amylite more, but I, it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know. My armor progression is kind of weird. I've never really used padded that much. Padded isn't horrible. I mean, you can get some... It's got some okay defense. I'm trying to think. I'd like to get Master Trader stuff as soon as possible. At least a chest plate. On a melee build, less so. Because Master Trader is more of like... Faster, nimble playstyle. You should go Amalite because the damage boost. I have before. I think I did one playthrough where I got the Amalite armor. Damage boost never hurts. That's true. Alternate starts. Yeah, there's a mod for alternate starts, and I think it does improve the game a lot, actually. All I need is my Rondel Dagger. Ooh, thick oil. I never have too much of that. So you go to Caldera, you do that one oil the cavern, and then you have, what, 70 oil? And then you go, yeah, this is too much. Plus you're a gun guy, and then you're super happy about it. Alright, here's the chest. Let's see if I remember this. It's not too hard. It's just moon and stars, isn't it? Yeah, moon and stars. Nice. My Gabriel wine. Rondel Dagger goes from the Shiv doing 19 damage, 25 impact, to 22 damage, 28 impact. Not like a major improvement, but definitely an improvement. Okay. Use a... I'm trying to think of stuff to use. I'm carrying a lot of stuff right now. Scaled leather. If I ever go dagger, I almost always go scaled. Unfortunately, this time we're doing like a weird roundabout thing where I'm not actually using scaled leather, but it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. Actually, if we go up here to the Cabal Wind Temple and I get scaled leather, I will actually throw it on. I think I need one scale for the helmet, and I need one for the boots, maybe? I think it's two for the chest, though. Is there a repeat shot scale for Archer? Yes, but unfortunately it requires the... completion of the Sirocco quest line, so you can build the building for it. You have to get the... what is it called? The arena? Yeah, it's the arena in New Sirocco, and you can buy all the skills from the arena master there, and one of them is a five-shot archer shot. It's pretty good, but, I mean, it's like endgame. Which is a bit unfortunate. Why's my bed inside the ground here?
All of them require two skills. Uh, except for their three for the backpack. Okay. So I'll need a lot of them. But I mean, I can get a lot from there anyway. Scaled Satchel is really good to start. I mean, I think I had one playthrough I did a long time ago where I ended up getting a scaled backpack early on by going and killing the Tauntosaur in the Conflux Mountain. That was actually a really good start. Alright, I need to get some water, don't I? Before I do anything. That is step number one. You know what wouldn't be bad? Merton's Fire Poker. No, it'd be pretty bad. It has no impact. I need impact. I think. Do I need impact? I mean, I have the impact from the dagger. It's tough to tell. I think more impact is usually better. What's up, Sonya? I got scaled early on one time because the Sorborians were selling them. Oh, that's a good point. You can sell them, yeah. Let me just... Should I open it up? Oh, let me open it up, just in case. I don't need to fight anything. I could just open it, just in case I want to go grab it. I don't know, though. Like, it's not... I guess it's something to have. It might be good for the Immaculate, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, it could be really good for the Immaculate. Because I don't actually have the power to take him out right now. Pull this lever here. Oof. Yeah, we do not have the power to fight those guys unless I put on... Actually, I do. I just remembered I have Mason Fusion. I don't have stamina, though. Fire Poker's a Mace. Yeah, but it does fire damage for right now, which is at least an advantage. That's a good point, though. It is a mace. It is a mace. Okay, I gotta get out of the way of this dude. Where is he at? There he is. Tricky to always get mace infusion off, though. Yeah. I always get too scared, and then I activate it too soon. Ah, oh, missed it. Okay, I think we can beat him. I just gotta be patient. There we go. That's what I needed. I need him to go left. Come on, go the other way, dude. I want to backstab you. -hoo -hoo -hoo. My damage is good, though. That ethereal damage does not play. All right, that went fine. Backstab is going to be tricky. Because I have to have the varnish on early. If I have the varnish on early, then I can do it easily. But, I mean, until I can build up some materials to buy all that stuff, I can't do that. Does anywhere have water? I need water. Pearl sent males pretty good for extra damage. Maybe I could use that. If we go Levant, which we are, I could use that. Did they just give me a water skin? Well, I'll be. See if I can take on a, a red ghost. These guys are way more deadly. I need a kick. And rage would be a nice thing to have right about now. Okay. Backstab is so hard without enrage, because I just can't impact anything. I might go grab that skill right now, actually. Also, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like the ghost is very translucent. I can't... 
I can't see if I'm behind him or not. That's the attack. I can get a backstab in right there. Oh, I gotta have it. Oh, he wasn't all the way around. Now, it's gonna be a tricky skill to use. I, I didn't really use it much on any of my playthroughs that I use daggers, so... Gonna wait. Let's just go by Enrage. Enrage is straight up overpowered, and I need it, so... I can grab more water while I'm there anyway. I just straight up need that. Frosted Mail, plus 15% physical damage, if I remember. If I also remember, it has decent, like, physical resistances, too. Doing a Decay Dagger build? Yes, that's kind of the idea, Benji. We're going to see how it goes, but that's my idea. What are your favorite legacy items? I really enjoy all of the... Let me see if I remember the name of it. Um... What's it called? There's a mage set. The mage armor, like the blue hat, you can turn into the red hat. The white, or the black hat, you can turn into the white hat. I don't remember the exact names for them, but they're like my favorite items are those hats. The white hat specifically is amazing. Um, All the Kazite stuff is insane. Master Kazite gear is awesome. Master Kazite Oni mask in particular is amazing. The enchants on that armor are ridiculous. Meteoric stuff. Those are always amazing enchants as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Sneak more. I just haven't been using it much yet. What's up, Ricky? Love your new video for the front page of the channel. If you're looking for something Thursday, I have a few mods you might want to try. Okay, Ricky. Sounds good, dude. Yeah, I guess you were in that video, weren't you? <laughs> That's funny. Frosted Mail has 20 resist and 20 or 25. Okay. Nice. That's a good amount. That's a very good amount. The yeah, upper boy and I already have the lantern on. That's my thing, though. I always run with the lantern on. Are we surprised? I guess this means I can cut through, get Merton's Fire Poker, move on, though. The only thing I don't like about Merton's is it has a very low impact resist. Like, the impact? Okay, I can get past that, but... What can I do for you? I need Enrage. Thank you very much. That was it. That's all I came here for. That's 25%? Okay. Excited to see Howard again. What's up, Schnonkers? How's it going? Hey there. How in the way am I in? I honestly, my face cam is not even in the way that much. I kind of like where it's at. Because you can still see what I'm looking at. That's cool. Um, I think... I'm just going to sell a few items here. Do I need ghost eyes? Not at the moment. Alright, I got 50. How many spikes do I have? 27 spikes. I've got 8 traps. Let's use more traps. Let's just buy the rest of these. Buy some food while I'm here too. Mainly teas. I gotta get teas to get rid of the stamina. Like how they call the main city Berg. Berg just means city in a lot of European languages. Does it really? How can I help you? It's funny. There they are. The wide black hat and the wide blue hat turned into the wide white hat. Could use those. Let me buy a better backpack, too. I don't need it, because we're going to go get a better one, but... 
going to make my life easier at the moment, and that is all I care about. Prospector. Also, I love how this backpack looks. I wish they'd made more backpacks like this, where they have, like, an overhanging lantern. It looks amazing. How Let me I buy a better lantern, too. Attach this lantern and sell my backpack. All right, I got a lot more weight in here. I've got two corruption potions, which are going to be important. Because I can't be corrupted yet. I have to wait. Um, I need a... Let's see. Stealth recipe potion. Can I buy that yet? It's going to be important later on. Well, actually going to join? I'm thinking about doing heroic, honestly. I was going to do holy mission. But then... How can I help you? Someone brought up Heroic, and I think it could be a good idea. Mist Potion, Spirit Potion, Fire Rag. Hmm. No Stealth Potion yet. I don't know who sells a Stealth Potion. If not, I could look up the recipe later on, but... Discipline. Could be somewhat useful right now. All right, we're good to go. Actually, a very good trip over here. Should have bought health potion. Yeah, let's buy a health potion if she has one. How can I help you? She does. I just realized where I'm going. <laughs> Gonna need a health potion. Let's see. What system is this game on? It is on Xbox One and up, and PS5 and up, and then it's on PC. Outward is originally on Xbox and PS4, but the definitive edition is only on the PS5. The upper, the more advanced consoles. It's also on, uh, what's that console? Uh, the Switch. They put it on the Switch. At the beginning of the year. That was kind of a cool move. I, has anyone tried it on the Switch? I haven't heard of anyone trying it at all on there, but it's a cool move by the devs. They got rid of the co-op on the Switch, because obviously that system can't handle it, but... How do you backstab a group of three people? I need a... Backstab combo. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's not bad. I mean, I didn't get to kill him, but... I got a good start to this three-person battle here. I'll do more damage when I get, like, more equipment and stuff. Then I can one-shot him. How on earth do I fight this? Uh... Okay, let me think here. I had to use my reach to my advantage. I need to probably go for the archer first. Okay, he's got confusion. Oof, don't get by that. Oh, come on. That's bogus. Alright, got that guy. Dude. It's the machete guys. They give me the business, man. 
They're fast. Rondo Dagger also, like, slow as heck. I just can't get backstabs on the bandits very easily. They're so quick. Ah, I got it! Nerd. That was a fun backstab. Okay, well, I got wasted. That doesn't feel good. Jeez. It destroyed me. Fine, I got some health. I didn't really need to fight him, but I kind of want to... I'm trying to test out the limitations of backstab, so... You know what? Should I grab an iron shield? I kind of need a shield for later, don't I? Just in case. Nah, I won't grab it. The stealth gameplay. Just an announcement. I, I don't know if they actually released it yet or not. That's a good point. I can't remember. I didn't read the full thing. I know they said they were they were releasing it on Twitch. Shade is my favorite early game weapon because it has 1.2 attack speed. It's super fast. With love, the best player. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, man. From Russia? Cool. I have a lot of people that watch my Outward videos from Russia. Outward is apparently somewhat popular in Russia. Just curious, what kind of GPU do you have? Thinking of upgrading? I have a uh, AMD. I don't remember which model, but I know I have an AMD GPU. Or wait, no. GPU is graphics card, right? I don't remember. I'm not a big... There's GPU and there's CPU. CPU is my... I get them mixed up. My graphics card is a NVIDIA 1070, and then my... I think my GPU is an AMD. I think that's what it is. If it's not a CPU, whatever, one of the two. I know how to put it together, but I don't know the lingo. <laughs> oh, well. Um, should I go get Master Trader, like, early on? I'm probably going to. You know what we're going to use this run? Corruption Tents. Never use them. We're going to use them this run. I need Gabberries. Where are they? Did they all rot? They did not. I got a couple. And I need a Bandage. And that right there. Okay, move up a little bit. This guy should move. Come on, buddy. Move to the right. I've had him do this before. I'm not doing it right now. Alright, change your plans. You ready? should fight each other. Yep, they're fighting. Whoever wins, that's why I kill. Merton's Fire Poker! It's a new game? No, this game's been out for... three years, I think, now? Either three or four at this point. I think it's four now. They released the final definitive edition last year. Alright, we're going at it. I, I get you. I gotta help him out a little bit. What? Why are you on me? Aha! That almost got a little tricky there, but pulled it off. Uh, wait, there was a body down here I wanted to grab. 
Now from Nine Dots in 2019. Is that when they really released it? Well, I guess technically five years ago then. Older than I thought. Um, what'd I just get? I got a shiv, didn't I? I don't know what I got. But, now I have Palladium. Which I guess I do need for my Manticore Dagger. Discipline Potion, Endurance Potions, which is sick. Love to see those. Years passed quick. They did pass quick, didn't they? What's up, Rika, by the way? I didn't even notice that. Mr. Streams, man? Heck yeah. Doing the fast money thing? I probably will grab it. I'll probably grab the fast money. We are supposed to be getting news this year from Nine Dots. They have not said anything at all. Even the thing they released, they're like, we're going to say something about something. Like, okay. Didn't give us much for a while. But it's kind of exciting. They said we're going to get something. This modded, this is not modded. We're going to do a modded stream on Saturday with uh, co-op. I got a guy, Six Guns All. I've played with him before on the the Outward streams, and he wanted to do a modded, so I'm going to do that Saturday. I didn't want to do a basic corruption playthrough, though. There is a backpack mod, I believe Proboina made it, that lets you enchant your backpack. So that one looked freaking awesome. Kind of wanted to try that. Alright, here's the deal. I shouldn't do this. But I'm going to. The thing is, I can't waste anything. What's this pattern here? He's gonna see me. Guaranteed. I don't know what it's. Is he like going left or right? It's hard to tell. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's going back that way. Going back that way. He's gonna turn around. It's gonna be super inconvenient for me. Nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, oh, you piece of garbage. That was super inconvenient. I figured that might happen, though. Oh, my word. And I knew that was going to happen, too. This is an awful enemy to attack. Why did I do this? This is a terrible idea. He's got, like, a thousand damage. Yeah, we're out of here, dude. Peace out. He has double my reach. If he had just not turned around, that was just bad luck. He turned around at the wrong second. I needed that extra second to get on confusion. That was dumb luck, dude. Actually, I have a health potion. Maybe I go back at it. Maybe I don't go back at it. How about this? I've got a better plan. i got a better plan for this guy. He's not that far from the temple. Let's use him. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's the slowest giant of all time. Get over here. I know you can run. Alright, we don't want to take him up to the dog. That's a bad idea. Play this game with my girlfriend. What a goat game. Easily top five. I like it quite a bit, too. It is definitely, definitely fun with the co-op player. Come on, dude. Run. I actually usually don't see him here. Very odd spot for the giant. His AI is not having it, dude. Not having it. Come on, buddy. Do I need to, like, hit you and make you enraged? Are you not mad enough yet? I'm gonna do poison. Nope. He's just lore walking, dude. That's how cool he is. He's better than me in every way. 
Wasn't this giant supposed to be up near the wind temple? Usually he's actually not. There's an immaculate up by the wind temple, and this guy will be over by the bridge. Um, he's also by the vigil pylon a lot. Oh no, you're right. You, he can be by the wind temple. That's a good point. Giants are tricky. They are actually... There's one giant in every region other than Cherisonese. There's one guaranteed spawn, and he is random. I think there are four or five locations they can spawn in. It's not like completely random, but they, they have random locations, like four or five of them. Once you kill the giant, though, he's dead for seven days. Like, you're not going to fight him. The one in the desert is an electrical giant. Or a monk. And then the other two are the hollowed marsh in this area. Caldera has the poison giant, of course. The guy with the giant crossbow. It's slow progress, but we'll get him up here. Oh, okay, you're taunting me. I've never seen a giant act this way. It's very odd. Oh, he's scared. He knows what I'm going to do to him. That's what he is. He knows I'm going to make him fight an immaculate. Ah! It's actually... I think the way I did this last time was I had the immaculate come to him. Because the immaculate's very fast. I didn't even think about doing that this time. Alright, we're gonna go up right so he doesn't aggro the enemies. No giants in Antique Plateau. I guess that's a good point. That's the only region other than Cherisonese. So Cherisonese is an Antique Plateau of no giants. I forgot about Antique Plateau. What is his AI doing right now? I'm very confused. Now, come on, dude. All right, I backstabbed him. I made him angry. No, he's going to hit me. 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 Oh. Okay, he didn't hit me. Come on. Get around the corner. Get around the corner. No, no, no. He's going to swing. You got to get him enraged a little bit. Otherwise, he won't follow you. Come on. No, 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 no. I got to drop the bag. I got to drop the bag. I'm scared. Kind of like some water before I do this, but... Come on. I've never actually gotten a giant up here. This is kind of funny. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Okay. Where's the Immaculate? The Immaculate's nowhere to be found. Let's go. Oh, here he is. He's right here. All right. Hash it out, guys. Boom. Went straight for the giant. I think the giant wins this, didn't it? Oh, it's the Battle of Ages. Ooh, the imp I think the Immaculate loses because of the Giant's impact. Look at that. Look at that overhead swing right there. Both of them do good damage. They also have a lot of health. They're kind of the same size, too. The Immaculate's definitely going to die, though. The Giant just has too much impact. That's what I was having issues with. I couldn't do enough impact to him. What if I help him? Oh! I don't want to get hit helping him, though. There we go. Help. No, don't attack me, doofus! I'm helping you! You're an idiot. You two are both dumb. Okay, the poison is enough to hill switch aggro, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I did it again. The immaculate's so quick. Okay, I could take, like, one more hit. I don't want to, obviously. Okay, he impacted him. He's close. If he could just hit him one more time. Come on, get him. Oh, he's down. I'm helping. I'm helping. Giant needs to hit him. Oh, but I switched his aggro. Not a good plan. Ah! 
Ah! <laughs> this all went south so fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have any buffs. Okay. Where's my bag bag? Uh, I need a varnish, dude. I need something. Uh, water, water like a, a fire rag should be fine. Oh no, I was gonna use uh, Merton's fire poker. That's fine. Come on. Ooh, how he didn't hit me there, I don't know. I'll take the win. Gotta get the burning, because they have a lot of health regen. Oh wait, fire rag doesn't burn, does it? Never mind. Ignore what I just said. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get behind him. Backstab being a lot less useful than I was hoping. Still useful, but not as useful. Ho ho ho. Fire varnish? Ah! So bad on luck right now, dude. I really need that fire varnish. Alright, well that was something. Top 10 anime fights? <laughs> Truly. Oh, man. I did get the emerald. It usually drops that too. Wait. Oh, I was hoping maybe he'd drop one. He didn't drop one either. All right, we'll do plan. We didn't get the fire varnish, which I need for the manticore. So we're going to trap the manticore, and I'm just going to wing it. It's a really stupid idea because manticores are not something you want to wing, but it's fine. Wait, do I have enough materials to make a fire varnish? What are the materials for? I don't think I have an alchemy kit anyway. I should have bought one if I could have seen one. Really love this game? Heck yeah, Crimson. It's awesome. Attack on Titan fight. <laughs> What's your favorite region, Sheen? Mine's Abrasar. Mine will always be the Antique Plateau. But it's because of the Train Dungeon. I think the Train Dungeon and the Antique Plateau is the best part of the game. I think they, they did the most work designing it. And it's the most... Uh... The most populated area in terms of unique enemies. Like, you're constantly fighting, but it's always something different every time you go to each fight. Like, you fight a lot of golems, but one time you'll fight a sword golem, then you'll fight a dog golem, then you'll fight a horror, then you'll fight a shell horror, then you'll fight a... a weird... or like a... Oh, Living Wood Axe! One of the bigger corruption monsters. That's... awesome. That thing is somewhat rare. I don't need it, but it's cool. Fire varnish is gabberry wine, serrated root, and a firestone. Technically, that's possible for me to craft, but... I think we're just going to wing it. If I can get enough traps down, the manticore is going to die. I think it did definitely have seared root, though. Time for my favorite armor. Can I get lucky and get one in a chest, maybe? Like right here? It's equipment, I believe. Yeah. Ta-da! Master Trader Armor. Fire varnish. Did that just happen? Did that just happen? There's zero chance, dude. There's zero chance that that just happened. And I got a better tent and a bow that's somewhat useful this is some good loot but the fire wow i mean there was no way that was gonna happen and it did okay 
Whew. I feel good about that. I need to sleep, because I believe it was turning nighttime out there. And I gotta get my stuff back anyway. He said 6.2% chance. <laughs> yeah, that's that's crazy. I can't believe that happened. Just ask the RNG gods and they give. That's very true, very true. I need like six points of sleep. Three there. <laughs> I've literally like... Well, earlier I wanted the power coils. So they wouldn't give it to me. That's, that's the, the blessing I got there because they wouldn't give me those. That's my, uh, my RNG look for the day. I can't ask too much from now on. Let's just hope I don't waste it. That's really the thing. Okay. The impact resist on this is... Doesn't matter. It's armor. Okay. That's fine. I've got Enrage. I've got Discipline. I should have Fire. We should be good, dude. dude we should be solid for this next fight. Need the pocket. Need the bag. I'll eat something. How about that? I'm in a very awkward range for my weight. I'll just drop the wood axe. I don't need that. It's a cool idea, but I don't need it. I'll drop the recurve bow, too. I don't need that either. All right, let's go kill this manticore. Not the royal one, but we'll kill the basic one. I might kill both of them if I get lucky. Uses it and dies to extreme poison. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, you know? <laughs> Something real awkward. You want power coils? You can hit up the electric lab. It's a good idea, at least before I go back to... Before I go back to Tristanese. I'm headed to Lava anyway, so... Why not? I don't need to fight them. I cannot believe it. I'm literally, as soon as I walked in there, I go, what if I get a fire varnish from this chest? What if? Three seconds later, opened it up, got a fire varnish. I mean, that does not happen every day. <laughs> Royal, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Royal would be maybe too much. Royal might be too much right now. Is there any loot in that? Win Let me check this. I don't know if I've checked this in a long time been a while since I played anyway. Let's see if we got anything in here. I think it's empty. No, there's a chest right here. Ooh. Miskalem halberd? Straw hat? Brigand hat? Need some cloth. Looks like it, though. Hey, a chest is a chest. I'll take it. The high people aggro on the Royal Manticore? I think so. But I don't know. I bet you know what I bet you could do? I don't know if anyone's ever tried this, but I bet you could have the Hive boss actually fight the Royal Manticore. It would be very tricky and probably best to do in co-op, like if one of you you could have one person go get the Royal Manticore and chase it all the way over there, and you could have the other person chase the Hive Lord down. But the thing is, I don't know if the Hive Lord can go down. That would be the only thing to stopping it. Like, if he can jump off that platform. So I gotta make a video of that? Oh, really? That's awesome. I wondered if anyone had done that before. A lot of effort, but that's really cool. All right, where is the Royal Manticore? I just entered the region, so she should be in her cage. Yeah, she's in her cage. Her little cave back in there. All right. Lantern off. Water. We got 16 traps. This should be plenty. Royal Manticore one with around 20% health. They both do a lot of impact and a lot of damage, so that's an interesting fight. Is 
This is still kind of tricky, because basically if I get hit by the ranged attack, I'm dead almost instantly. You know what I could do? Uh. Uh. Uh, that's not good. What? All right, I guess we're doing this the hard way. <laughs> what was that about? Dude said, I smell you. Okay. All right, what do I have here? I need the best stamina possible. I need water. Discipline. This is not easy in any way. Enrage. But if I can get some impact dealt, we're in business. Do I have all the buffs I need here? Yeah. Let's do this. Put some antidotes in hot bar. Oh, that would have been a good idea. I did not even think about that. Ready? Okay. Already messed that up. Oh, my word. The Manticore's movement is just so... It's so bad for the the Merton's Fire Poker. Alright. I'd like to get a dagger shot in here, but... Oh, come on! You're a punk for that. See, this is what I was trying to do in the first place, but I somehow messed up my rotation and got hit twice. Oh. I, I like, I had it in my head what I was going to do, and then when I went to do it, I just kind of stood there and I got hit. Whew. That was terrifying. Remnant.5? What's up, Hyperspeed? How's it going? Almost wasted the fire varnish there. Almost wasted it, but not quite. Alright, I think it lasts a while, so what I might do is just go kill the other Manticore as well. I can try, at least. I really want to see how much backstab damage it does, but... It's really hard to get... It... ...the attack in on some of these more aggressive enemies. Alright. Let me just grab the tail, because that's what I need. Let me take a health potion, because I have it. Take more water, because I'm going to need it. And let's go for it. Round two. This one is a little bit smaller. Ah, it should be fine, though. The faster weapon definitely being helpful. Okay. That's not good. Should have dropped the backpack already, but I need the light is the thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, almost got it off right there. Come on, spin to win, spin to win. I need to get behind him. But how? Hmm. Does not want me to get behind him. Okay, he's burning. That attack right there. The tail... Oh my word, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. That sucks. That sucks. 
I'm just dead. Dang it, dude. The tail whip. The tail whip is so difficult. They spin it around, but it's a late dodge. Ah! I should have figured that was going to happen. Like, I can block everything. I can dodge it all, too, but the tail whip is delayed. It's so delayed, too. He does it late. Man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer right there, man. The fire, I need a lot more impact for this. What do I have right now? Six plus seven. Plus, ugh, it's bad. I need like double the impact resist for Manticores. That's so frustrating. Well, we got to the backpack faster anyway, I guess. Um, Manticore Tail, Amalite, and Palladium should give me my better... As soon as I got Extreme Poison on, I'm like, yeah, there's no way. I don't have anything for that. I should have put those antidotes on. I didn't think about it again. At least I got my dagger now, though. All right, thanks, Ricky. Okay. Do I have a hex cleaner on? No, I sold that, didn't I? What is Hutch, anyway? I don't remember. Negative 15% physical damage? I think an ice potion gets rid of that, doesn't it? Alright, there's a better backpack. Manticore is definitely a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I got hit by the tail whip of the first guy, too. I think I was trying to block it. Oh, no, I tried to dodge it. I should have just blocked it. That's what I should have done. Poison kills it? Okay. I have an antidote. Do I have anything that poisons me? I don't think I have any crab eye seeds. But there is one near the temple, I believe. Or no, I thought poison killed the other one. Does poison kill the hutch, too? I guess we're in a decent spot, honestly, all things considered. I got my backpack. I got my dagger. I'm honestly a little disappointed with backstab. It's really hard to hit. I can't get behind these enemies. I think I just need more practice with it. Not super easy to use, though. Like, if I was going full in on the stealth and using the stealth potions, maybe... I'll have to try and do that a little bit more. And some of the harder enemies, I will do that. Alright, there we go. Do I have a ruby? I don't think I do. No. You could die again. That might clear it. <laughs> it actually might. Good point. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that, though. I didn't want to die the first time. If I killed that manticore, though, I would have been able to walk up here. I'm going to get it, though. I want my payback. Okay. I want my payback, and now I got a really good day. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. That's that's inconvenient in, like, several ways. Put this down. I need a better armor set. I really don't know what I'm going to go for. Blue set would not have been a bad... I just stood there and took that. Oh, my word. Oh, there's so many. All right. Oh, there's so many of them. Ah, this went from bad to worse, dude. Never fight multiple enemies. Outward 101. All right, maybe if I get back in this cave, maybe I can play around this, like, Hole right here. No more health potions? Awesome. That's why we don't go to the Manticore Cave early on. We've run this many times. For some reason we still make that mistake. Alright, there's one. Come on, buddy. Come in here. Yeah, come in here. All by yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? He's stuck, I think. 
Yeah, he's stuck till I attack. I, that's what I figured would happen. I'm gonna die to Troglodyte. It's gonna be really sad. Alright, that guy's down. Nope, still alive. Alright. Backstab works perfectly in co-op. Yeah, it's like too good in co-op. Yeah. A little bit tricky to use here, unfortunately. I agree, though. I, I mean, in co-op, you literally just get free backstabs all the time. As long as the... Especially if your buddy is running, like, Hex. They hate Hex users. They love to aggro them. I need a bandage. That's what I need. And then I could take T restores stamina. I don't have any of the health ones, do I? I do have one. No two. Well, that fixes it, actually. What is this game actually? Hardcore RPG? Yeah, it's uh, very. It's a R RPG all the way. RPG all the way. There's a variety of skills you can use with certain weapons. Um, there's some class skills as well to give you an advantage over enemies, but you're going to be fighting a lot of monsters, a lot of mechanical enemies, some humanoids, stuff like that. Exploring caves and dungeons, finding loot. I put down traps and everything for that first Manticore. And then, you know what it was? I blame the first Manticore. He threw me off. I wasn't I wasn't prepared after that point. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I didn't have his health. I didn't have his health. Oh, I turned the lantern off. I gotta quit doing that. I automatically am turning the lantern off as I push the the backpack button. That's another enemy. Oh, and I instant poisoned him too. Do you see that? That's crazy. This dungeon is like super dangerous. Would not recommend ever coming here. Oh wait, he got he got put in a trap, so he's gonna die eventually. Probably. My reach on Merton's Poker. This is where I miss the Dreamer Halberd. Dreamer Halberd cleans house on, like, groups. Okay, he's gonna die in, like, a second. Alright, he's dead. How do I deal with this? This guy is close to dying. Maybe I'll, like, focus him down. Come on. Split up, like, a little bit. Dodge! Nice dodge. Need one more hit to burn him. Nice. I ate the hit. It's fine. I have really, really low just stuff for uh, the enemies I'm dealing with. It's unfortunate. Alright, let the burning kill him, and then I can take this guy on. It's like, blocking is great, but blocking is useless when there's two enemies. Okay, here we go. Backstab. Booyah. Burning and extreme poison. Now I stand here. What you gonna do, bud? That's what I've been trying to do this entire time. Good combo now. Now we got burning and we got the poison. That's gonna be nice. Just low impact. Like, really low impact. Ooh, iron. Uh, what I miss? Use lantern throw? Uh, oh, I could use flame throw, but I don't have the, the mana for that yet. I could've used lantern throw, though. What's up, blue oak? The double DLT is so broken, gotta try it. It's... It's so easy to do, too. Like, you can do any horror weapon, basically. And, I mean, Merton's Fire Poker, super easy to get. You just go to the two caves and grab it. Yes. 
Yes. Beautiful. The Manticore Dagger was such a massive upgrade. That's not good. Thankfully, he missed. Alright, Ricky had a good idea earlier, and he said, move our antidotes to our pocket. I'm going to do that right now, before I forget. Because I should have done that in the first place. Unfortunately, I did not. Oh, smoke root. I can make, uh, what potions were those? The fire, fire varnish. That's what we need. That is what we need. Okay. There's the ice elemental. I do kind of want to loot this guy real quick. I'll take that. It's not too bad. Can't really see anything. Look at that. Backstab is so strong. Just on so only certain enemies. There are a, a couple of them that I just can't use it on, and I need to realize that and just not try. Okay, is there anything else here that I need? Watch out for the traps. Where are they at? There's like two there that I usually... St oh, here they are. There's the other two. Alright, loot the... Ooh, a mushroom shield. Not that I need that, but it's cool. All right, we ready for round two with this guy? <laughs> ready for round two with this guy? Using Gep's Blade, Long Blade against groups makes me go, yeah. Oh, dude. I remember that. Gep's Blade when I did my boom build? That was epic. Fire damage. This is going to give me an rage, I think. This time, what we want to do is we want to avoid dodging as much as possible. That tail whip especially, I think I just need to take it. Like, just block it. And I got the antidotes in my pocket. Go for it. Round two. First round, I did not come out victorious at all. Oh, he died! I burnt him. Well, technically, that counts as a win. That was not very... That was very anticlimactic, but... Alright, he's already dead. Wait, there's the ornate chest down here. Hold up, hold up. Where's it at? Uh, it's like back here, I think. There we go. What's up, C? The plan outward. Good to see you back. Awesome, dude. Good to see ya. Spiritual Varnish. Elite Plate. Marble Great Hammer. I cannot move. That's way too heavy. Let me decraft this at least. How much does that weigh? Nine pounds. What? Should I decraft it? Yeah. I don't need to sell that. I'll sell the other stuff. It sells for more anyway. Alright, well, he's already dead. Burned him to a crisp. What did I have him at when I died? I think I had him at half health, I think. It was at least close. Now we're weak to fire. Now I think I end up at the top again? Yeah, up here. Okay. Those are 300. Yeah, it sells with 300, but I'm just... I'm too full. I'm too full. I gotta... Not focus on that right now. Trying to think of what I should get rid of. I got a couple things I can just straight up drop. Because I haven't even done the horror temple yet. You know what, though? We don't need to. We don't need to do it. We can do it when we come back. We have to come back here after starting the Levant quest. So let's just not... 
waste our time. We do need to get enough money to get at least a skill tree. I'm at the point in the game where I kind of want a skill tree. So... Maybe... I kind of want Warrior Monk, though. That'd be so good. See, I gotta go back to Chersonese when... Never? For Levant? The very end of the quest, I think. Cabal Hermit really wouldn't be a huge buff anyway. I think we start with Warrior Monk. I think that's the first one I need. So maybe we just go Swamp. Go Swamp, come back, start Faction. Possibly. Well, no, if I do Levon, I have to go to the Swamp eventually. Hmm. Maybe I start off with the... Dagger skill tree. Rogue Engineer. Maybe that's what I do. That's tough. Tough to decide. I don't know, though, because, like, Blood Bullet would be so insane. Ah, it's hard to tell. If I'm doing Corruption, Blood Bullet would just be straight up crazy. Ah, that's the Royal Man's Court. I think I'm far enough away. That's the Royal Manticore. Please don't aggro me. Please don't aggro me. Get the heck out of here. Look a bit Russian? <laughs> no, I'm not Russian, but... Uh... I enjoy the Russian viewers. That's very true. <laughs> nah, I live in the U.S., Alright, what's the plan here? What's the plan here? Let's go back to town, maybe? Eh. I don't have mana either, though. That's the thing. If I wanted... If I... Oh, shoot. If I had mana, I could go do the Levant's quest easily. Maybe I go Sorobor. Get my armor set. Because at this point in the game... I can go get my armor set. I need chitin. I need a cult remains, palladium, something else. Can't remember what. I think I need half plate armor, but I could buy that. Let's go to Sorobor. If I can get the horror armor, I can stop being so squishy. And then I can start to actually use my decay damage bonuses. What's up, Herber? Or Heber? Glad to finally catch you on live. Love your content. Fingers crossed we get Outward 2 or similar this year. I know, right? At least get an announcement for what their next project is. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yes. Glad you liked the content, though. Always glad to hear it. You have all the achievements? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There were two of them that I didn't have for the longest time. The one that took me the long... I think the last one in the game that I got was actually build the full town of New Sirocco. Because you don't have to. You can quit halfway through and finish the campaign. You never need to finish the full thing. And so I hadn't done that. And uh, I had to go back to an old character and just build the last two buildings. And then the one before that that I got was make... There was a recipes one that I hadn't had for a while, and the Ancient Dweller quest as well took forever. Because that quest is a bit buggy and doesn't actually work correctly. I actually asked the devs about that one, because I had so many issues with it, and they basically said... One of the dwellers can spawn in the wrong location, and so you kind of have to walk all over the place finding it. It might have been the Angel Food Cake, yeah, because I never make it. Trying to make a build around Chakram. Any suggestions? Oh yeah, dude. Chakrams are awesome. And they're so powerful. All you gotta do is take Philosopher's Skill Tree, Cabal Hermit, and... I usually go Warrior Monk with it for the extra stamina, but you could go... You could go whatever third tree you really want. Not, uh... You could go Speedster with it, too. A lot of people do that. I always go Warrior Monk, though, so I have a little extra stamina. Or, uh... 
just something to get mana or something. You know, it's not too big a deal. But uh, then you just use the frozen chakram and you're good to go. Yeah, it's really that easy. It's so powerful. Let's see. I don't have enough money to travel yet, so I gotta sell stuff. I didn't end up needing that. Oh, here's what we do. Turn in my Manticore tail. What's up, our Atari? Gotta love it when devs say, yeah, it's bugged to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. It was just something they couldn't fix, you know, because it's like, it's a really late game thing, and they weren't, I don't know, they just weren't worried about it, I guess. I it was pretty funny. What I need. You've earned this. All right, there's the two gold ingots I need. Let's get that out of here. I think, actually... How can I help you? Yeah, no one here sells hex cleaner, which is fine. And only 20 gold bars trying to get the frozen chakra for almost two weeks in the game. Oh, that's frustrating. What? Listen. I want to talk to him. Hey there. Yeah, that one's frustrating to get. I agree. Because you never really know when it's going to show up. All right, now I need rations, and we can travel to Sorbor. This worries me. Where I can once again fight enemies I'm not ready to fight and probably die. <laughs> because my ego gets the better of me. This worries me. Yes. We'll try on the fourth character then. Yeah, chakrams are insane, dude. You're gonna love them. Make a bunch of horror weapons for shell horror. Uh, be, we're gonna do that, but I gotta go start the quest first. We are gonna do that, but I want to start the Rogue Kingdom quest and then come back because I have to be back here for that anyway. And I was gonna do it when I was there, but what I ran out of eat? I ran out of room. Mainly, I need freaking hex cleaner. Who has hex cleaner, guys? Uh, there's two mages in this town, and there's a couple basic merchants. This guy might have it. I doubt it, but he might. You better have the money. You better have the money. Calm down, buddy. He does not have it. That is the plan, though. That is the plan. Hey. Yeah, the alchemists. I think there's two of them, right? There's the one in the main square, and then there's this one. No hex cleaner. That one doesn't have it, for sure. I also really enjoy the music here. It's very peaceful. And Harmattan, I, I, it's like a bazaar. Like a briz, What's it called? A bazaar? Bazaar type of thing. A bunch of merchants areas. That's one of my favorite areas for the music. I love it. Not that I don't like all of them, because they're insane. So, like, every time someone asks me, I'm like, I like this area. Next time I'll be like, I like this one the best. Corrupting but delicious dessert. So I need to use Bagatelli. Harmattan? Yeah. I mean, this is the Antique Plateau, which is the area Harmattan is in. Dude, no one has Hex Cleaner. That's extremely disappointing. Hmm. Is there something you need? Look at that backpack. Woo! The big one. Uh, what's the recipe for X cleaners? Anyone know? Alright, we need to just sleep, I think. 
Cold potion? Oh, is that that does it too, doesn't it? Good point. You better have the money. Does she have one? I didn't check. I was looking for the hex cleaner only. Yeah, it kicks my butt so often. I'm now afraid to go to dungeons so I can't measure how strong or weak I am. Mostly stay in cities. Playing inward. <laughs> That's funny. Nah, here's Mika fever. That would be Mika fever. There's another potion that does it, but I don't know what it is. It's a water greasy fern and live weedy salt. Okay. Water greasy fern, live weedy salt. I can do that when I go to Har Monsoon. I need to remember to do it while I'm there, but am I on the wrong end? I'm on the wrong end. Alright, well I won't be able to get that here, but I could definitely get it when I go to Monsoon. Actually, this was a really good idea anyway. If I end up being in Monsoon when I travel out, that would be ideal. Did you try the Virgin Knuckles with the AoE enchantment? How was it? It's actually really fun. The problem with it is that it's still just weaker than a lot of the better Knuckle options. Like, Zar is just way better... Porcelain fists are way better. It's really cool, and it's a lot of fun to use, but it's it's not strong enough to beat some of the better options. And, you know, it's super easy to get some of the better options. Like, even just uh, meteoric fists aren't bad either, you know? I guess it actually is pretty difficult to get the harder options, so it's nice to have until you get those. They take a while. All right, I got a couple spikes. I need a potion to kill the horrors with, which I think I have. So we should be good to go kill him. What do you need? We should be good to go attempt to kill him because that's where we're at right about now. I need bread too. I think two raw alpha meat and one bread makes sandwich, does it not? I don't need that amylite anymore. Oh, I can make me some potions, too. I just realized that. I need a tree. Make sure I have water. I do. I'm good. Let's do this. They are really fun, though. I made uh, a weird build one time where I was using, like, virgin armor. And I enchanted it with, I think, the ice enchant to give you extra ice damage, and then I used the ice explosion AoE. It was actually a lot of fun. It's really good for bugs. Bugs in Levant, you destroy them. Alright, let's get us a campfire going here. Um, I need a cooking pot. Please tell me I am right about this. No, it's just one and one. Yeah, it's one and one. I thought it was two for some reason. I always forget how insane that is. It's super easy to make. Yeah, 18 alpha sandwiches. I should have bought something for stamina, which I didn't, of course. Uh, Gabberries? Do we have those anywhere? No. It's fine. I got stamina potions. It's all good. No, we do need... We need perpkins. Perpkins are super powerful for impact. You know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna grab them now. Do I need to cook them first, though? I can't remember. I think they just give me the impact either way. Let me grab another one just in case. They also give some stamina. Oh, sweet. What's the strongest against fire enemies? Sky Crown Mace is probably one of the strongest against them. Sky Crown Mace is pretty darn insane for fire enemies. A simple cold varnish will do well, though. 
What's another good one? Is there another good ice weapon that I'm not thinking of? Hail Frost weapons, I guess. But yeah, Skycrown's kind of the bigger one, I think. Got that massive impact, too. Never go wrong with that. Toki Bacchus hit. That's a good one. That one's real late game, though. That is an insane knuckle, though. Absolutely nutty how good that is. Let's just straight up drop the alchemy kit. I'm I'm not going to use it. Let's, let's not... This is me, okay? I don't make potions until, like, late game. Not pretend like I'm going to use them. I should be able to backstab this guy. This guy has decent backstab potential. In my head. In actuality, I have no idea, but in my head, he has decent backstab potential. He also has what's called tripwire potential. Skycrown just the best? Oh, for sure. We all know I'm too good for potions. <laughs> As I've already proven today, when I died to the manticore. I think it's funny the game lets you just kill stuff with burning after you've already died. It's like, all right, yeah, you kind of sucked it up there, but we'll give it to you. Shouldn't need a ton of these, but I want some just in case I need to use it on the horse, too. All right. I got the alpha sandwich buff. Ooh, guys. This gives me a stealth boost. Hold on. You have to cook them for the impact. Okay, that's what I thought was the case. Do fire. Drop bag. Crouch. I got stealth. I should be... Unable to be detected here. I think I'm going to go Rogue Engineer just to get the stealth perk. He's going to turn around, isn't he? He's going to turn around. Wait for it. Okay, he didn't turn around, but... Ooh, I did a lot of damage there. I think I aggroed the horse. I did. Mistakes were made. All right, buddy, I need you to step into my traps a little bit. Yes, backstab being crazy. Oh, impact. Okay, he should die, though. Okay, too close. Nice. One down. Now for the hard one. Actually, backstab might make this easy. Yes, backstab's crazy. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Ooh, that wasn't good. I need another backstab. The burn and the poison. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, if I could just get behind him one more time. Oh, he turned. What a punk. Nice. Very nice indeed. Let's hope that our loot is really good. I just need the tripwires to get the extra impact so that I can get... Okay, pure chitin and horror chitin, which is the two things. I don't know if I need... Do I need pure... I don't think I need pure chitin for the armor, actually. Maybe I do. I thought it was regular chitin, though. I might need to check the recipe on the armor. I can't remember. It's uh, occult remains, chitin, half plate, and then it must be pure chitin. I do need the pure? Okay. Just missing extreme bleeding. I could get that if I took warrior or hunter, couldn't I? Do dagger slash and blood sigil for DOT? Ooh. Two pure kite. Okay, we have all the chitin I need. All the pure chitin. I need regular chitin now, which means there are no shell horrors that I know of in this area. 
Stamina cost? I should grab this, though. That's a really good find. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That's a really good helmet for right now. The Bullion to Predator? Ooh, that's a good one, too. Can I make that? I think I have plenty. I have eight, so I can make that, too. Let's go back to town. I should be able to buy half plate now. Let me jump off this. Dream bleeding from Warrior's Vein. I guess that's... Uh, I won't be using two-handed axes, though, I don't think. I'm gonna get back an hour, especially since I upgraded from Xbox One to Xbox X. What exactly changed from the original to Definitive Edition? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Number one, stashes are all connected now, which is the best change by far. Because that was awful in the first game. Not the first game, sorry. <laughs> Playing too much friendly. In the, the base game. In the base game, the whole not being connected really sucked. There's mini bosses. They added a mini boss to almost every dungeon in the game. They did a lot of quality of life stuff too. Just makes it easier to play. There were a lot of items that got like an extra buff. Like runic armor got some buffs. How many occult remains do I have? I think I saved a couple. I do have a couple. Yeah, the backtracking was literally awful. It was such a good change. There were a couple people that complained about it because it was like, oh, it's not immersive. But that, that was honestly really bad. Really bad. Because the way they want you to play the game is to have all your buffs and stuff. But then you couldn't because all your stuff was in another chest. It just wasn't, wasn't very optimized. Now it's amazing. Herber says, oh, yeah, I do have that video, don't I? I did make a video talking about a couple of the changes. What's up, David? Love your builds? Want to do a vampire build? It's good. I want to do another vampire build myself. The The one I made originally was like... It was good, but it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. The problem with the two weapons I used was they don't have a lot of impact. Maybe vampire axe or something would be better. Alright, I think... I'm like 90% sure I need half plate. So let's see how much he has. Because I don't think he usually sells like a full set of it. I think it's about... You better have the money. None. So... That's about as unlucky as you can get. He actually has no half plate. How that's even possible? I don't know. But it's apparently a thing. I do have all of the pure chitin I need, though, so we can technically leave this region. Which I think I want to do, because there's nothing here I can benefit from. Yeah, everything here is too high level for me at the moment. Sell that. Sell the iron, too. I don't need that. Mm-hmm. Feral strikes or infused blood. Infused blood would be super good. What's up, Connor? Enjoying the stream? Good to see Howard again. It's all favorite of mine. Oh, I know mine too. Yes. Do I want to go back to Berg? Berg sells half plate. Berg well, does. I think Berg, the blacksmith of Berg, sells half plate armor. Greetings, friend. Yes. Physical damage gear that is vampiric sword and dagger. Eventually, maelstrom and vampiric dagger with infused blood. Oh, van that's a good combo, actually. That's a really good combo. Maelstrom is always so nice. I might need to get more money to buy it, though. Sells plate. Let me check. 
music is going to go off because I thought this game works. Let me check the wiki. I think it's half plate, but I can't be too sure. The uh, outward does not like it when you you tab out. It turns off your volume. It is half plate. Where do I get half plate at? Half plate is sold in chests in Cherisonese. Did that's it? Chests in Cherisonese. So. Yeah, it's uh, sold from the blacksmith in Armatten. I was just there, bro. Loudhammer and Sierzo as well. Am I dumb? Did I not talk to the... I did... Oh, the blacksmith. I'm dumb. Okay. I talked to the armor, dude. <laughs> I talked to the this armor, dude. Me. All right. It's fine. I have money. We can pretend that never happened. This worries me. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. It's just me or the game make it very difficult to stay away from Cabal going melee or mage. Yes, Cabal Hermit is uh just very versatile. I talked to the wrong guy. Uh, to be fair, though, I really didn't think he would have it. You got the full set, my guy. He got the full set up in here. All right, let's craft us some boots. Uh, let's see, occult remains, pure. So it should be half plate, horror chitin, occult remains, pure chitin. That is incorrect. So I'm doing something wrong. Did I not read that correctly? Palladium. No. Palladium? Yes. Okay, we don't need the cult remains for some reason. 10% boost to decay damage. Booyah. Unfortunately, our stamina cost... Yeah, I think I am going to go Warrior Monk because our stamina costs are increased. What's up, Poro? I'm doing good, man. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I needed a Cold Remains. Apparently, I was thinking of something else. So, we need a quick money run to get enough money to go get Chitin. I'm trying to think. Is there any Shell Horrors in this area? I think the answer is no. Thinking of all the caves in my head. Yes, there is one. There is one. Where is he at? Mana Transfer Station. Can I get there? No, I think I need to do a quest to get over there. It's the Mana Transfer Station. And he's like in the bottom of it. Yeah, I can't get there without opening the door. So we can't do that yet. But we can get some money. We can travel again, which should be either Levant or... Levant or Mons, if they tell us to, if he's traveling to Monsoon, that would be sick. Because I can go over there, get some money, and buy my skill tree. Yeah, we need the quest. Good point. Start the quest, you'll have a lot of money. Would I have a lot of money? Where am I going, anyway? Oh, clock tower. I'm going to do clock tower. Oh, good, doggos. That's what I want to see. Eat that, too. The train system, there are a few. I was going to say, there's at least one. I'm trying to think if there's any more than that. Is there? I, I know of that one near the massive mana area, but that's it. Most of the horror-based enemies are like... Those weird dudes with the long arms or Immaculates or the Illuminators. Okay. I have an Ethereal Varnish. Let's use it. 
We're doing a corruption build, Poro. Full in on corruption and dagger. So far, it's been okay. I've had a little bit of issues, but not too bad. Okay, that worked. When I'm able to use backstab, bro, it crushes. Okay, dog is not over there for some reason. Maybe he's too forward. Gonna be digging into DD2 and marching? Heck yeah, I am. I'm waiting for Dragon's Dog with two. That is a dog. A little too far ahead for me. Absolutely. Very excited for that game. Sell incense to so play a dreamer's root. What is that? He's gonna turn around. They always turn around. Ah, he's looking right at me. The good news is I can get behind these guys super easy. That's how you take him out anyway. This is going to be a really weird run because all of the enemies I usually struggle with are the ones that are going to be easy and the ones that are easy are going to be the ones I struggle with. Like humans and manticores are not too bad for me usually but I can't get behind them for this run. Okay. I have to bum rush this dude. Laying there, right there. Can I get behind him? No. Can I get behind this guy? Alright, he's down. Martin's fire poker putting in that work right now. The fast attack speed. I mean, that's all I need right now is fast attack speed anyway. I got one more golem to deal with, which I'd like a little bit less my stamina used for that. Where is he? He's right there. Come here, buddy. I got a plan for you. Oh, spirit varnish ran out. That's not good. Should I go for it? I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway. I'm stubborn. That did not hit me there, bud. Gotta knock him. He's knocked. Get behind him, get behind him, get behind him. Backstab. I need more stamina. Patience, patience, patience. Don't have my water. So when he does this rush, he's not doing anything? Okay, wait for backstab. This dude is... on my backpack? That was weird. I'll take the win. He was very confused of where I was. A power coil! Nice. Uh, I think I missed a comment. Oh, yeah, John said, Currently replaying as a trog, and I'm curious as anyone knows whether the buff from Cruelty under the Specialist Trainer impacts extreme poison inflicted by pressure plate traps. Yes, it should, I think. If I remember correctly, I think the answer is yes. Just got into Dragon's Dogma and finally got into the Everfall. Was super surprised how fleshed out this game is. The post-game is the best part of the game, yeah. The post game is incredible. For sure. Yeah, I think I I just broke his AI. He had no idea what to do. That backstab really tripped him up. All right, well we can make a broken Oh, my alarm's going off. Turn that off. 
Come on, text me too. Ah, okay. See, because I Oni Mask. Do I need that? That's stamina. Ooh, physical damage boost. Maybe I'll grab it. I'll grab it and I'll look at it when I get in. Enchanting Pillar. Chakram. Tormaline. Yeah, okay. We're fine. We have the movement still. It's okay. I don't want to get too corrupted. Build. Let's see. It's the Broken and the Palladium, I believe. Missing one thing. What's the other thing? Crystal powder. There we go. One golem rapier. Oh, I have a ton of room in my pockets. That's fine. Yeah, the crystal powder. Uh, there's like one item from each of my things. I keep forgetting just a little bit. That one I've made a hundred times, so that one came back quick. <laughs> You know how many broken golem rapiers I've worked with to make the full ones? So many. So many. That's all you do when you're in Harmaddon. You just constantly... You're constantly just making... full-on rapiers and selling them. You can make a couple in... Uh, Abrasar Desert, too. All right, so I gotta buy the full half plate set, and then I gotta travel. Gee, the type that does two or three runs for loot, or just carry everything and slow walk to the city once. I would usually slow walk to the city once. Uh, after so many times playing the game, I have stopped doing that as much. And usually, what I'll do is, if I'm just overweight, I'll just I'll leave the loot, and I won't even come back because I know I'll you know I'll earn enough money eventually, but. Want to buy something? Like my first couple runs, I would always be overweight when I was coming back. Alright, I have the boots. I need the chest plate and the helmet. And that's it. The virgin spear looks really cool. There's those two. What am I wearing right now? Negative 12 stamina cost. Negative 8 stamina cost. Let's do... Is I Oni Mask? Because it actually has a damage boost. 5% damage boost. Want to buy something? And I could sell the Kazite Mask. The Bright Noble Boots, because we don't need those anymore. I think once I have an armor set, then I'm I'm good to go for this run. Palladium I have plenty of. Apparently I don't need a coat remains. I don't know why I thought I did. Shield Golem Scrap, don't need that either. We'll need that. And there's enough to travel right there. Which we're going to be overweight for a little bit. Alright, let's go see where he's taking us. And then that'll be... I don't know, I just... If, like, if we go to Monsoon, I think we have a lot of options. But I don't think there's a lot of shell horrors there. Greetings, friend. Or any. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Yes. He's going to Sierzo. That's like major inconvenient, bro. That is uber inconvenient. I could get Cabal Hermit. There's one shot. No, we're not doing that right now. I have to go back there, but that's like, that's like, no. That would be worse for our progression right now than it would be better. Sleeping so much, seems like every 20 minutes I'm sleeping for 8 plus hours just to get burnt health back. Definitive edition fix the sleeping. Um, actually I need a... You know what, I just buy an inn. The sleeping is pretty much the same after you die. Like, you're gonna be out of all your stuff, and you're gonna have to, have to get it back by sleeping quite a bit. Definitive Edition didn't really mess with that, as far as I know. You gonna play a modded version with the alternate start? I think we'll do... On Saturday, we're gonna do a modded version in co-op. Uh, Six Guns All is one of my longest-standing... He is my longest-standing channel member. Need a place to sleep? 
and he this. wanted to do a modded playthrough on Saturday, and so I think we're going to do that. And we will probably use alternate start. It's one of, like, the basis of mod. Like, if you're going to play mods, you start off with alternate start. I can't get in my bed right now. Okay, there we go. I need to sleep three days and it should change. There's so much burnt health all the time. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, the game is very difficult. Um, and so if you're finding yourself needing to sleep a lot because you're dying a lot, it's, it's a very common thing. Like, obviously I don't have that issue that much because I don't die as much anymore. I mean, when I do die, it's a pain in the butt to get all the health back. Um, if you use Hex Mage, that can mitigate that a lot because Hex Mage will... <coughs> Sorry about that. Hex Mage will give you your health back as you get kills, and also you have ranged attacks, so you, while you have burnt health, you can kind of play it a little bit safer. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're, you're going to deal with that still quite a bit. Also, wish there was crossplay. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, two-handed mace, if you've never used a two-handed mace, that can make the game a lot easier. Get you the Manticore Great Mace. It is kind of a game changer. Game feels very different because your high amount of impact is ridiculous. Alright, let's hope that he moved. Yeah, I really hope he did. Again, Monsoon. Or Berg at this point. Or Levant at this point would be fine. Yeah, Vampiric Weapons, I think, a little take a little too long. I think that was... They're a little unbalanced Greetings, in how long friend. they take. Yes. Levant! Greetings, friend. That was one of the few weapons that I'm like, the whole time I'm getting is just... This feels a bit excessive. I need to buy one more ration. I think it's cost... Uh, well, did it cost 400 or did it cost 300? Greetings, yes. Yeah, we're good. There's also a shell horror here, so I can go get another piece of armor. Any idea what to build around with the Corrupted class? Yeah, definitely. We're going to go Horror Armor. We're going to go... Usually you would go Gun, because, like, Blood Bullet's insane. But I'm going to go Dagger, because I think Dagger has some good potential. I can also still open up with, like, a Gunshot if I want to. How's my weather defense? It should be really low. 10. How bad are the boots? Corruption resist negative 5. Okay. Star Faction. I don't have mana, so I gotta see what the heck are the things I need to do, because I can't remember. I know the main one is just get mana, and then you can go join it. You made it. Good to hear. We could always use some... All right. Let's Talk to Cyrene. She's the mana. Montgomery. Guess I gotta go do Montgomery, then. Thinking about corrupted class and class fixes. Oh, I got you. The hex mage uses corrupted cast spells. Yeah, I rem I rem vaguely remember that. It was actually really cool. It was kind of tricky, but it was also really cool. Like all of the class fixes stuff is amazing. You have any of my mods? Yeah, for Boyna, I remember thinking we're gonna use at least the backpack mod was the main one. I believe that was the one you worked on. Listen, oh boy. That's the one I've been wanting to use since I saw it on there, actually. Uh, crap. I'm trying to think of what I need to do. Not talk to that person. A new re Listen up. Listen up. Oh, I just bring him money? Okay. At least the backpack one. Probably weapon fixes, too, I would imagine. How can this? I always like that one. Uh, we can sell a lot of stuff. I don't want to sell too much, though. Don't need any mana potions at the current time. Sell that. Does help with hot water, de hot weather defense? No, they help with cold weather. We don't need that. We're gonna go get a little bit of money here. 
So we don't need to have too much. We just need to be able to join with this guy. Listen up. Here you are. Hey now, what's with that look? I can't oh, a camouflage tent. I didn't even think of that. That's because it doesn't give a stealth boost. Okay. I, for a brief moment, I was like, oh, this gives a stealth boost. It doesn't. All right. That was way less cool than I was making it out to me. Listen. Does it give stealth? Let me check. I. It doesn't say it does. I feel like it should, though. Does it give us the stealth buff when we sleep? Oh, dude, it's almost nighttime. Plus 5% stealth. Okay, it is in there. I gotta check this. For a brief moment, I thought it did, and then I thought it didn't. If it does, that could be really helpful. Weapon balance patch is really good. Yes, it is a very fun one. Plus 5 stealth, negative 10... Okay, this is the tent we're running with the whole playthrough. So let's sell that other one. Listen. Oh, That's a good catch there, because for some reason I almost messed with myself there. Alright, summer weighs a lot, so let's go ahead and go straight to a horror as soon as we can. We can buy that armor and wear it. I got a couple things I need to buy here, so let's do that before we go to Berg. Well, here's the thing. We're doing a corruption build, but I'm thinking, like, if we actually do use stealth, we could get a lot of damage in real quick from backstab. We are Will you pledge your service to the ideals of the heroic kingdom of Levant? All right, no turning back, to... boys. We're going we heroic kingdom. We can do more than just survive. Excellent. The heroic kingdom of Levant is happy to have you, citizen. We got three days. Let's go get some money. I was originally, as soon as I started this, I was thinking Holy Mission the whole time, but Heroic Kingdom, always a good one. What can I do for you? I have no money. Gotcha. Alright, it is nighttime, so this is perfectly fine. I don't need to worry too much. Do I need varnishes? Do I need rags? I'm okay on rags. I should grab some more water. Gonna be mace and dagger. It was originally gonna be sword and dagger, but I'm thinking mace may be a good substitute. Because if I actually take warrior monk like I'm thinking I'm going to, I have pain and confusion right there, and I don't need to use puncture for the pain. So, mace and dagger could be. Backpack enchantments took your interest? Yes, they definitely did. More, more damage is never a bad thing, yeah. <laughs> never a bad thing. Step one. We go straight to the... Wind Temple. I need to buy... I need to do my bullion. That's what I need. How many do I have? I have eight bones. Okay. Let's go find a tree. Let's not even pretend for a second like I'm going to catch you. You can build Maelstrom Blade from the mini boss. Hmm. Maybe I will. Pearlbird's Courage, Elat's Relic, Elixir's Relic, and Vendival's Hospitality. So that's all of the Cherisonese one. No. Two Cherisonese. And one Monsoon. One. Okay. I'm trying to remember them by region. Like what they relate to. Aw, oh, food waste. What do I need? Three of them? Uh, that's a mistake. I 
I still can't get rid of the hutch. Get out of here, dude. You're annoying the crap out of me. I don't think, uh... Oh, I should have checked the hex cleaner. Who I should have checked. Oh, well. We'll just run with this disease for half the game. Uh, let's see. Hey, Sheen, thank you for the stream. You really helped me with studying while having you talk in the background. Feels like I'm in a busy public space. I'll catch the rest of the stream on YouTube. Alright, catch you later, dude. How's this build work? I don't get it why we need corruption. So, basically, corruption... ...provides stats as well as many negatives. So, basically, it's a... It's kind of like a masochistic way to play the game or an evil way to play the game. You're giving over to corruption... And you gain negatives because of that. So, like, you're much weaker to lightning. But you're going to get a huge boost to decay damage. At max 75% level corruption, I think you get 50% extra decay damage. And 15... I believe it's 15% cold damage. Or frost damage. So, I'm going to pair those together... With the Decay Dagger. My main weapon will likely end up being either Sky Crown Maze. Or... Honestly, though, if we are getting an Ice Boost, Sky Crown Maze. Because then that's Decay and that's a really good main weapon. I was going to maybe use a Horror Weapon, but now that I'm thinking about it... Sky Crown Maze would be kind of perfect. Or we could use Maelstrom, too. If we really want to look corrupted, Maelstrom looks really corrupted. Yeah, that's why we rushed Manticore Dagger real fast, because it has... It doesn't have a lot of decay. It only has 10. But the thing is, daggers... All of their skills do, like, 4 times damage, 6 times damage. So you're going to get a lot of damage multipliers on that. And I'm assuming that with the 50% bump, that's going to be crazy. Okay, there's Bullion. And... Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna... I have currently... 25% stealth. I have 30% extra stealth. Let me try and hit one of these guys in the back. I don't know how stealth works. Like, I use stealthy in front of him or no? I don't think so. I've, I never use stealth, ever. What? He doesn't see me? Yo, stealth is broken. Okay, it's broken until it's not. <laughs> Classic. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Their spin is so weird. Okay, so there's like... Yeah, but think about it. Think about it. I can get Rogue Engineer and get an extra bump to stealth. That's the thing. Look how close I got to that enemy before he recognized me. I was standing two feet in front of him when he finally saw me. I know you can barely see my character, but the point stands. That, that's crazy. Okay, I missed. This is a very weird enemy to try this on. Look, I'm right next to him. He doesn't see me. It could be this enemy, too. Like, this could be a really weird enemy for this. What? I also don't know if nighttime affects it. I don't think it does. Could be wrong. Okay, lantern off. Actually, does lantern matter? That's the thing. It should. It should matter. Scepter of the Curl Priest. I could use it. I could if we want a lot of decay damage. Yeah. 
I was gonna say, I remember light mattering a lot, actually. This is another enemy I can very easily get behind. Okay. Stealth is just straight up broken. Why have I never tried this? Half plate. Chitin. Palladium. Boom. 20% damage boost. Okay. Our stamina cost is really high, though. And we're going to be really slow. Actually, I have plus 18 right now. But that's a 30% boost. How much decay damage am I doing? I wish I knew. That's insane. Stealth is an aggro reduction. If you're below their threshold, you're almost invisible. Yeah, that's insane. I had no idea. Like, I've literally never tried stealth in this game. I just always go for the pressure plates when I take the other... It's not a bad helmet. When I take um, Rogue Engineer. Look how cool I look. This is a freaking cool looking set of armor. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, there's a cooking station here. Let's see if I can make anything. I need to learn the recipe for breath. Bread of the Wild. Does anyone know that off the top of their head? Because Bread of the Wild is the best thing in the game for this build right here. Because then I don't have to craft the potions. The potions are going to be good, but Bread of the Wild provides a healing buff too. So I can get healing and stealth in one go. It's a good concept. Uh, it's good except when doing certain quest encounters. Ah. I guess it doesn't work at all in boss fights. But I don't really need it to work in boss fights. That's the thing. There's another shell whore in the slide. And I can decraft that axe, too. It's alpha meat, smoke root, wool shroom bread. Oh, wool shroom and bread. So I need to figure out where to get wool shroom, which I think wool shroom is in Berg a lot. Smoke root's in Berg a lot, and raw alpha meats in Berg a lot, too. So I need to be in Berg, basically, to make it. I need to figure out stealth potions, too, though. That way I could use them in other regions. Okay, so that is the recipe. Gotcha. What is that? Did you see that? There's like something on fire in the distance. That was really weird. Oh, maybe it's like an obsidian elemental. They shouldn't be over here, though. That was kind of crazy. That's exactly what it looked like, but there shouldn't be any elementals over here. It is. Okay. I guess there are some over here. I thought it was all bandits, but yeah, there's two obsidian elemental or uh, obsidian elemental and two of the the burning men. You know what else I really like about this armor? Look how slick the legs look. It's very streamlined on the legs. I like that quite a bit. Uh, fall damage. No fall damage, baby. That's how good I am right there. You're welcome. You're welcome. They roam around a fair bit. Yeah, I've never seen them back there. Alright, step two. This cave right here. What 
we're going to use probably... Um, I'm out of varnishes, so I guess we're not going to use any varnish, because I don't really need one anyway. Possessed potion might be a good cheap option. Water and a cult. That is cheap. Huh. Okay. What about frost potion? I remember frost potion being a little bit more difficult than that. You tell me all I need is a cult remains. That's a really sweet deal. Guys, it instantly applies extreme poison. Look at my impact resist. Look at my impact resist. I can block for days now. This is all. Oh, look at. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm going to show you this. Look at my back. In the dark. That looks cool. Wait till I get the helmet. This is full. I, I've literally never done a full-on corruption build. I'm I'm not even using corruption yet, and I'm having a blast. Farm Wendigos for the occult bones. Or I, I could also do basically anything in Cherish and Ease. Don't ghost drop them a lot, too. I know Wendigos are, like, guaranteed. Ooh, punch and paste. Nice. Good find right there. Soothing tea. Um, don't pull that yet? Yeah, don't pull that yet. The only tough part was the Manticore. As soon as we got past the Manticore, now we're in a really good spot. I got the Dragon Shield. Which I don't think actually sells that well. Let's grab the Broken Golem Rapier to have that. If I craft those together, they're just huge. Um, we can put that down. I think that, I actually remember this armor having really good decay resist too. Drop this right here. All right, bud. Yeah, there we go. I can take at least a couple of hits now and not just drop dead. Thing is, this weapon here. You look at the damage, and you're like, oh, it's super low because it is. the The burning is the huge advantage it has. All right, buddy. Manticore Dagger is insane. Look how much damage I'm doing. A Giver unit. The insect guys in Emberker Forest drop a lot of occult remains, too. There's a lot of them. Oh, the hive? Okay, I'll go over there, then. Gotta get back in outward. It's always so much fun to play. What's up, Chad? Yeah, it's great, dude. Alright, let's take an Alpha Sandwich. Dude, look at this. Alpha Sandwich. Boyan. You don't even need skills in this game. That's the truth. You just need food. Food's so insane. Just give you all the buffs. Tricky thing is getting the right materials. A lot of it costs Alpha Meat. Alpha Meat is super valuable. Um, we need a Water Buff. And then we can go kill the Shell Horror. See if they have anything. Another water canteen? You know I'm about that. I'm a big water guy. Outward turns you into a water guy, though. That's the truth. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> Stealth. Alright, let's get out of this room so we can see. Look at the impact, dude. The Manticore Dagger has such dumb impact. That's insane. Why they double levered that, I don't know. 
Guess we can craft now. What's the last material? Palladium? Heck yeah, dude. Now we have a total of 40% extra decay damage. Our impact resist is 49. Okay, that's really good. Or are I keeping the disease? I just, I need a hex cleaner to get rid of it, <laughs> unfortunately. I don't have one. My mana cost is really high, though. So I need to find a way to use mana appropriate. I don't really need mana, that's the thing. What I want to use it for is support. So, like, mana infuse. How much protection did I get, too? Seven protection? But I got negative 50. Basically, I'm going to have negative, I think, 90... If I use Scepter the Cruel Priest, we will actually have negative 100 lightning. I will get one shot by any lightning attack, I think. But I'll be practically immune to decay. The ugliest helmet. I like it. It's. I mean, it is ugly, but like it's ugly in a monster kind of way, you know? This thing just has such stupid impact for a dagger. That's absurd. Any amount of health regen, I'm not dying. Any amount of health regen, I'm not dying. What build you going for, Sheen? Oh, we're doing full-on corruption build with the horror set today. It's gonna be epic. Yeah, that's all good. What to do a Blood and Thunder build for my second character? Cabal, Hex, Merc. Mm, blood and Thunder. Oh, yeah. Go Blood Infusion. Use, like, a Lightning melee weapon. That could definitely work, for sure. I'm trying to think of, like, a main weapon you would use, though. I'm not sure. Fungal Cleanser works on the Hutch, too. Does it really? Do I have any? Food waste. I don't think I have any. I think it's just a mushroom, though, isn't it? It's a mushroom and something else. Ah, I don't ever make that, so I don't know. Let's go fight the bug. Notice I can sneak up on enemies with my lantern on with the rogue buff on my vampire character. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to mess with that, then. I'm going to mess with that. All right, this is not the entrance, is it? Steel rapier with her rainbow enchant. Still no idea how to get the enchanting, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, the, uh, Jinx is kind of weird, you're right. Because it does have that gamble factor, and it's not amazing. I don't mind it most of the time, but it can get annoying. Alright, ready? We're going to use Frost. Stealth, because it's broken. I have a lantern on. I should have 30% stealth. Yo, that's kind of wild, though. Wait for him to turn around. He can see me a little bit. Drop the bag. Just in case. Yo. Yo, stealth is just straight up broken. I had no idea. What? <laughs> what? Dude. 
Dude, it's just straight up broken. What? Okay, I dodged right into that. All right, the, the stealth is definitely like, I think I need the extra skill for some enemies, especially if they're staring right at you. But if they're not looking directly at you, you have a lot of leeway. What? All right, let's get out of here. We just came down here to embarrass some bugs. That's that's insane, though. Full on dagger spam, dude. I mean, what's the impact on it? 44 impact, bro. I think it's broken, too. Let me sleep. Just in case I have to go fight something. Let me double check this. Because I think that does affect the dur... Uh, it's affected by durability. Becoming extreme bleeding and poisoned to death. <laughs> it does do a lot of damage to you, it's true. It does a lot of damage to you. Okay, I only repaired it halfway. I need to get that skill. But look at that. 44 impact on a dagger? You have any idea how insane that is? The Sky Crown Mace has 55. And that's one of the best impact weapons in the game. This basically has 11 less than the best impact in the game. That makes no sense to me. That's crazy. All right, let's go buy Rogue Engineer Stealth. We're just going to stealth our way through this game. We're just going to... We're going to hide and murder everything. Because it works. Where's my tent? Did I pick that up? Yes, I got it. So now I just need a better weapon. Then we're good. As the same as duty. Gotcha. Which is a Caldera late game halberd. That's wild, bro. That's what that is insane. This dagger has way too much impact. I love it though. I'll take that. Um, we need a cactus, number one thing. Where's it at? Cactus? Still gonna be hot. Yeah, we're gonna be really hot. That's fine, though. I could deal with it. What? Bro, you don't even need stealth. Just crouch. I wish there was a perk that lets you run while you're crouched. The game's a little weird with crouching though, like... Because you can melee while crouched. So you have to actively push the button to get up when you think you'd already be up. Right, I don't think I got enough money, but... Big piece of Manticore tail, bro. That's why it's high impact. I guess that's true. It's not easy to get either. Like, think about it. Manticores are actually one of the harder enemies in the game. I just straight up got it at the very beginning because I did not care at all. I think what we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to go over and do the electric lab. That's what we'll do. I'm going to go back to town, sell everything I have. Should I kill the Manticore? Like, I can take him, though, can't I? Like, I could definitely take him. I just need water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a win. This is a win for sure. No doubt. I mean, I'm weak to extreme poison. Very weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they got me with that stupid thing. But, remember? We learned.
stealth is broken. The thing is, like, I have to be really far away when I start crouching. Now he's already bleeding. They bled him. Alright, there's bleed. Poison burning. Ooh. It's physical damage, so I don't care that much. Yo, this build's already kind of wild, and we don't even have any skill trees. This build's already absolutely... I have high defense. But see, that's the thing. I, I don't really even care about defense. It's the impact resist. Impact resist is so important. Because this game can be literally just trivialized by blocking. If you just block all attacks, I think the only thing it doesn't trivialize is giants. Because they have such high impact, it's ridiculous. The famous last words. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. I can't believe it's this good. We are going to be pretty slow, though. Mm. Not too worried about that, though. What did I pick up? Let me empty this, actually. That should help a lot. 88. Oh, I keep picking up raw alpha meat. Oh, I want that, though. So good. I have mana potions I don't need. I'm gonna sell them, though. You dual wield daggers? No. Unfortunately. I think Yeah, you can in a mod, but not in the base game. What? I don't even know. I need to drop my backpack. I have the most overpowered dagger. It does all of your stagger in one hit. Has no range. I mean, it has some downsides, but like the upsides to it are just straight up insane. No range. And. It's a dagger, so, like, you can't use it super easily, I guess? Maybe? I'm trying to think of bad things about this dagger right now. It's hard. It's so good. Imagine if they have confusion. Ah, no. That's what I'm thinking about going Warrior Monk. Because think about it. We go Warrior Monk. We use Perfect Strike. Now, if I end up switching over to the Sky Crown Maze... That's the thing. If I end up switching over to Sky Crown Mace, I've got that. For high impact, it's going to deal confusion with the... Not the perfect strike, but the next skill. I can't remember what his name is. Uh, mm, I don't remember the name of that skill. But then we got that. Pain. Dude, they're going to be done. If maybe if I can mix in the Decay Hex. Can I do that? Weaken enemies to 25% by the Decay Hex. Who has it? I think that's the Hex you get from doing the Blood Quest. The Blood Mage Quest. At the end of the game. Well, in Antique Plateau, I guess. Not end game. That one? Okay. I guess I need to do that anyway. So I might as well not even get the boon from the Friendly Immaculate. I'm thinking at this point, what I want to do... Oh, I should have done that when I was over there. There's two tents I need. The one that I need is the Scourge Cocoon. And then I need the Stealth one. Because the Stealth for obvious reasons. But the Scourge Cocoon, I can easily get my Corruption up. Because I think what it said was it doesn't matter. It'll just bump it up by 10%. So I could just sleep in it like 7 times and get 70% Corruption. No matter where I am. But you can craft them. But I think you have to have Horror Chitin to craft them. And unfortunately in Caldera there are none. So I need to like stock up on a couple. Before I get over there, you know. Maybe not so much in Antique Plateau. Because can there's I a lot of... This worries there's a lot of uh, fighting horrors over there. But I guess not shell horrors. Just discourage in general. Got another Manticore Tail. Should I save that? Co 
Coal remains and water. I can make potions with, so let's save those. Hey, I got Calyx's relic. I can make Maelstrom. I don't even know if I want Maelstrom at this point. Probably do. Yeah, we're going to go for Maelstrom, I think. I, uh, Skycrown Mace would be better. But Maelstrom would be cooler, you know? It's got that evil factor to it. I'm kind of feeling the evil, evil factor right now. You, uh, seeds. You want a fungal cleanser? Nobody got it? Okay. Garchacoon is a cult remains, horror chitin, and two Vibra eggs. So you can only really make it an antique plateau anyway. Can I help? This worries me. You got bread? You can make alpha sandwiches, or... What was the other thing I needed alpha meat for? can't remember off the top of my head. Stamina? How many do I have? I have four. I just bought nine bread. Let's buy five. Let's sell that, sell that, sell that. The dagger. It's a good one. Oh, I just have enough money. That sucks. We'll buy two ingots, I guess. Okay, I got some more stuff to sell. I think we got one in Sandro's Cave in South Abrasar Desert. Want to buy something? Yeah, there is one in Sandro's. Okay. Oh boy. Tourmaline. I don't need power coils anymore. Don't need palladium anymore? Do I don't think I need palladium anymore. Stealth potions we want to keep. All varnishes. Don't really need rags that much. Don't need the shrimp. Keep the cactus. Don't need that or that. Don't need the bug. Firm transaction. Okay. We're going to make a makeshift camp over here so I can... I'm going to sleep probably. No, I want to be traveling during nighttime. So what I'll do is I will just cook up some stuff. And so that's what I need right now anyway. Why sell tourmaline? Ah, I'm not too concerned about it right now. I'll complain about it later when I can't find any. <laughs> one more in the wind altar area. Oh yeah, we got that one. Yeah, we got that one. Oh, bread of the wild was one I wanted to craft, so I had the recipe. I think I need more ingredients. Yeah, I don't have the ingredients for it right here. All right, we'll leave that here because we are gonna go. We're gonna come back. So no reason to carry it around for no point. I think I have a couple more things to sell, possibly. Actually, no, I'm pretty good on things to sell. I should, though, just so I get more space. Sweep kick if you're going Maelstrom? Yes. yes this worries me. We're going to have an impact monster on our hands. Don't need that much thick oil. Um, I'm not going to carry around that harpoon anymore. I'm not even using it. Cactus. Don't really need Gabri wine right now. Don't really need iron either. Keep a couple of those on hand just in case. Uh, okay. All right, there's 700. Oh, I didn't check if anyone had. That's not the alchemist anyway. I need a hex cleaner or what was it? Fungal cleanser. How much is stealth up? Is it 25% extra stealth? I feel like that was the amount it was. Again, I've never used it, so. How can I help you? This is troubling. Let's see. No hex cleaner. Do you have a thing for it, though? Cold stone, antidote. No fungal cleanser either. That guy has absolute crap, dude. Anyone ever want to use the thorn chakra? It's pretty bad. Stealth up gives 25% stealth. Stealth training gives you around 30. Ooh. Dang. 
You could just be completely invisible. Alright. I'm gonna have to figure out how to craft hex cleaner. I know someone told me earlier, but I do not remember. I need to fill up on water before I leave. I need to eat this. Yeah, let's go get the other dagger skill. That's a good point. I don't have anything that inflicts pain right now. Because it hasn't been beneficial yet. If I switch to a sword, I could use puncture. Because I think I can learn it from the guy over here, can't I? Yeah, my what dude here. Now? Listen up. Yeah, pain. Whoa. Fine. The game did not like that. So now as long as I have a sword, I can inflict pain. Not bad. What could I do for you? I already got backstab. Opportunist stab is the one we need. I think I'm gonna grab the breakthrough. Lower stamina cost of dodging by 50% allows you to dodge unimpeded even wearing a backpack. Sprinting and having a light source will stay easily will still easily alert them though. Okay. Couldn't get ooh, I can get sweep kick. Nice. Let's fill out our hot bar with some of these skills then. So we've got opportunist stab, and then sweep kick will change out for Let's just put Enrage on here, since we have that. I'm trying to think if there's anything, like, sword-wise that I could get. I think we need to go kill Uniques and hope for the right stuff. That's what it's looking like. Pizza Chakram? Yeah. I need a Wool Shroom, Mushroom, Spice Beetle for Fungal. So I need to get a Wool Shroom, and then I can craft it, basically. Alright, fill this up. Uh, take a drink, too. And I think we're good to go. I feel like I have plenty of stuff here. Move another one of those to pocket. I got one weight. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. How much is one weight? I need some... A lot of what I'm carrying around right now is actually food. Here we go. Move to pocket. Boom. Nice. Luckily, there's a lot of unique enemies here in Abrasar. So there's the Golem, which I need a Spirit Varnish to take out. So we're going to have to do some dungeons before we get that. There's the dude in the stone area. I think, does Luke the Pearlson drop? I feel like Luke the Pearlson doesn't drop one. I can't get to him yet anyway, but I feel like he doesn't drop one. So we're going to go do... The, the um, electric lab first, and then we'll travel down and do the shell horror cave. Sand rose, because that'll give us the unique. We already have Calixa's relic, so we need the pearl bird. Need a couple of them. But that's at least one down. Imagine the pizza chakra I'm giving a chance for enemies hit. Buy it to drop random food. Chance grows with each chakram hit. That would be awesome, actually. And, like, you could get a Gabberry, or maybe you could get Gabberry... Not Gabberry, but, uh, what's the one? Like, Vagabond Jam? That would be insane. That'd be a really cool perk to add to that item. An Emerald? Nice! What a find! We actually don't have the right setup for where we're going, but I think it's gonna be fine. The hive also? Who's in the hive? Ah, oh, yeah, the fat hive head, dude. I actually have a really nice setup for fighting the hive. And I mean really nice. Um, I should have got the warm boon. That would have been a good idea. The one I need is a cool boon. Where's the cool boon at? That's Conflux. I haven't been there yet. I think I want a gun for stealth up. And then once I have that, then I'll just go get all the mercenary stuff. Honestly, the mercenary stuff probably should have been the first thing I got. Like the, the tier 1 stuff, but I just didn't care that much.
Oh, look. He can't hit me. Okay, now he can hit me. I was deeply mistaken. Alright, we want to keep the backpack on since we can dodge now with it. The only downside to that skill is it's pretty much hit or miss. More often than not, it's a miss. Right now, the dagger is not hitting this guy. I can't hit him. It's inconvenient. I, like, attacked him several times over and couldn't actually hit him. Let's use... Do I want to use Breath of the Wild? I want to save Breath of the Wild for when we get to the top part. I want to see if I can stealth kill all those guys. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe I just stick with this backpack then, because if I get negative stamina, hey, that's a huge advantage. What Tartine is best? I believe the best one is the Vagabond Tartine. At least Vagabond Jam, I think is what it is. It's the purple one. That thing is insane. Uh, marshmallow Tartines are really nice if you're in Monsoon. They give the best stamina. All right, I don't have anything to deal with the groups. That's the only thing we don't have yet. So what I do is, I use my stealth potion, turn my lantern off, duck, and, or crouch, and I'm literally unable to be seen. So I'll walk in here. They don't see me. I'm going to hide behind these walls here. They clearly do vaguely know where I'm at. All right, that didn't work at all, so. Too many people. I thought I could get the fire one out of the way, and then the other one saw me. Okay, they are apparently faster than I thought. My Manscore Dagger is broken. Inconvenient. Forgot to talk to the blacksmith. I don't need to drop my backpack either. I gotta get out of that habit. Yeah, this is a bad fight. Like, such a basic enemy turns into a really bad fight because I don't have the tools to take them down, you know? Let's just get out of here. It's a bad fight. Without the dagger, I basically have no damage against him. I need, like, a varnish or something. Let's just sleep and repair it. I wasn't aware that my dagger was broken. Otherwise, I would have repaired that in town. Yeah, Vagabond's crazy. It offers a ton of stuff. Alright, there's eight repairing. That should be plenty. Constructs have a different threat detection system for some reason. I was doing pretty good on the fire guy, but I think the other dude was I was right in front of him. I think my tent buff ran out anyway. Not a big deal. Alright, Manticore Dagger is back at full. Feeling good about that. Um, I actually do have a spirit varnish. Okay. was not aware of that. I don't know where that came from. Alright, I got one of them. <laughs> My other alarm. I need a better main weapon now. That's what we're running into. Merton's fire poker is not is not for what I'm doing, so I need that. Just replaced. Okay. 
Manticore Dagger just... Oh, my word. Chunkin', dude. Chunkin'. I have a fire... I think I need fire stones for the fire varnishes, which I do want to make later. Ooh, a broad dagger? Alchemy kit? I actually do need an alchemy kit as well. For a couple of things that I want to make. Is taking the backpack off before sleeping change anything? It's supposed to reduce how much food gets eaten. Not eaten, but like durability of the food, you know? I can't remember if they stated if that wasn't a thing anymore or not, but I always do it still. Can you see me? You can clearly see me. My impact resist. My impact resist. The heavy armor in this game. Definitive Edition greatly buffed heavy armor. Like, by a lot. Alright, there should be another golem. Do I already have one? No, I don't. That's really all the main loot I need to pick up, is the golem rapiers, because that's where all the money's at anyway. Like, palladium scrap? Don't need it. I guess I'll go in here. Okay, there's fire. Now I got something. Yeah, constructs a little bit more difficult. Specifically forge golems. They're not really weak to poison or burning at all. My defense against them is really good. Like, really, really good. Um, I guess let's make some cloth. Uh, sometimes I do that and then I don't ever end up picking them up. I really should just pick them up. Alright, we need water, don't we? Waiting for hour two. I know, right? What are you planning on using for your main main hand? I would like Maelstrom. Um, if I can't get that, I'm going to go for Skycron. Game has a small glitch when it comes to sleeping. When you rest, time passes on the character in the environment timers, but not on stuff on the main screen. Interesting. What's up, YouTube Pants? Interesting name, by the way. What's the build? This is a full-on... Um... Corruption build, we're going to be using Cabal Hermit, Rogue Engineer, and Warrior Monk. I'm already halfway through Rogue Engineer. We're working on finishing that up. And then we're going to head to either... Head back to Berg first, and then hopefully Monsoon. I need Warrior Monk as soon as possible for that stamina. That's bogus. That's actually just straight up a hack. Congrats, dude. You're hacking. Sit down. My defense has gone through the roof. Two enemies on both sides. I'm trying to figure out which one I go for. Yeah, I mean, I think I just... I made it for the rest of the run. I mean, I it's like, no, all I do is just block. Now, once we get to Caldera, it'll depend. That'll be really where we... Oh, I got Live Weedy. What was that I needed? Is that Hex Cleaner? What do I need Live Weedy for? Or Live Weedy, whatever it is. I think it's Live Weedy. I think it was Hex Cleaner. Uh, Hex Cleaner gets rid of most negative effects, or you can usually take like specific potions that do that. I just haven't been able to find the one I need. 
unfortunately. It was X-Cleaner? Okay. Can't remember the other ones, but at least we have that now. Good, because I was going to block that, and you can't block that, so... Dude, this is absurd. Yeah, that's closed. Didn't I do this dungeon wrong? Yeah, I gotta do the secret path. Why'd I do that? I guess to kill that guy? <laughs> I don't know. Should be able to get up this way, though. There it is, right there. Take water. Ah, there it is. I've heard this noise the entire time, but I haven't been able to find the guy. Manticore daggers are straight up the most powerful item in the game. <laughs> Wow. I mean, I've used this thing before. I've never got this much effect out of it. It's kind of crazy. The like decay bonuses are obviously really huge, but... I'm fine. Oh, I'm not fine. Right, he does lightning damage. That's fine. I just gotta get out of that situation there. I don't know how much lightning damage, but I think his basic attacks have some. Because he started trashing me there. And I can't block half of his attacks, too. Do I have bandages? No, we just heal up that way. I need to uh, stay focused on making health potions, because I really don't have materials for that. Okay, I need the alchemy kit for the hex cleaner. This guy has Enchanted Mask, which is useless to me. Do I need these? Uh, no. I don't know how much mon uh, mana I want to take. I think, technically, I could get away with using no mana in this run. If I really wanted to. Because it's unnecessary. I mean, with Rogue Engineer, it really is unnecessary. I do usually like having a little bit, though. It'll probably depend on my health, what my health ends up looking like. Finally some skills. Yeah, Ricky, I finally got some. Looks a lot better that way, for sure. Alright, just gotta get back here. Should be one golem, and then I get... Oh, he doesn't drop anything, though, does he? An enemy that's usually easy, but is actually one of the harder ones in the game for this build. Because lightning destroys me. There you are. Better lantern. Nice. Now this thing won't run out for the rest of the entire game. Man is overrated. Fair enough. I'll probably mainly use it to buff, I would assume. It's a good hat. That's a really good hat. Ice Flame Torch is a good idea to have. Okay, he clearly saw me. This weapon does not have a good block range for some reason. When I'm trying to spin around the enemy, it won't it won't block the last curved hit from this enemy because it's such a long reach that he has. Oh, I hit the front end of him.
I gotta be careful not to get, like, too greedy with my attacks and then take too many hits. Nice. His dagger does have a decent... An I wonder why they never gave this guy items. It's so weird. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our stealth potion. And I think an ethereal varnish. Uh, should I save the ethereal varnish, though? That's probably what I should do. Because if we're gonna fight all of the golems and stuff, I need to save it for that big guy. I don't know if I'm in the place where I can fight him right now. Gabriel wine for varnishes. Oh, good point. I do need that, don't I? I think it's one more. I was not thinking about spirit varnishes at the time. Should be nighttime still? Yeah, it should be nighttime. If it's nighttime, I'll have an easier... Easier fight out here. It's straight up daytime. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't have anything for the heat, really. Cures, and this one protects against cold, so let's just use our stealth potion. Gotta save the spirit varnish. So maybe we use, like, a different varnish, then. Maybe a lightning. Bouillon. Because why not? I think there probably is some desert cactus here. Now that you mention that. How close can I get here? Is he gonna turn around? Because I will definitely get caught if he does. Come on, buddy. You're a jerk. You know that? You're a straight-up jerk. That was rude. I had him and everything. Alright, look for a cactus, and then we'll go fight the other one. I, I should be able to get a stealth hit on one of these guys. There it is. The cactus right there. Might be one right... No, not one right here, but there is one right there. Feels like you're playing Metal Gear now. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing now? Oh, did I leave the light on? I think I did. Ah, uh, I have my lantern on. I'm such a ding-dong. I didn't notice because it was the electric one. As soon as I saw your comment in the chat, I was like, wait a minute. No way I had that on. I did. I had my lantern on that whole time. I mean, I was standing in front of him, though. So, it's kind of fair. I felt like it was going to happen either way, really. I have to walk so far. No. No. Stop it. Can't do it. I can't do it. all these enemies. Their their pathing is so back and forth. Like they're just perfectly set up to counter that. Manticore Dagger has low durability. Is what I'm seeing. I keep getting so close and I just can't get it, man. I gotta go back in for the heat anyway. Spam dodge. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Now that my dagger's broken... I'm probably going to get the hit off. What's a four times multiplier on two damage? 
Not much. Makes sense. Look how much difference freaking enrage makes. Nuts. The thing is, it keeps the same impact, though. Even when it's broken. Like, it's still just knock over enemies by doing that right there. Alright, this is going to be tough for some of these fights, because Caldera especially, I'll be out in the hot, and uh, this character does not do well in heat. I need to get hot weather from Cabal Hermit, that's going to help a lot. And then I'll need to craft some potions for it, likely. Yeah, <laughs> it's a dagger that's not pointing anymore, pretty much. Alright, well, we roasted them. I was really hoping it was going to be nighttime when I did this, but it means it should probably be nighttime when I go over to the other place. Might actually be a good idea to sleep a second. Because here's the thing if I'm going to fight the golem, I may want to wait. But if I do it right now, if it's ni nighttime, we'd be optimal. Obviously. I think I have enough buffs to do it. It's just going to be tricky. Alright, that's been activated. Let's just take a quick nap. Get rid of our stamina burn a bit. Hopefully it turns into night while I do this too. Or I could sleep through the night because I have stupid uh, impact. The Guardian drop a relic. And no, unfortunately, they don't drop him. Oh, Compass Guardian? Compass Guardian does, I think. I know he drops grenades. I th so I think he dropped... They added grenades to his inventory. So I think they added one of those, but I can't remember for sure. Maybe he doesn't now that you just said that. Only one way to find out. Save the bullion for him. We can use the alpha sandwiches as much as we want because they're going to run out very quickly. I guess I can't double up on health from that, can I? Uh, I think we're good. Art is nice in this game. Oh, you're talking about the wall? Yeah. <laughs> This is lovely to look at. You know what's weird, though? I feel like if you have enough stealth, the lantern really doesn't matter that much. Obviously, it's going to depend on when we get our, our big perk from Rogue Engineer, but so far, that's how I feel. Another spirit varnish? Alright, that's actually pretty good. I'm cold. The heck is happening around here? All lopsided. I need crystal powder. I have crystal powder. I have no palladium. How does that happen to a person? Do I really not have palladium? I think I had six and I sold six. And then there were several in here that I didn't pick up. Because I... Oh boy. Let me just walk in here, grab some real quick, and then I'll craft those so I'm not as overweight. Oh, do I have plenty of spikes? Ah, good catch, dude. Good catch. I guess I have a broad dagger, too. There we go. All right. It's really freaking cold out here. I need some wood so I can make a torch. cool thing about dagger runs is that 
daggers are so light-handed, you can use a lot of different things. Like, I could switch to... I could switch to any number of daggers I want. Just carry a couple around. I could switch to a torch easily, all that stuff. It's not like you're doing a two-handed axe playthrough where anytime you need to wear a torch, it's like, All right, well, I'm overweight. Are you serious right now? <laughs> that is incredibly disrespectful. They gave me the cold as soon as I got warm again. Like how this armor has purplish glowing veins that you can see only at night. I love it. It's really cool. Agreed. All right, eighty-six point nine. Let me decraft a broad dagger. How much is a broad dagger? Two. Eighty-five. Let's take a. This should do it. There we go. Now I'm just gonna walk back. I probably won't fight the guardian compass yet because I mean I am a little overweight. 100% disease collection run. It's looking like it, dude. How come earlier I had two hex cleansers at the very beginning of the game? Sold the one, used the other, have not gotten hex cleaner since. Not a single one. Bless you. Thanks, Ashram. Thanks very much. Um, Let's see. Manticore is dead. That guy's dead. Yeah, so I think we just need to do... Should I grab this first, though? I mean, it's on the way. I'm gonna be overweight, though. Maybe not. Let's at least look at it. Let's look at the loot, see if it's worth coming back here for, because if it's not worth it, then I can just pass it up. Challenger with all diseases would be really tough. Now, there was a mod that added diseases, like uh, extra diseases, like uh, what's it called, lycra, lycra or the vamp, or the werewolf disease, lycanthropy. I think it's lycanthropy is how you say it. Dang, I can't carry that, dude. That's sixteen weight. I can't carry it. I want to, but not gonna happen. Maybe I just take my stand and not fight him. Or, better yet, I fight these hive on the way back. How about that? How much overweight am I now? Why do I just keep getting overweight by random things? Alright, throw that on. What are they weak to? Decay? Do I have a decay rag? Doesn't look like it. They're weak to fire. I kind of want to save my varnishes. I don't really need varnishes for these guys, do I? The bees saw me. This is weird. The bees are on me. I have the effect. Because they got on me. But the actual enemy itself hasn't seen me. Odd. Come here, you. I mean, he's just done. Like, I have the two weapons that destroy this guy. They're just kind of annoying to fight because of the bugs. Like, even if you don't get the disease or anything, the bugs are in the way. Look like I can't see anything. There we go. Hey, smoke root. Okay, smoke root. Did I need smoke root for the hex cleaner? 
feel like knows the answer to that. All right, what's in my pocket here? Let me drop these arrows. Actually, you know what? Drop these arrows. They're heavy, Zach. The bees have more eyes than skeletons. <laughs> drop an alchemy kit? Do I have more than one? Oh, I do have more than one. For some reason, I thought I only had one. I hadn't checked that in a while, I guess. Oh, the monk! Dude, we're gonna go kill the monk. Water, greasy fern. Ah, I need greasy fern. No greasy ferns here, is there? Nah, probably not. Bro's gonna turn around in like three seconds, right? Wait for him to turn around. Yeah, okay. Now we crouch. There we go. You gotta time it right. That's the thing. Oh my word, I'm so... freaking slow. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is why you don't usually play heavy armor. The stealth build. Once I get to you, you're gonna die. Oh! Roasted. I'm gonna eat that, just because they get the fire on there. Alright, lightning. That is my enemy. Wasted my thing. It did it again. For some reason, the dagger has this major issue where sometimes it just doesn't register and it does nothing. Therefore, getting you hit, because you thought you were going to hit the enemy. Let me check and see if there's a greasy fern in here. I feel like there isn't, but of all places, this would be it. There's one at the walled garden. Sweet. Guess I'm going there next. Nine Dot said they might be sewing something this year on Twitter. Are you thinking of maybe I were to... Or I doubt that it'll be outward too. I doubt it will be. I hope they do do an hour or two, but from what they were talking, it sounds like they want to do a new project instead. I would be psyched if it would be, though. Alright, we have major issues right now. I actually didn't realize there were this many lightning enemies in the game. He's going up against a lot of them. All right, double check. I don't feel. I don't think there's a greasy fern in here. I remember there being nothing important in here. If anything, there should be an ornate chest. Ooh, smoke root. I need that. Yeah, if anything, that should be uh, an ornate chest. Weird. I picked up one extra thing. Now I'm heavy. Oh, of course. Greasy is at the Compass Guardian. All right, I have to head over there. Played like 200 hours of this game. Never seen this dungeon. It's in the middle. It's got nothing, dude. It's got nothing. I guess maybe you could go in there to get some basic materials. Because, I mean, it does have a chest. But it ain't worth it. It's also in the very corner of the map where you would never really go. I'll drop those. I should keep picking up more stuff. I need to stop doing that. The major problem I have. I like stuff. What can I say? There we go. Was this forgotten by everyone? Even modders didn't put anything in there. I think, uh... 
I think you're right about that, yeah. I didn't remember seeing anything modders did with it. It'd be cool if it was really a long dungeon and it led to another dungeon past the mountains. It would be awesome. Or if, like, you could, at the back of that dungeon, there was, like, a secret path. And if you took it, you could go past the mountain range and get to Harmattan without going to the Sorrow Boring Caravan or something weird like that. Like, that would be unique. That'd be pretty cool. Also spent way less time in this map than the others. I guess you don't really spend that much time in Levant overall. At least you don't have to. Alright, poison ourselves to get rid of that. Cure it. Cold's going away. See, I need a greasy fern. I'm going to carry my alchemy kit over there if I'm going to actually make that. Who has money? The blacksmith should have the most money right now. Oh, boy. Aha. Don't need Whirlig for this run either. Hundred and fifty three. That's so close, it hurts me. This is troubling. There's 900. And we don't need Enchanted Mask. Yes? We can sell that. I'll keep Firestones for now. Yeah, I think I do. Don't need that seed. Don't need Mana Potion. I do want Golem Elixir. I think that's important. I think I need the beetles, too. Yeah, I don't need a enchanted mask. I'm gonna sell that. I can't. I went way over the limit without paying attention. Oh, I can't even sell him the spear. He only has 800. I'm, I must have sold them to him already. You can get Mephinos if I want to. Nah, I don't need Mephinos. I have a heart. Need bones? I don't need two bones. I need, like, three. But I'll just sell them for now. Actually, yes, I do need them. I can go get a bunch more shell horrors here quick. Just take me a second. Alright, that's fine. I think the alchemist down here has a ton of money. Right now, we're absurdly slow. I gotta go buy that for the, uh... The blacksmith. I don't have his perks yet. How can this is troubling? Six hundred? Dang, he doesn't have enough. That's crazy. I don't think anyone has enough right now. Let me think. Who else sells? You know what? There's one more merchant. So talk to Pigeon Eye, I can get the... What is it? The... Not mercenary. The Smuggler. I can get the Smuggler. I think she has enough. Should be able to sell it to her. Mask is only cage set, I believe. I don't think I've ever even used the cage set. It didn't look that great to me. I guess it has good movement you look speed. Like you've been I'm great. You look like... Oh! You look like... You look like... You've re it's mostly weapons. I see it all from up here. The good, All right. the bad. I actually don't know if the she's open yet. Is barely holding together. I'd use gold bars usually, but I need the money to actually buy the... Okay, it's not open yet. I think I have to wait a bit. I think that's the one I have to, like, leave and come back. Right? Let me test that. 
If it is, I think I just have to leave this door. So I'll get some gold ingots to sell to someone else. Oh, I guess I could do that. Good point. I was thinking... I just didn't think of that. That was a good idea. Why I didn't think of that? I don't know. I'll probably have to anyway. I need gold bars after I spend all the money. So, I don't know actually how much money I'll have. Yep, she's open now. You touch it, you buy it. She only has 500. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. I guess she is a smuggler. Like, she wouldn't have a ton of money on her. Um, I think it's engineer. How can this is troubling? There we go. Cage pistol's fun. Cage pistol is really good. Yeah. Basically, just nurse the enemy by like a massive me. amount. Debuffs them. What to go? Boy. Great in co-op, too, because you can get two shots off, and boom. Like a huge weakness. Alright, let's first off buy these, because these are going to help out a lot. Right now, we're just eating through our stamina, especially with the hive on. Brutal. What can I do for you? Repair your equipment 50% faster. Decrease the stamina and movement penalties of wearing heavy armor. All armor, really. Which brings it down to better stamina, better movement speed. What is it now? Yeah, because this whole set together is pretty brutal. There we go. We're moving faster. Now we should be able to buy both of the last two skills we need, I think. What can I do for you? Yeah, 600 each. Serpent's Parry. Counter a physical attack. Targets afflicted by confusion are stunned. Targets afflicted by pain will be inflicted with extreme bleeding. I now have a way to do extreme poison, extreme bleeding. Once I get Worry Monk, I'll do pain and confusion. Currently, I could do fire, but obviously that'll change. Stealth training. And we'll buy that because it's there. Nice. Alright, let's go cure this Hutch disease because it's freaking annoying. Usually I wouldn't fight at nighttime, but I think I have to fight at nighttime here. When you have a backpack, it adds up so much for movement penalty. Yeah, it really does. Very true. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. Drop that. Where'd I get a czar stone? Oh, yeah, from the puzzle. Okay. We're going to take a quick Welcome. look in here. Oh, boy. Nothing. Yeah. Actually. I need something for the co- Oh, my boon. I need the boon from... What's his face? Or I forget that again. Yes, this worries me. Remember this. Curious. Obviously, I can't use that yet, but it will be helpful. I think I'm going to pay the money as well, and I'm going to get the... The inn, and just get a nice inn buff real quick. I'm thinking, the, the thing is, like, 5% buff on the stealth 10 is nice, but that's also completely useless. Like, 5% is nothing. Especially now that I have the stealth training, I may want to just buy the luxury tent for the negative 
stamina cost. Oh, okay. This is troubling. All right, he's got common cold stamina, and there was one more I needed. Oh, health potions, dude. I'll take those. Ah, these. Luxury 10 is great, and it's really hard to get away from. The massive amount of negative stamina is just huge. Unlike every build ever, you know? Stamina's not a huge issue for me, especially once I get Warrior Monk, but... Something on your mind. I guess I could go with the mana tent. Want to pay attention. Mana tent wouldn't be a horrible idea once I start using magic. Make sure I repair at the guard. That's what I need to do. Blood Leech is the only consistent DOT in the game. What time I change it is when running mana based build. Yeah, for the mage tent. I think on every build I run the luxury as well. It's really going to be hard to find when I don't. Even most mana builds. Because the thing about mana is you get such high reduction on it. That's like, okay. Well, if I just go into stamina, then I have a well-rounded build. Totemic Lodge is a good idea. Because here's the thing. I'm already one shot by lightning, basically. This, oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. Why not get more decay damage? What is the recipe, Perboina? Do you know? If I could get that tent, I could definitely make it soon, though. What's up, EJ? I get on it because I know it's not from Caldera. Like it was introduced with the Three Brothers DLC, but you don't need the Caldera DLC to get most of them. There's a couple things I might need to check on the wiki just to see if I can craft. That's what I love about playing this game. There's so much stuff to craft. It's like, I can't remember the recipes. Yeah, what's up, EJ? How's it going, dude? It's going good for me. Let me go kill the golem, and then we need to run straight over the horrors and get more bouillon. Get more bouillon. Okay. Can't climb up that. It's too hot. Need any quality tent, predator bones, miasma pod, and thorny cartilage. Okay. So, I need to kill a shark to get thorny cartilage. And then I need to go to... Because I think they're the higher chance. I know you can get thorny in Monsoon anyway, but... We'll probably get miasma pod when we go over there. I'm pretty sure you can buy my asthma pod from the Giants, actually. Oh, no, maybe you can't. You can buy them from town, maybe. I kind of want to look into that, though. Because it's like one of the very rare times where I'm already so weak, the lightning damage, that who cares? Who cares, dude? All right, let's double check our stats here. Yeah. Stupid bird. Get the dog on him too. Talk about inconvenient. Really do need to get me a better main weapon. The golem might actually be on the bird. Now I think about it. Alright. 
Yeah, he's on the bird. See ya, I guess? Like, I don't have to fight him now. Okay. Assassin Beetles dropped them here. Rare drop though. Okay. Drops from Horrors and Immaculates. Ooh. I had Thorny Cartilage earlier too. That's the sad thing. Alright. Take this. For some reason I was thinking that the Sharks dropped him. I don't know why. If I get Breath of the Wild, I should have like an insane amount of hell or uh... Stealth. Drop the bag. So I use less stamina. Oh yeah, we do like no damage. Ah, okay. Luckily, I can consistently backstab him. Come on, the second I use backstab, you're a punk. Yeah, Mansko Dagger has super low durability. Yeah, we didn't really want to get that guy on us, but we did. Not really that set up for this guy. It really does just... It breaks so fast. Did I lose him? Is that how much stealth I have? I just lost him? No. Well, now I don't know what to do, because... My freaking dagger sucks, dude. The one thing you're supposed to do is not get the other golem on you, and I just straight up did that. I mean, like, that's not even... Let's just get out of here, dude. Well, I'm fighting him with a terrible weapon and a dagger that's broken, so I just can't beat him. That sucks. The The weapons are too... they're awful. The Merton's Fire Poker does no damage at all. Not to that guy. He has not too much health. And then the dagger, it breaks... once it breaks, it does nothing, dude. Like, literally no damage. Yeah, I just don't do any damage. It's Hutch is really killing my damage, too. I need a better main weapon. That's what it is. Maybe a horror weapon at this point? Well, unfortunately, the new dagger skill would be really good, too, but it, it's for bleeding. I don't have any confusion yet. That's another thing. I have no way to inflict confusion. I need to get, like, an iron sword or, I like, a switch it to a horror sword. Then I could inflict pain and I could actually do something. Merton's fire poker was great, but now it's kind of nerfing me a lot. It is not great.
Dag Daggers are very odd. I feel like that should have hit. My defense is good, though. I mean, I survived a couple of hits from the little golem. I mean, if I have trouble killing a beast golem, I can't fight the other dude. That's just how it works. Where's my torch at? Did I not have a torch? You gotta be kidding me right now. I just had a torch. What happened to it? I dropped it. Unfortunate. Alright, there's supposed to be a greasy fern in here somewhere. Aha! Two of them right here. Very nice, dude. Time to go into Murder Forest. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, how, what do I need for this potion? I got the alchemy kit now. Do I have wood? I need wood. The whole process, dude. Don't get the hutch. It's the worst status in the freaking game. How did I even get this thing? I don't remember. This does not offer wood. Okay. How to get wood in the flippin' desert. I have Levweedy. I should. I saved it up. Yeah, I have two Levweedy. Yeah. They really... I'm thinking just Sky Crown would, like, really round us out. Because Frost Damage is good in situations where statuses aren't. And I'm gonna be boosted by Frost Damage anyway. I gotta get up on this hill. I think I'm trying to do too much without actually building my build up. I need to wait on some stuff. Love the video, man. What's up, Quacking Ducko? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Character's spine is ruined. I know. <laughs> I'm bad about that. Alright, uh, let's see. Campfire? Spines are for the weak. Brand? Ooh. Brand, though? Automatically inflicts pain and chill? Hold up. That's actually a genius idea. Because, you know, that would give me another 25% buff by weakening the enemy. And if I use Decay? No, that's a great idea. That's an amazing idea. I was thinking Sky Crown, but if I use Brand, that's easy pain and chill. Dude, that's a good idea. Good call on that one. Alright, do we remember the recipe for this? What is it that I need? Let me look it up real quick. Pause the music here. It is called Hex Cleaner, and I need it since the beginning of the game. Hex Cleaner is... Water, Greasy Fern, Levite Salt. It was salt that I couldn't remember. You guys ready? You guys ready? It's curing the hudge. Finally. All right, let's go kill ourselves a... Actually, let's see if the quest is updated. I guess I could just do the quest. Since we're gonna go brand now. Brand is such a good idea. Wait a second, wait a second. Look, they're out of their uh, enclosure. They killed a rock mantis, it looks like. They killed two rock mantises. Dude, let the golem, let the compass guardian out, bro. Like, let him do his thing. If you let him into the world, he would kill everything. I guess he would kill the people too, though. That's not a good idea. Club weapon only challenge? <laughs> Carrying two or three Manticore daggers, knowing it's only 125 durability. Here's what I'm thinking. That's a good idea. But also, I might grab the red, uh, what's it called? The red lady dagger as well, just in case we run into situations where, 
like a Wendigo, where fire is just insanely good, might be a good idea to switch. Yeah, two two Manticore daggers is a nice idea, though. I didn't think about that. Dude, again with the freaking cold, bro. It's not that hard. Here's a common cold. I bought like a thousand of these. I guess I just need to take this, is what it is. Yeah. My managing my resources is a little low. Again, that's what happens when you haven't played the game for a bit. Congrats to the grown back spine. <laughs> Club sandwich only challenge. Ooh. Red Lady Dagger does plus 20 physical and fire damage. Has more impact. It has more impact? Wait, what? How much impact does it have, Benji? It has more impact than this? That's crazy. I had no idea. What's the highest impact dagger, then? 49? Man. Dude, would you get out the way? The Vigilante? That makes sense. That, that actually makes a lot of sense, because we don't have a Czar one. Can you imagine a Czar dagger? They didn't include... It's the only one they didn't include, because... Well, I guess Czar pistol, too. Because if you had a Czar pistol or a Czar dagger, you would actually just break the game. <laughs> It'd do too much. Welcome. Oh, I gotta talk to Cyrene. Does 52 impact. Wow. That's a lot of impact. How much does the gilded dag the gilded shiver do? <sighs> There's a major all right. This, <sighs> this needs thinking about. We've set got a job. That's all. All right, so that's the go to Berg, I think. Talk to Cyrene in the blue chamber. Cooking pot is here. Do I need it? Don't need it. Um, I have one ration. I need three more. Can I? This worries me. Where are my extra stuff? Here's one. I guess I should, like, just get rid of those for now. I don't really want to, though. There we go. Alright, so now we just leave Abrasar and do the quest. Daggers are kind of busted, huh? They seem kind of a little too good. Oh, brand item? Brand item is actually not super important right now. Let's go get some money so we can buy stuff. Uh, because I have to come back to Levant, and so I'll just grab it when I come back. I need a little bit more money. I don't have enough right now. That's a good point, though. I appreciate the heads up. Czar backpack? Ooh, has like 200 carry capacity. That'd be wild. That's using Sky Crown with Vigilante Dagger. Everything would sit down. <laughs> no, no, no. But imagine you're using that. And you get confusion on the enemy, and you use Enrage, and you use Cabal Hermit to buff Enrage. Like, bro, calm down at that point. You could, you could like, look at the enemy and they'd fall over. You could literally look at him. But that's the thing, like, a... A two-handed mace, you would think would be the best for stagger, but daggers ended up being really good too because you can attack so quickly. Two-handed maces are still better, obviously. It's hard to get away from that, dude. It's so insane. What the heck? Alright, we're gonna kill the shell horrors here. I don't need to fight... Hmm. Yeah, let's wait on the unique over there. We'll just leave the region. Vigilante Dagger is OP. Slept on. 
Once I said I knew about it, a friend of mine told me about it, and I was like, oh. I mean, it has protection on it, too. Kind of crazy. What's up, RJ? Doing the elementals puzzle. The fire elemental is making me crazy. And the second time I'm looking for him for 20 minutes. Ah. Fire elemental is all over the place. He's the worst. I despise him. Um, let me think. Where is he? I often find him in the house area. But he's so all over the place, it's hard to tell. I didn't I didn't repair my dagger. I'm so dumb. I'm a big dummy. It's fine, I'll just get in here and I'll repair it. Chakrams are basically a longer vigilante dagger. Chakrams are jack of all trades, kinda. Pretty much. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to grab another Manticore dagger. That should fully repair it, though. Before, it was a pain to repair because I didn't have the... The passive, but now I have that, so not too bad. Wait, turn the light, turn on. There we go. This has been really fun, though, guys. Like, I haven't played Outward in a while, and it's it's so much fun to come back to. I think that's the best part of it is that when you don't really know what you're doing 100%, that's when it's more fun. Like, you kind of have an idea of what you're doing, but you don't really. You know, you're not, you don't remember quite all of the recipes, and you don't really, you haven't been playing it every day for the last year. <laughs> Let's just say that. A wool shroom! What did I need to craft with this? What was this? I don't remember. I needed a wool shroom, though. I don't remember what I needed it for, but I know I needed it. Get my alpha sandwich, which those are going to go out here soon. We'll do a lightning rag, because we haven't used one yet. And, yeah. This is it Bread of the Wild? It might have been Bread of the Wild, yeah. Which I think was wool shroom. Ugh, I just need to get a recipe, really. Oh, stealth potions, too. Yeah, it was two things. We had no more alpha meat, right? Still play through. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Turn around. Does it matter? Nah, bro. Oh, this game hates stealth. Alright, he's on the ground. Oh, it's hard to tell when you're behind. Here's the thing about lock on I think lock on makes it harder to use backstab. I think you need to not be locked on to backstab properly, especially on the smaller targets, because it'll hit the side of them too much. I was having the same issue on golems, too. You have, like, a lanky body. Don't tell me you saw me. You didn't see me. Oh, I have my lantern on. Gosh darn it, dude. Habits, you know. Habits are habits. Nope, don't look at me. Don't do it. No, you can't see me. You could very clearly see me. Like on a big target like this guy right here, dude, it's super easy to hit him. And get that back massive damage in, but I need to put on Serpent's Parry. Someone mentioned that earlier and I forgot. Oh, Thorny Cartilage. Okay, we got that now too. That I also don't remember what I needed for. What was I doing? I was in here doing something. Oh, skills. Aha. Serpent's parry. Can you can you parry a magical attack with Serpent's parry? I don't think so. No, I think you can, but I don't think I can on like this guy right here. There's 
use more of that. I'm gonna go get this palladium because I'm gonna need it here soon. What's up, Endless? How's it going, dude? Brain is not braining right anymore. <laughs> not when it comes to the lantern. Wait until the member berries kick in. I like that. Tent plus food stealth plus skill equals 60% stealth, right? Or was it 85? I don't remember. It's up there, though. That's a lot of stealth. I need to check the chest, too. Someone said something about that. Actually, not bad just for Survivor Elixir. Like, the other stuff I could do without, but... That's not bad. Like the coolest parry in the entire game. He goes ping, switches around, stab with the knife. It's cool. Thorny was for the tent. Ah, yes, the tent. Okay, so I have the thorny for the tent. Gotcha. I know we talked about like three or four things I needed to get. Now I just have to try and not sell it. You know what? Do we need confusion? Here's the thing. I'm thinking right now. Thinking about this. Here's the thing. Um, let me check the skill real quick. Targets afflicted with confusion are briefly stunned. Okay. So in order to do the stun, I do need confusion. What if I don't go P Cabal Hermit? What if I just don't do that? Do I need to? Obviously for damage reasons, it would be better. For resistance reasons, it would be better. But I'm thinking about my speed. You know, my speed of my character is pretty low. Mercenary would not be bad. I think all around, the build would be better off with Cabal Hermit. So I should probably just stick with that. Ease of use, mercenary would make this kind of nice, but... Yeah, let's not worry about that too much. We don't need to be fast, we just need to kill stuff once we get to it, you know? Oh, you can roll while crouched and break this? Oh, that's what you guys have been saying. It doesn't break the stealth? Oh, I've read that comment like four times and I didn't understand what we were talking about. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, okay. Dodging does not break crouch still, so it can be used to move more quickly while crouching, especially for lining up a backstab. Okay, I got I got you. I had no idea. I had no idea. I think we have to go to the burning tree, don't we? So on our way, we go to the burning tree, Cabal Hermit, come back, we'll circle around. Seems like a fine idea. You finally turn off the darn lantern, I guess that would help too, right? Well, I've been, I've been trying, yeah. It's going to be on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. The weird thing about the lantern is that it doesn't even seem to affect stealth unless you're in front of the enemy. Like, when you're behind them, it doesn't seem to matter too much. It's just when you're in front. I've been trying to stay behind them, but every once in a while, you, like, end up in front of them by accident. If 
Like, I think with bandits, the light matters quite a bit. Oh! They didn't see me. No way. They have no idea where I am. Okay. They found me. It's cool until it's not, you know? <laughs> what just happened? That bro didn't even attack me. I wasted him. I didn't see him attack. I just straight up dropped him. Cast Runic Lantern. Yeah, there you go. What's up? I am noob. How's it going, dude? For complete weapon dagger build, it's weapon merc and rogue. Makes sense, yeah. I do not remember seeing that dude do nothing, and I literally just wasted him. Kind of brutal when you really think about it. Still debating on whether I want to take magic or not. It's a really tough decision. If I want to stay tanky, I probably don't want to take it. I assume he's talking about Warrior Monk when he said weapon. Alright, step two. We're in Berg. Talk to Cyrene in the blue chamber. Gotcha. Do I have a cold stone? Nope. But I can sell something? a couple of things. Not to this guy, though. How can I help you? You can give me that and these. And I will give you... All that stuff. Okay, let me think here. I don't have enough room for a ton of items. So what I need to do is buy the iron early. Hey there. Iron halberd. Do I have enough room for this? Let's see. I can hold like two. Two, three, four. Four is all we need. So we'll buy that. Which there's four there, so we don't need that chitin. We only need four of these. Um, let me think. Probably don't need that many of those. Definitely don't need that many of those. Alright, what are we left with? 91? That's doable. Move that to pocket. Move all that to pocket. Now we're a little bit over. So let's drop... the alchemy kit. Okay, solved it. Sells a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun in this game. I never realized it, but yeah, it is. Just empty that one. Alright, no more picking stuff up until we get the horror weapons and craft them. Great choice of skills. Cabal Hermit, Warrior Monk, Rogue Engineer. Maybe a substitute, because I had Spellblade. You could definitely throw in because I spell blade pretty easily. How long have you been stream machine? Just joined, not even ten minutes ago. Uh it's been five hours at this point. I'll talk to this guy first, I think. What now? Do this for me.
Warrior Monk, it's best for pain and confusion with the sword. The Rogue for dagger skills and stealth. Merc for movement and stamina for gear. Yeah, the movement's huge. It really is. <laughs> okay. Let me think it. If you really could... Well, I'm, I'm trying to think about this. Like, if you really could just dodge the entire game in stealth... That's a little nuts. Think about it. I can do this right here. Theoretically. And just stealth kill everyone in the game. Obviously, not once they see me, but what if I do this? And then I run away. So he's out of my aggro range. It's like a really easy way to beat the game. Especially once you get to, like, Caldera, where there's a lot of room for backstabs. Giant enemies. That's... Convenient. Alright, with them dead, I think that part's done. I actually don't even need to go to the tree, necessarily. Because I stopped that part of the quest. Or no, I do, because I need to get the note. Old cabin in the burned woods. Yep. Magic's overrated. Fair enough. Yeah, but let's be for real, though. Our does have some really cool magic. Ooh, a cold stone. Nice. What'd I just say? I said no picking up loot. It's fine. I need a cold stone anyway. I'll turn that in and get some hot weather potions. Always been curious about the ruins under here. You never get in there. Uh, it's a main point of the Blue Chamber quest line. Used to play Vampiric Dagger with the Bloodlust and Blood Infuse. Basically immortal. Yeah, the blood, the Vampiric Dagger is actually, like, the best Vampiric weapon, almost. That and probably... The axe is really good. I've seen the axe be really nice. What do I need to do here? Talk to... Nobody. Does Cyrene say anything to me? She's not here. She's missing. Okay. So, uh, Lumina, best beginner build. I'm totally new into the game. There's a lot. It's it's tough to be like, this is the best beginner build, because there's a lot of builds. But, a good, I would say one of the best beginner builds you could do is take the Cabal Hermit skill tree. And try and use Lightning. I think I made one called the Hermit of Doom that I based around that. That's a really good beginner build class because it's based around sigil magic and the wind sigil in particular is insanely strong you just kite enemies into it and then you get a mega nuke ton of lightning damage on them it's really really nice for like early runs and stuff basically it trivializes all human encounters because they run at you and then you just insta kill them where's the cold stone guy it's at the it's the alchemist i think First time I went ru he ruins is another nice one too. Just to ruin trap everything in the game. How can I help you? Okay. Uh let's see. I need to talk to her. How can I here's the pay attention? You've earned this. There we go.
Take that. Now we're going to go to the Wind Temple, and then once we get there, we'll go left. Wait a minute, do I want to get a better sword while I'm here? Is there a better sword? Brand is the one I need, so I should grab... Grab that. Hey there. The Blacksmith's Vintage Hammer. We'll wait on the tent then. Oh no, I can sell these. Puts me back over. Let's sell the pickaxe right now. There we go. How much palladium do I have? Three? Good. Um, I actually might need some rat. No, I have enough rations. I made sure I had some. Brand is very much in theme, trust me. <laughs> it's in theme, man. We're going to use the ice damage boost. I guess it really doesn't fit with corruption, though, does it? Maelstrom probably looks better. If I went Mael Here's the thing. If I went Maelstrom... Wait, think about it. Think about it for a second. If I went Maelstrom, that's easy confusion. And then I have pain. Then I don't need Warrior Monk. <sighs> Then I could go mercenary for the speed. That's an idea. That is an idea right there. Mmm. Ideally, I need Maelstrom then. I just need Maelstrom. Like dual wielding things? Perhaps I'll watch some new beginner videos. Dual wielding could definitely be done very, very well. There's a lot of daggers are really good. Shield and sword's really good. It's not necessarily dual wielding, but... Offhand stuff's really good in this game. I guess what we could do ooh, is let's just hunt down all the uniques. Now, in this area, there aren't really any that I can get to that drop them. But when I go back through to all the other regions, because I think I have to go back to Cherisnees eventually. Maybe not. No, I don't think I have to with this quest. I can get all those. Because then I don't need Warrior Monk. Because I really don't have an issue with Stamina. Not really. I mean, what do I have right now? Stamina Recovery 3. As long as I have on this backpack and stuff, I should be fine. I think Merc would be great here. Brand does fit. Get Cole gets up with it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. We'll see. We got a couple options. That's the thing. I don't really know exactly what the best play is. Uh, so question, even for the start, I can do any build, right? Yes. Yes, you can do any build. Um, the only thing that really... I mean, there's a lot of factors that determine your build. Like, what weapon you're using, what classes you're using, what... Basically everything. That's why I like this game so much, is all your items culminate into your build, so it's not just one weapon that makes everything. But one weapon or one item can change your build, which is pretty important to note. So, for example, like, right now the Manticore Dagger is pretty much all I built around. But if you'll notice, I'm kind of a tank, too, because I grabbed the Horror Armor. Um, obviously, the three skill trees matter a lot. But also, you have a lot of leeway, because Cabal Hermit basically fits with everything and is always good. So you can at least take that and be like, okay, I have some sort of build. And then Warrior Monk is almost always good. And isn't there a way to get up there? I forgot. Let's go the long way around. What's up, Billy Bob? 
I can buy a mace from the start and a dagger? Yeah. As long as you can get enough money, yeah. In fact, I'd recommend you start with a mace, because a mace has a skill called Mace Infusion, which is a massive boost to the gameplay, because a lot of enemies use elemental damage. And where's the other thing that I have? Here's the comic code. What Mace Infusion does is it not only gives you the buff, but it gives you the, the boon as well. So you get an infusion on your weapon, and you get a boon that buffs that infusion. The only issue with it is a lot of times you're fighting an enemy that's resistant to that. Like, for example, Mantis Shrimps. Ideally, you want to use Cold. If you block their attack with it, you're using a Lightning, which they're really resistant to. But it's, you still have, like, a huge damage boost, so it's fine. Also, Ghosts are actually weak to their own damage type, so it's really nice for them. We're going to find skill trees. There are skill trees in every town. They, certain merchants have skill... They're not actually merchants. They're trainers. And there are three in... Mm, there's three in most towns. So, like, Berg has... No, wait. There's two in most towns. What am I talking about? Yeah, Berg has two. Antique Plateau has two. Um, Cherisini says one... Because Sierra's only has one, and then the the other dude is in a hidden area. He's not in hidden, but like he's past Ghost Pass. So Chirstenese has two, but the town only has one. You'll find him later on. And let's see. Immaculate is back. Caldera has one. He's in the middle of nowhere. He's not even in a town. Levant has two. And then Monsoon has two as well. So most of them have two. There's, a, like, one exception. Like, mostly just Cabal Hermit. He's in a different location. Because he's cool, I guess. What else do I need, guys? Uh, that's a good point. I should have crafted a horror sword. That'd be better than Merton's Fire Poker right now. That's crazy. I can't believe that works. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> What's up, Cody? Hey, Ben. Still here playing outward? Heck yeah, man. The Caldera had town have trainers. Yeah, he has two technically. Like you can only build one at a time, but he has like technically two. But they're not traditional trainers. They're more like buff masters in a way. You play on Twitch too, so I can follow you. I do not at the current moment. I may eventually create a Twitch account and dual stream, but I haven't. I don't have one right now. Not at the moment. My Asmapod. That was the corruption tent, which means I need a basic tent now. No, not a basic one. I need an advanced. What's the fourth item? It's a uh, thorny cartilage, advanced tent, miasma pod. Dang it, there's a fourth item. What is it? I can't think of it. Alright, should I do this area stealth or just, like, gung-ho it? Mace of Fuse plus the added damage phases to the dagger. What is happening right now? Get out of the wall, dude. Alright. That's a nice potion. I'll take that. Where's our steely-eyed friend here?
Just need to burn him. There he is. I heard him, and I didn't actually see him. Come here, big boy. Wow, that wasn't enough? Okay. Let me behind you. There we go. Guess I'll come back for that. I don't need to grab it right now. See, like, I can get through a full fight with a decent amount of stamina. Just always get some defense, even if the enemy's resistant to their own element. Yeah, for the Mason Fusion. We're corrupted, which is where we want to be. We get corrupted because blocking... Blocking corruption-based attacks actually corrupts you. The corruption gets through for whatever reason. Which is fine. I mean, I don't really care. That's a... Doesn't say. Should say the buff, though, shouldn't it? Oh, here it is. Uh, extra decay resist. Decay and frost damage have been increased by 15%. Stealth is crazy. I I'm kind of surprised this is good. Turn that off. The fact that you can literally just dodge with that is wild. Okay. I need those two things is what I need. Actually, wait a minute. Do I need anything else? Palladium, which I have. Let me check this chest real quick. Iron Albert. Nah, I can't carry it. Don't get greedy. Can't carry it right now. Hello, little guy. He has two of those. I need those. Thank you. Mm, let's open this up in case I need to run. Probably won't, but never know. I don't want to get too corrupted, because that would not be great right now. Alright, one of those. I need as many as I can get. Hey, where's the big guy? Oh, the big guy's up there. Well, time for a sneak attack. It's really dark. <laughs> like, I can't see anything, but... The results speak for themselves. Oh, crap. I'm defiled. Let 
Get the heck out of here, dude. Grab the items, please. Hurry up. Oh, uh, that's not what I want. That sucks. Oh, I'm overweight. Okay, if I could stay this way, that is fine with me. That is actually fine with me. Alright, here we go. Get two predator bones, and then one, I believe, linen cloth. Yeah. Um, where's the other one? Gray hammer? Spear? Should be it. Yeah. Plays me with three horror chitin. What in the world? Oh, I haven't used them. Duh. I was like, what the heck? Um, let's see. Chitin. Palladium. Oh. I need a cult remains. I just sold them. I just sold them too. I forgot about that. Whoops. Now I'm like really heavy. Okay, Marble Halberd sells well. Do I have the weight though? Does not look like it. Yeah. Marble Halberd also decrashed the palladium. Let's do that. All right, I need a cult remains, which means I could go hunt down Hivemen, or I think I can go back to town and buy it, because I think I just sold it in town. How many did I have? I had eight, I think. Is it worth it risking that? I don't know. It might not be. Might not be worth it risking it. The rest of our halberd's really beautiful. It's a very beautiful weapon. Dude, I'm so slow. I have got to drop something. Which is going to end up being food, it looks like. I need to use this miasma pod quick. These potions are useless to me. And I don't really need these. Or that. Okay, that's a lot better. I think the two gold bars is something on top of though. What was it? Only weapon that counts as curiosity for the mushroom shield lady. Oh, mushroom. Yeah. She is going to get assassinated by the ghost. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. What am I at? I didn't check. 84% defiled. Which is a really good state to be in. For the damage boost. Plus 50% decay damage. 15% frost. What's up, Ashram? What'd you miss? We're doing, um... What are we doing? Oh, we're doing the tree quest right now. Oh, there it is. There it is. I heard it. How often is that thing going to show up? That's the real question. Quite often. Ah, we'll deal with it. <laughs> Lost my connection for the last 20 minutes. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm told that you do not want to get corrupted. Why? All it does is give some buffs and debuffs. It gives buffs and debuffs, but also once you get to 80%, I believe it is, 
a ghost randomly spawns in from time to time and tries to kill you. Wait till he moves. I don't know where he's moving to. Well, some of us have a, a broken dagger. Alright, that guy's done. I'll heal up. Breath of the Wild? I like that. That does nothing. Okay. I get the salad, though. Alright, let's uh, go over to the burning. We'll do the bugmen first, and then we'll go back for the burning tree. Yeah, the spirit of the dead. Eddie, every four to five minutes. Ooh, that is quite a bit. That is a merchant, or not a merchant, that's a bandit who is in league with the bandits at the tower, or the, basically the burning tree outpost. It's on the map here. Basically, there is a bandit, where is it at? There's the burning tree and the bandit camp. There are a group of bandits there is associated with the Levant mercenaries. They were paid to destroy stuff, and one of them is found over here to the side. I believe he's the leader, if I remember correctly. I'm being a boss fight and boom, ghost will stab him. Honestly, uh, that would be the worst situation. It would be a boss fight, probably. I think this armor fits with the theme of the build. It's got the horns. Or not the horns, uh... This backpack fits with the theme of the build. It's got all the spikes on it. Feels very horror themed. Alright, are they gonna show up or am I gonna have to go get them? Sometimes they don't show up right away. I think this one is the faster one, maybe? Where am I at on the map? Hard to tell. I think I'm like right here. Yeah, okay. Burning Man dropped them as well. Oh, they do, don't they? I forgot. You gonna play Dragon's Lock with 2 in March? Heck yeah, dude. I'll be uh, grinding that game. I won't just be playing it. I will be grinding it. I don't think there's any chance it's not gonna be the best game of the year. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited. No, stop showing up. Ow! That's a lot of damage, too. Ha, he burns. I was not aware that you could burn them. There's one down. Should die shortly. There we go. Yeah, I think the bugs are gone. Alright, one occult remain, two occult remain, take that, because they're definitely going to inflict me with that. 
Alright, now I can craft at least one horror weapon to get some of the stuff out of my inventory. There we go. I think we're gonna go down the hole. Is the hole over here? The hole is at the other one. So I need to go to the other one. Alright, how much is that though? Now we're at 90? Okay, that's a lot better. Still not great, but it's a lot better, let's be honest. Yeah, Flaming Ghost. Miss Text, uh, meant to say how long you playing? I can watch all day. I playing for another at least two hours. At least two hours. I knocked over something. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't good. I guess I'll go get that now. Like, it's not a big deal. I just need to go over this hill, really. War Patrol, and then the one big bug man. Yeah. I don't really want to deal with them. There's usually a couple small ones over here. The weight problem really is only because I'm trying to set stuff up. So I have like five or six items that I don't really need. I'm just carrying around for other stuff. Somewhat unfortunate. Actually, while we travel, let me look at that Totemic Lodge again on the wiki. Um, Totemic... Oh, I'm not even on the wiki yet. I'm on Google. Totemic Lodge. Corruption Totemic Lodge is... The last material I need would be Predator Bones. So Advanced Tent, My Asma Pod, Thorny Carlish, Predator Bones. I can make that. I believe I have enough Predator Bones. Yeah, plenty, plenty. I can make that right now. Predator Bones. My Asma Pod. Thorny Carlish. Boom! Corruption to Atomic Lodge. Improves your decay power and weakens your lightning resist. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I remember I always stream pretty long when I play. Especially Out Outward's like a really nice one to play for a long time too because you get a lot more done. You can't get much done in two hours in this game. It's a very long game. That's nuts. You see how close I was to him? And he's like, what? Alright, Halberd. Palladium. There we go, there's another one. Oh, I'm ready for you now, buddy. Ow! Did not feel good. What's my weight at now? Yeah, we're much lower. That's because I had to carry around all those materials for it. Okay, so if I jump in here, there's a lot of enemies, but there will also be several bugmen. Really need to get another Manticore dagger. This thing is just breaking so fast. Um, fire. Let's use actually Bread of the Wild for some stealth. That's a cool idea. Then we'll turn off our light, which I think is off now. There it is. Crouch. Activate this, which... Oh, I don't need to. I already have it. What's up, random guy? Use Mace Infusion on the ghost to get a fire imbue. Oh, that's a cool idea. That's a really cool idea. Alright, they saw me immediately. I wasn't able to use Buffinos because I couldn't get it. I didn't get it right away. I haven't been back to Cherish and Ease either.
Ooh. Nasty hit, dude. All right. Step two. Kill this guy. Oh! The damage! Maybe the bugs explode. Ah, two occult remains. Let's go. And... I forgot to check the shipwreck quest. I could have got that done. Got occult remains. Uh, what's the last thing? Palladium. Ta-da! I'm no longer overweight. About time. Now we're good to go. Is the assassin sword any good? The assassin sword is pretty good, yeah. Not like one of the better swords, but it's it's got some utility to it. More of a earlier game weapon most of the time. I made a somewhat in-game build with it though, where I was using other stuff and just using that as support. That's a decent sword. Yeah, what kind of damage does the ghost deal anyway? The ghost that shows up to damage you? I don't know what it does. I think I am going to go mercenary. Look at the stamina from running. That's going to give us more speed, too. It's just going to overall improve the gameplay quite a bit. Where's my stats at? Here they are. Yeah, negative 15. Does fire damage? Oh, you said you could get a fire imbued, though. Yeah, because then you could use it to get a frost imbued. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. You, like, wait for your ghost to show up and shoot you just so you get a frost imbued. And then go into the boss fight and annihilate. That's a nifty idea. Sit down. Oh yeah, look, a coal remains. Man has infinite stagger. As soon as he runs out, he gets it back. He's crazy. They're actually kind of tough to kill. Like, not too bad, but they are a little bit of a challenge. Alright, we're gonna go Hail Mary over here. Because my dagger is broken and having issues. We're gonna use this real quick. Look at my my hotbar. I lost access to every skill I have. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a stamina potion too. Hundred and ten health and thirty physical damage resist. So it's more like an elemental thing. Well, that ended up being a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. What? I got the Pyrite Great Hammer. My initial reaction is to pick this up. 
And I'm gonna stick to it. Don't remember the impact being well on that spear? Uh, it actually has really solid impact. Wait. Maybe it doesn't. Let me double check. That might have been because I had Enrage active. I mean, it has 43. The, the thing is, the Dreamer Halberd does a lot better. But it has decent impact. It's got decent impact. I mean, that's just a little, what, less than the dagger, though? Okay, I kind of want... Maybe not. Go back to what we were using. One, two, three. Here's the thing, though. You can run past the enemy and they don't see you. Oh, my skill's out. That cold damage boost does not play. Why do you build the horror weapons? Can you, like, infuse them into one another? Uh, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to Levant, and we're gonna sell them, and they're gonna give us a ton of cash. And I'll be able to buy the rest of my skill tree stuff. Isn't there, like, a scroll here? No, that's the son of the... The whatever quest, didn't it? Oh, you know what I didn't do? This is sad. This is actually sad. I think... I screwed this up. Uh, blood under the sun can be started immediately. I need to go into the inn, and I need to have to come all the way back here, dude. That sucks. I knew that quest was here, but I forgot how to do it. Briefly. Never had much of a silver problem, honestly. Took my time a little like a goblin. Yeah, you usually don't. You usually don't. I haven't either. I just haven't been able to instantly buy all the skills that I want, and I'm... If you want to easily do that real quick, just craft some horror weapons. They sell for like 900 each, I think. In Levant. Yeah, I don't know where he spawned in at, but he can't get me. Alright. Oh, yeah, he can. All right. <laughs> Woo! I don't know what is in the air today, but it is brutal. Okay, and I don't need any more thorny cartilage, and I don't need any more of that. Look at this thing. Such a cool weapon. And it's not even unique. It's just an item that could drop from those enemies. Pirate Great Hammer is a very underappreciated weapon. Inflicting confusion on one hit and having ridiculous impact as well. It does inflict a confusion on one hit, which is very odd. It has 100% confusion. 71 impact. Like, it's a top... I th Here's what I think. I think if you're playing in co-op... And you guys are doing a co-op build. Like, this would be an insane support weapon. If you wanted to just at least provide something to the gameplay, but you don't want to build too much into it. Because the thing is, it's not the best damage dealer. Like, it's fine. It's just not the best damage dealer. But instant confusion and high impact, that's crazy. That's really useful. Like, you could use this and sweep kick together. And there you go. You've got an easy way to instantly drop anything in the game. Especially on, like, Royal Manticore, where 
you're kind of nervous to get any hits in because she's so fast. You can just block until you get one free opportunity and then knock her down. Like, look at that. <laughs> I think it should inflict burn, though. I don't understand why it doesn't, because it's kind of a bad aspect of the weapon. But look, it instantly knocks everything. Like, that's crazy. That's a crazy weapon. Bless you. Thank you, Anthony. Those deer are a bane of my existence in Outward. Always. Yeah. They're, they're trouble. They got a lot of impact. They're very, very... They're probably one of the most aggressive animals in the game. Enemies, honestly. In terms of, like, their attacks. Crazy. Alright, well, I may end up just straight up selling... ...here at Berg, because I'm tired of being overweight. I am going to get Merc, though. I I'm going to go for Merc. I do not need Warrior Monk, I don't think. Warrior Monk is always one where I want to take it because it's so powerful, but I really honestly don't need it. That's not ideal. Alright, you cannot walk out of it, so that's cool. Oh, maybe I could. I can outrange it. I could just outrun it. Oh, I'm definitely going Merc. You could just outrun it. That's news to me. This probe hit with weapon elements as well. Probe? Um, hmm. Uh, I think the answer to your question is yes. Like, whenever you hit an enemy with a weapon that has an element on it, Probe will deal elemental... It does elemental damage, yes. As long as your weapon has elemental damage, it will deal it, yeah. Nudist gone while. <laughs> no armor, only weapon. Ooh. Hey there. That would be tough. You gotta sell him because I'm not coming back, really. What? How dare you? Oh, come on. The young prince has been murdered. Oh, no. Oh no. I must go solve the mystery that I already know the answer to. It was his brother. How can I help you? Hmm, how can you help me? You cannot, because you are a useless piece of garbage. No armor, no weapons, just fist only. You ever tried to see how much damage it does? It's so low. It's crazy how low damage actually it deals. Um, hey let's there. see. Need something? Wrong thing. Hey there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Love that. All right, give me some more money, and then we can get that guy out here. Dun, 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 dun. 
thank you for spoiling it. Mobby. Want to buy something? All right, here we go. How can I help you? And, ooh, that's a lot. Now we're looking good. Now we're in a really good spot here. We should probably get more water, though. Nah, I got plenty of water for the way there. I got my tent that I need. I got my... Really just need to work on the weapon. Where's my weapon at? Should I grab Sky Crown to use something better while I wait on other stuff? Could be a good idea. Maybe I'll do that when I go to Monsoon, though. Because I have to go to Monsoon, I think, after the next quest. And there's no reason for me to go down there right now. I think I can make do with what I have. I mean, the fists do do... Is it raw damage, or is it not? I thought for a while there was raw damage. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. Someone kills Buddy is like, no, not my friend. It's even better than raw. It's unblockable damage, but only five. Yeah, just real low amount. So like anything that has low health, it wouldn't be horrible against. But this thing is actually freaking annoying. I need like a range attack so I can deal with it. With melee, it's just always a little bit out of reach. That'll be fixed when I get mercenary, though, because I'll be able to move faster. Alright, we started Blood Under the Sun, which means I need to go down there and get that. Then I can finally get my house, too. Find the priest who flood the desert. Talk to Cyrene. I think you can get the note before we go over there. I'm like 80% sure about that. Or a sword, uh, Red Lady Dagger. Red Lady Dagger I am gonna get, but again, I'm gonna go get that when I get the Sky Crown. I don't wanna walk, waste the time walking over there yet. Although it's not that far away. There's a part in this quest where I have to go to Monsoon, though, and when I do, I'll stop in and I'll grab both of those. Horror Sword would have been a good idea, I just, I didn't. I sold my Iron Sword early on, for no reason, really. The endgame weapon setup is ideally going to be Maelstrom. Maelstrom and the Manticore Dagger. And then we're going to craft a ton of Frost Potions. Or Frost Imbues, and we're going to use Frost Imbue constantly. But we're also going to grab Sky Crown Mace for certain situations, because we're also going to grab Brand too, because I want to test and see which is better. You know what's crazy? Technically. Yeah, I gotta go Maelstrom is a thing. Like, Maelstrom is way better. Because I can use Puncture and just instantly apply both Confusion and Pain. Versus Brand, which is just Pain. But if I switch weapons, that's the thing. If I manage to switch weapons, I can then inflict Chill... And now I can do tons of damage. Maybe you, you just throw on both weapons. We'll see. I got a lot of options. More than I thought I had. Yeah, it's great. It's a great weapon. Honestly, I don't know... Like, I probably could have a lot of the materials already, but I didn't kill the uniques in Cherisonese. I just didn't do that. I'll go back when I go over there, but the Levant quest really doesn't have you over in that location that much. 
Dang, this is a far trip. I wish I had done this earlier. I really just didn't think of it. Love Maelstrom 2. Scepter might be better for Decay buff, though. Yeah, here's the thing, though. So, Maelstrom is going to be a great idea overall, I think. Scepter of the Cruel Priest's main problem is... Actually, has a couple problems, and is why I'm debating on not using it. Number one, late-game weapon. I mean, it's the most late-game weapon. Like, you can't get it till you complete your faction quest at all. Requires new Sirocco. So, that's a, that's a dud. Kind of unfortunate. And... Number two, its swing speed is absurdly slow. I think it's a point... I think it's a point eight. It could be a one. I feel like it's a point eight, though. I think it's really slow. And it also weakens you to lightning by 30%, which is crazy. That's a lot. The weapon itself... I mean, the, the upside is you're doing raw... Massive amounts of decay damage, but there's a lot of downsides to that weapon. It doesn't really matter that much because, like I said earlier, I already have really low lighting resist, so that part's not a big factor. But the swing speed's big for me. I hate slow swinging weapons, and it'd be tough to use. It'd be good with dagger though, because like I could, you know, I could use the fast attacks of the dagger to kind of. Make up for it a little bit, but not really ideal. It's a point nine, but with Defiled, it becomes a point eight. Ooh. Wait, does Defiled decrease swing speed? Oh, my impact resist is low. Oh, yeah, attack speed, negative 10%. The filed is kind of crappy, though. I forgot about all these negatives. Plus 100 food rate, which doesn't matter at all. Physical and impact is just negative 30. Whiff on that. Big whiff on that. Woo! Uh, lightning resistant damage, negative 50. Attack speed, negative 10. Wow! Those are some debuffs, bro. Now use that. Max that out. Use Scepter of the Cruel Priest, then throw in Probe. Max Probe's four stacks. You're going to have so much extra damage taken. That'd be insane. Alright, that has been updated. Double check it three times, because I know... You never know. You can never be too safe. Yeah, that's a lot of brutal stuff right there. I completely forgot how bad the uh, bad some of the negatives are. That's a lot of damage. Slaps flex tape on it. Nice. Flex tape. Now I make the long trip all the way back down. The good news once we get there, we got a lot of things we could do. We could stop at the shipwreck. We can kill at least three more dudes. Uniques. The main thing I need to do is kill the two uniques, the shell horror and the, the bug guy. Stop at the bug guy's place, grab the other... I think it's the blood under the sun clue. That'll be good. Then we'll go to town and buy all of our mercenary skills. I actually don't find the charm from corruption builds because of the negative stats. I mean, they are really brutal. That's very fair. Very fair. Well, you got to think about it this way, too. The, the corruption-based builds allow you to become glass cannon. Because there are a lot of builds you can do that put out a lot of damage, but you don't necessarily become extremely weak, unless you're going like a pure mage with no armor or anything like that. C 
corruption is truly like you're gonna one shot stuff you're also gonna get one shot because the decay damage you can deal especially with scepter the crew priest it just amps it up so hot like you see the damage i'm doing with manticore dagger bro the manticore dagger only does 10 decay damage that's it it's not a lot of decay damage so if you use scepter of the cruel priest which does like what i honestly don't even know it's got to be like 40 at least it actually can one shot a lot of stuff like uh my matures it can do over half their health instantly i think it can one hit cali graze if you have a decay varnish on and stuff so it could get wild it could get pretty wild Well, it definitely requires you to go into it quite a bit. You're not just going, oh, maybe I'll be corrupted, you know. You're you're corrupted. Or you're not. It's 55 decay damage and a 13% decay damage bonus. Yeah, look at that, dude. Ooh, that's big. That is a massive amount of damage. Man. Plus, you're going to be buffing your offhand weapon that has decay, all that stuff. Jeez, dude. That's why it's so good with Blood Bullet, I imagine. Throw that on Blood Turret. Oof. That's what we in the business call mega damage. <laughs> that is insane. Uh, let's check the map real quick, see where I'm at. I think I'm right here. Yeah, so I need to turn right. Usually you can mitigate the walking in this game. The, the only time it becomes an issue is when you screw up and you didn't do something you were supposed to do. Now you gotta walk back. And then it's like doubles your walking time. That's the only time that it becomes like, uh, you're walking a lot. Even in Caldera, I mean, you walk a lot when you do Caldera, but the thing is, you're walking to something. You're always walking to a dungeon, to the next dungeon. Antique Plateau is probably the least amount of walking you do. And if you're excluding, excluding the Elementals quests, because that quest is garbage, but... Or event. I don't even know if you call it a quest. Whatever you want to call it. Like a... Journey you go on? I don't know. Side hustle. I really want to put this thing down and sleep in it. Because it looks super cool. I gotta check the buff too. Enchant the Manticore Dagger with the Midnight Dance. Is that ice damage? It's plus 5% ice damage, isn't it? What's up, Nebular? Uh, what'd you say? You said, how much content would you say is in this game? Ooh. For one playthrough? Eighty... Possibly 80 hours? Maybe? What's max, though? I don't know. It could be more than that. It depends on, like, if you do all of New Sirocco, if you do every cave, if you do all the quests. Hmm. Like, in one playthrough, I feel like 80 hours feels good. It sounds right to me. You can beat it in much sooner than that, and you can create more and more builds, so you can do, like, Way more than 80 hours or way less, either way. But I think that feels like a good amount. It's a very large game. Even though this game existed, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's kind of... I mean, it's an indie game, so it's not really as known. But it's a very solid RPG. It's an RPG with survival-like aspects, you know. But, I mean... 
The walk, like people complain about the walking thing, but that's what people complain about Dragon's what? Dogma too. Is that you you walk from area to area a lot. That game does have fast travel, at least in some aspect. You're still doing a lot of walking at times. This, mm. listen. To, can you help with this? Uh, wait, what? how dare you? I feel like that ghost is showing up too soon. I feel like he just showed up, bro. Maybe it's because I didn't kill him. I think I did kill him, though. Wait, this... <laughs> Listen, can you help with this? This is troubling. Wait, what? how dare you? All right, now we got to go do the rest of the quest, which is... Let me check. Here's the thing, though. The order in which they tell you to do this quest makes no sense. Go to Levant. Come back out of Levant. Go to Berg. Go back to Levant. Go to the Hive. Now go to the Slump. Like, what kind of... That's so weird. It's like all out of order. Looks pretty cool so far. Yeah, it absolutely is very cool. I mean, plus you can literally just speed back all the issues of the game. It's so easy to remedy. Or speed hack? Yeah, yeah. Not doing manual walking and constantly fast traveling is more fun generally as long as the world's full of cool stuff. Yeah. Same here. Items to mess with, enemies to fight, all kinds of random encounters. I praise is the closest clue. I think so, yeah. We're gonna go there next, I believe. The best aspect they ever did with this game was they gave it one of the some of the best soundtracks ever. I mean, because if this game didn't have good sound, like good music to listen to while you were walking, I think that would highly diminish the enjoyment you get out of it, but you're constantly listening to a really enjoyable soundtrack in the background. Every region has uh, a soundtrack during the daytime and a soundtrack during the nighttime. Like, you just have a really nice song going on. Every combat scenarios have uh, different songs. I think most of the combats are the same song, but every time you get in it, it changes, you know. I'm not sure if boss fights have their own. I don't think they do. And they were cold again. Yeah, the auto walk feature is amazing. I've said many times, I think the auto watch feature should be in like every game that's like this. Like Valheim, that's one of the most annoying things when playing Valheim is I've already played Outward. I know I could have an auto walk feature. That game doesn't have it. At least I don't think it did. I couldn't remember. It's been a long time since I played that. But, like, a lot of survival games where you know you're going to be walk Like, if you're just trying to walk back home, a uh, auto-walk feature is amazing. You got listen to the OST fully start to end. It's really atmospheric. Combat music is different. Per region, and some encounters actually have a different soundtrack. Exactly. It's amazing. Yeah, I didn't know about the encounters, though. I thought maybe they did, but I wasn't sure. I'm just going to straight up nuke this guy. Well, what I would recommend not doing is dodging in front of the dude. I'm just eating hits. Because I can. And it's gonna get me in trouble later when I face enemies I can't eat hits from. Of course I got that. That sounds awesome. Ah, uh, I can't get the backstab because he's like in an awkward position. You know what? That ghost is really annoying. Is it just me or is he showing up every three seconds?
Like it's every three seconds. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, he's a pain in the butt. I'll just take a health potion real quick. Need as many of those as I can get. Alright, that's done. He's making it look easy, but walking it outward is a game in and of itself. Especially when you first start. Especially when you first start, yeah. Ooh, money. Do I want to eat that? Probably not. But I'm going to do it anyway. Is there not an ornate chest in here? I thought there was. Ah, uh, that might be the other one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that does not get rid of that immediately. I thought maybe it did. Bummer. Alright, we're going to go do the hive because this is the perfect time. Once you get infected and you cure it, you're immune to it for a while. Just out of curiosity, how many hours have you played Outward? I have played Outward for over 2,000. I don't remember the exact number. I think on Steam it's like 1,600-ish. Maybe less than that, but I played on Xbox a long time before I uh, switched. So it's a, it's a little over 2,000. What's up, Powerless? How's it going? Yeah, PC game. It's on everything, actually, but yeah, it's on PC. Mystery jerky from a corpse in a high prison sounds delicious. Hey, you gotta take it when you can get it, you know? Hmm, how do I want to play this? I will probably... Let me think. I've got stamina? I've got health. What do I need? Fire varnish, maybe? Run around a little bit. Run around a little more. Okay. They're dead. I think my water is in my pocket. Oh no, I am completely out now. How about is it to spend an early game with an overweight bag? Fine, as long as you can still run. Yeah, I'm overweight all the time. I wouldn't worry about it too much. If you're just managing it, it's I'm overweight all the time. The thing is, this game throws loot at you all over the place. Like, it throws thousands of loot at you. Maybe not at one time, but it's always throwing loot at you. So if you are you don't want to be overweight, just don't pick up as much stuff. I just like picking stuff up, so I end up being overweight. And I feel like a lot of us do that, too. But, I mean, you really don't have to pick up everything. This dude's getting roasted right now. Do they team up or do they fight each other? They fight each other. Another, it's not five minutes. There's no way this is five minutes. This is like every three minutes, dude. This is way too much. I mean, I don't care that much because it's not that bad, but like, it's definitely very annoying. Maybe it's five minutes. Maybe the game just takes longer than I think. And we're always using the World Edge Great Axe. It's awesome. Oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Whoa, buddy. That's the wrong button, but all right. All right, activated that too early.
I don't know what's going on. This guy, I can't kill him. He's overpowered. Oh, you know what it is? I'm using daggers. These guys are, these guys hate when you're close to them. And so they're very difficult to take down at close range. I made that up, by the way. Like, I didn't necessarily make that up, but I, it might as well have been made up. That's just how I feel about it. It's not like a thing, but it, it feels like it. It's pretty accurate. I'd believe me, if I was me. There we go. What if I used a stealth potion? And then a cold rag. No. Nah. Decay rag. It's a poison one, I guess, but same thing. Same diff. You really like walking backwards when you're close to him? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What's up, Supreme? Well, a Gilded Shiver has a Decay enchantment, so that might be your highest damage output for a dagger. Ooh, good point. I can't get that till later, but, I mean, I can eventually get it, so. Might want a gun for that. Say, there's no way he's on me. You grouped up right now. Move out the freaking way, dude. Oh, bro, you're gonna feel that tomorrow. Bugs are all over me. Oh my god, that did not look good. That did not look good at all. Do the thing. Alright, he's dead. How that was still there, I don't know. Get out of here. Get out of here. Looking forward to the co-op stream. I've always wanted to play this game co-op. I haven't watched anyone play it. It's a lot of fun. I've done co-op several times, and it's always a blast. This game has a lot of really cool synergies when it comes to co-op. Yes, dude. Let's freaking go. This is what I need, right? Benji, did you check it? This is the one I need, I think. Pearl Bird's Courage? Oh my word with these ghosts. These are actually really annoying, by the way. I remember earlier I said it was like a little annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's like incredibly frustrating. Yeah, that's one of them. Okay, so we're two down. We need two more things then. I think Calixa's... Calixa's something is the other one. What do I have? I have Calixa's Relic, Pearl Bird's Courage. So I need another one from... I need Elats. Elats something or other. Sanctity. Maybe. Yeah, there's probably like every two minutes. It's very fast, actually. Well, that was easy. Is that ice rag? I already know that. Whatever it is, it's too fast. 
Yeah, I'm always corrupted. Yep. Unless I get rid of it. Which, you know, I get the power from it, so I might as well just keep it. Yeah, Lats Relic and Vendival's Hospitality. Which I get Vendival's Hospitality a lot, so I feel like that one's got a good chance of showing up. Don't know about a Relic. I don't know if I've ever even... I mean, I assume I've gotten it before and uh, from these unique enemies, but it's probably been a while. The counter sound effect is crispy, brutal. It's very nice. It's like, ding! <laughs> yeah, I like it quite a bit. All of the counters have a similar effect, too. It's like, every time you get one, it just feels like you really messed somebody up. All right, I'm out of water, which is unfortunate. You can use this, though. I've already used that before, apparently. Apparently! A gun for it, I guess. You play the random, as in all relics have the same probability. It is, but, like, I usually get... You usually get certain ones, is the thing. From my experience, Vendable's Hospitality shows up a lot. I think on most of my playthroughs, I always end up with like four of them. Isn't there water outside of this thing? I briefly remember seeing water. Ah, right here. Awesome. The one I get the least is Calixa's Relic. Somehow I started off with that. See, here's the thing. Usually, usually I'd be like, okay, we're not going to get the items, whatever. But because I started off with Calixa's Relic, I'm like, maybe... We got a good chance. I think I just need to go to the slums, don't I? Find the clue in the Lavas slums, yeah. What bonus does this set give? This bonus... This set gives a 40% uh, bump of decay damage, I think, in total. Let me double check. Yeah, 40 total extra decay damage, and a lot of defense. A lot of defense. The physical. I have my lantern on. I have a problem. I admit it. Caravaner. My guy. Ghosts just look weird in bright sunlight. Agreed. Yeah, this armor set's actually crazy good. If you're using any amount of decay. It's just that you get negative Greetings, lightning friend. resist, which isn't always great, you know. I've just been, like, cursed this entire stream because I just constantly have a negative effect, and it's been killing my stamina. Like, this hive is awful for stamina. It's brutal. It burns your stamina so fast. I think Merc's really gonna help with that. Look like you played this before? I sure have, Necromancer. I sure have. <laughs> More times than I care to count. I 
Okay. I'll sell that. Nothing like seeing a random caravan when you need it? Yeah, dude. Does Mason Fusion work on that Corruption Ghost? Yes. Uh, Benji said that it gives you a Fire Infusion. No mana this run? I'm not sure what the mana is going to be like. I've discussed grabbing it several times, but up until now we haven't needed it. So I'm not sure. I think I'd still want to take a little bit just to get some ability to pop boons easily. Because that will be very helpful, but up until now, it really hasn't been a big deal. Especially so I get some of my skill trees, and that really helps me out quite a bit. No way you're making a corruption build on stream? I told people I was going to do it for the longest time, and then I never did it. And I was like, finally, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Why not? I think it'd be possible to make a fire decay build with that, but cannot wrap my mind around which mace would best fit the... Which one is it, Benji? That's what I was just talking about. Can I, I this worries me. Alright. This. That. That as well. Keep the occult remains. We've been trying to keep those. Those are good. Um, okay. Keep the hammer. I need to go buy the other item, too. Crystal powder. Don't need metalized bones. That I can get rid of. Cold stones. Just get rid of fire stones for now. I don't need any of that stuff. Stop carrying around junk we don't need, you know? Can I think of a good maze for a fire decay build? Oh, I see. Want to buy some oh boy. Yeah, that's kind of fair. I mean... Like, the only one that comes to mind is just... Horror mace because it does decay, but I mean, it really doesn't do that yes, much decay. Oh All right, there's one. How okay. can this is troubling? This is troubling. There's the other. And now she should have enough to sell the last one. How oh, this is troubling. Oh, not quite. Three thousand silver. Let's go give me my stuff. I don't even think that's that's, that's way too much. I, <laughs> that's way too much. I don't need that many, but uh, that's a lot of silver. What's up, Lily? Take the mercenary tree for stamina with this? I am right now, actually. You can imagine what Haboob is like all the time. What can Every I night. Do for you? Meteoric stuff is sweet. Meteoric stuff is amazing. Your movement speed is increased by 10%. Sprinting consumes 40% less stamina. And. Mmm, blood bullet. Which I may try and use a little bit. Like as an opener? Because if I get the ornate pistol, that'd be that'd be a decent way to do it. We'll mess with it a little bit. It's not too important that I use one thing. What do I have now? 5,500? Woo! A lot. I can go get my other skill tree. That's for sure. Um, I might want gold right now, though. I'll we'll take X-Mage with Blood Sigil. Blood Sigil is amazing.
Well, the thing is, like, Blood Sigil makes me use Dark Stones. I don't have an easy way to get Dark Stones. Without just farming them out. I guess I could go Hex Mage instead of Cabal. What do we think about that? That's not a bad idea. Listen. Oh, boy. That could be a really good idea. How? This is troubling. Hmm. Now you got me thinking. I need a rest. Firebug is really good for fire decay with Blood Bullet 2. Yeah, it is. Can't play without the Mercenary Stamina Perk. It's way too good. x just for not having Stamina Burn all the time. Could be nice as well. Got like three or four Dark Stones from Looting Harmattan. Mmm, alright, let's go Hex Mage. If we're gonna go for it, let's go all into it. The only reason I'd be taking Cabal Hermit is for the... the pro, the breakthrough anyway, so... whatever. That's fine. Change of plans. Change of plans. Never hurt nobody. I'm dead. What do I want to snack on? Some of these. Um, I guess I have like... Oh, I have another one. Alright, let's see what my stats are now. Stamina cost of actions, negative 15, which is even better. Decay damage is an extra 10%. Lightning resist, negative 35. Aha! I did it! I reached negative 100 lightning resist. Don't hit me with lightning damage. That's all I'm trying to say. It's not going to go well for me. Yes, this armor does boost corruption gain. So I guess there are ways that... You know what? Now that I just thought about it. X Mage is perfect because I can get a Scourge Cocoon and infinitely recharge the Dark Stones. Oi! You I know. Yeah. Not on the blue. This needs thinking. Of <laughs> then again. Ultra conductivity achieved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the basic Mantis Shrimp becomes my most challenging enemy. Oh, I need to go to the slums, guys. I forgot about that. Bro gets hit with a Mantis Shrimp Lightning Blast and just drops dead instantly. Dude, that's a basic enemy. What's your problem? Man, I'm a corruption guy. I can't be doing that. Corruption damage is... Let's see. Decay damage plus 50%. 60%. Um, right now I have plus 100% decay damage bonus. 100% of 10 is 20. So right now I'm doing 20 decay damage on the dagger. But here's the thing. If we add in a cold varnish, we buff that as well. If we add in a decay varnish, it's even way more buffed. So. That's got some high potential. And four times on like backstab, that's pretty big. Where am I going? I like a massive brain fart. What am I doing? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Shrimp projectile does 20 lightning damage. You should be fine. You should tank like 40 damage. Uh, it's still a lot. Oh, here it is. It maybe doesn't fully one shot. Okay, blood under the sun. Talk to Cyrene. Gotcha. Y'all got me excited about that decay damage number, and I completely forgot I was, what I was doing. Your main source will be the dagger? Ideally, yeah. We're going to mess with the horror pistol eventually, too. And we're going to... I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up all the corruption items and just test them a little bit. Like, we'll grab Scepter of the Corrupt Race and see what happens. 
Just so we could waste stuff for fun. Is there a boss shrimp? Yeah, there is a boss shrimp. Based on what we found, oh. we need to move on the pair of them. We're gonna flush them. Yeah, the plague glitches BFF. Exactly. I'm gonna do like no damage. We're gonna be buddies. They're all boss shrimps now. I don't think this way was empty, wasn't it? Yeah, this way just has water. Okay. Um, and this is Montgomery, I believe. Are you serious? Oh dear. You know what? We're rich. We're gonna kill him. You, you'll never take me alive. This is for that time you ripped me off and gave me a tent. That's funny. Let's do this, mate. Oh, that's a lot of damage. The true enemy arrives. They honestly die pretty quick. I'm just using a weapon. Oh, the ghost got me, dude. He tricked me. The cleverest ghost I ever met. And I don't have bandages, which is unfortunate. I don't even... I, like, I briefly saw them, but when I went to hit him, I walked over all the traps. Why are there traps here? One, two, three, four, five... The whole wall. The whole is just filled with traps for no reason. Who's walking over those? I guess you could throw people at them, maybe? That seems like a weird torture device. What weapon are you going to choose? I'll probably choose Maelstrom, ultimately. That'll be the one I want to gun for, but... I think it'll be nice to kind of play with a couple things. He said run along the wall. Yeah. That's a good idea. Ooh. That was not ideal. Apparently, I need 40 of these, so let's just craft up a bunch. I don't remember this cave. Um. Oh my word, this is going great. Isn't that the way I'm supposed to go? Oh no, I go down this way. No. Oh, back up here. I got you. Like, something don't look right. Because I was all turned around. Considered Spirit of Armadon for 25% over Horror Chitin. It's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Enchant it with economy. And then I can have more stamina and more mana. A lot less resistance, though. Like, a lot less defense. That's a cool idea, though. I might do that. I might do that. Let's go to Cave Varnish. Everybody about to die. I was going to try and get around him, I just couldn't do it. Alright, Alexa should be down here. Oh no, they remove her. They remove her when you go do this quest. I didn't even need a dark varnish. No, do I? My, my, I will glad you all. He's a bad guy. We caught him. Dude, where's your Skycra? I know. I, I haven't ended up getting it. I was going to wait till I went to Monsoon. I have to choose between decay damage bonus and economy. Stamina mana uh, cost reduction. 
Well, yeah. I think that might be better. But, like, will we lose our fashion, though? Because our fashion is going to look, like, way worse. Fashion is important. Did I get a house now? Not yet. I gotta talk to the queen. <sighs> Make it quick. Yeah, talk to the queen. Well, it's on the way to Monsoon. Like, it's right next to the exit, and so I haven't gone over there yet. Siren, an example. Not to me. This way, I wish you it There's a part in this quest it. where you head Excellent. over to Monsoon, so I was just like, well, I'll go over there, you know, and do that cave when I head that way. Fashion is the most important. See, exactly. Exactly. Currently running the Rustlich helmet and boots with the antique plate armor. Portal chakram. Oh, trying to get that elemental damage? Nice. That's why it's called Outward. You focus on Outwards. That's funny. It's my house now. Lady, give me my freaking deed. Thank you. Get out of here, dude. We have a house! Blacksmith hammer. All kinds of potions I don't need. Elixir's Relic and Pearl Bird's Courage we're going to throw in there. 39 gold ingots. What? I got a lot of those. Throw all that. Crimp Nut can be used with what to get a stamina potion? Is it water? Is it just Crimp Nut and water? Am I being crazy right now? Yeah, it's not that. Crimp nut in a oil. No, I don't know. I I should have waited till someone said something, so I got that right. But I just wung it, and I was wrong. Duly noted. Um, I kind of want to. Do I ever go back? Though I don't know if I do. I need- when I go back to Sierra, though... Have you seen your Shrouded? Kind of reminds me of Valheim with a little bit of Outward. I have- people asked me to play it, actually, in my post I made. I may play it next week. If we manage to beat this game soon enough. I'll sell those, I think. Oh, it's an egg! The flippin' egg! How can I help you? Bad memory. A uh, flippin' egg, dude. I think I have an egg, too. Actually, I don't, so it's not a big deal. Now we're in a really good shape. I like that. I'm gonna go make me some food. Yeah, I screwed that up. Which is the best house, in your opinion? Might be the one in Harmattan. Hmm. My favorite house is actually... Can I help you? Levant, just because I like how fancy it is. But Monsoon's is the best, because you get plants on top of it. And the plants provide you with a lot of really good... In they're just ingredients for really good potions, is what they are. Well, this did not pan out how I thought it was going to. Alright, we have everything from Levant. Uh, which is... pretty good. Um, I need to make me some food. Wanna try and shroud it in co-op on stream? I would gladly buy it and try it with you. Oh, sounds good, Ricky. Plan on it next week. 
because that's kind of my idea. I'm going to finish this run before I start anything else, but I think I may be able to. Because I'm planning on probably streaming tomorrow, too. Because I, I, like I said in my thing, I really don't have any content planned because I'm waiting on stuff. I'm working on a couple videos for Remnant, but they're long format, so. They're going to take a while to make. All right, we are good to go. All right, everybody, I'm going to use the restroom really quick because I have not been in a while. I got to use the restroom, fill up some water, and I will be right back. So just give me a second here. No water in Monsoon, though? True, that is kind of painful. But those ingredients are really nice. They're really nice. All right, be right back. Got to use the restroom. We'll get back into it. See you in a second. Perfect timing. Song just ended. Oh, what's up, Pam? Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Hopefully I didn't miss you. That grabbed me a little snack, too. Because I got a little hungry. Alright. What's the next plan? Okay. Cyrene has something for us in three days. So, here's what I say we do. Um, I can take the money I have. Go to our Madden. Buy the rest of the skills I need. If they happen to send us to Sierzo, I can get, like, the cool boon and all that jazz on the way back. And I think I'm good on everything else. I can grab the the rusted sword too. Yeah. Okay. Who sells the scepter that I need? Is it the Cabal Hermit? Does he have the scepter for the rusted the brand? 
feel like it is, yeah. Can't remember. I don't think it's a merchant in Sierra, though. Can I help you? All right, yes. travel. I think I have four rations. Damn. No, I don't. Yes. <laughs> Can I help you? He tells you. He gets very upset about it. Can I help you? Yes. Damn. Oh, I don't have the money either. Uh. My bad, bro. Can I help you? Wait, doesn't yes. Hex Mage give me like a huge boost to elemental damage too? It does. Oh, uh, Sheen, I just started Caldera. I thought you were overacting about the danger in the Sulfuric Caverns. The nobles destroyed me. Hey, those nobles are crazy, bro. They're crazy. They do, like, an insane amount of damage. It's nuts. Oh, yeah, we're starting that now. Nah, bro, they are they're insane. I have no idea why they do so much damage, but they got some really good weapons, which is probably why. All right, skill trees, which means I need to sell stuff, and... What do you need? Can I help you? Sell that. Need something. There's nine to him. I don't know how much I need. I think we're pretty how close, though. Play in Shrouded yet? I have not, uh, but I think we, we've talked about it a couple times. I think we're going to probably play it next week. I've heard good things about it. The Alchemy? Is it just in Sierzo, Amon Saga? Or is it in... I don't know. I feel like she had it for some reason. I think you might be right. Maybe it is in Sierzo. All right, time to get all the stuff. I could grab Pull mana up. too over here. I'll train ya. Increase elemental damage by fifteen percent when tired and thirty percent when very tired. Hmm, that seems pretty strong. What's up, Splife? How's it going? You jinx. Torment. This is max mana burn from sleeping. I guess we'll grab it. I don't. I never know with that one though. We want blood sigil, obviously. All right. Here's the deal. How much? How much health do I have? I have a total of 125 health. I have 100 stamina. I can buy efficiency to have 125 stamina. That'll be nice. I think I give up two points. How much does the blood sigil cost? Only seven mana? No way. Dude, I need like one mana. I do two points. Let's do one. Let's start with one. Listen to we me. might need more than that, but maybe not. Rusty sword in the mountain and years though. Yeah, good point. That's what I'm thinking. Tired's gonna give regen, so we just need enough to cast the sigil when we need it, right? I'm thinking. Oh, uh, what's up next? Okay. Efficiency. We need that, like, immediately.
Want me to train you? Stamina. We do not want that. It's one of the very few times. How hard is it to get a Galvanic Sword? I don't know the recipe for that. It should be a shield golem scrap, but I don't know the rest of the stuff for it. Berg is the blacksmith. Ah, yeah. Oh, I needed to buy the thing from... That's right, there's one in Monsoon. I forgot about that. Okay. Step number two, I think, is going to be we're going to go kill some stuff to get a galvanic item. I think we're good, right? Yeah. Oh, I need to equip a couple skills. All right. So here's this one. Hmm. We'll do blood sigil. I just need dark stones. So let's go to the bottom of the map. Maybe get a couple dark stones first. After, well, let's do it after we do this. How about that? Actually, I need a mana stone. Did I sell any? If I could, like, buy a mana stone... I don't think anyone does. Because I'll get rid of the corruption before I go into it. I won't take damage. Nah. Oh, well. Cheap stamina boost from the guy's so nice. It's amazing, for sure. Oh, I guess I, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm just thinking of a sword. I need a sword right now. I need something other than Merton's. Like a tiny upgrade in any way. And uh, Galvanic was the one I was thinking. But I guess I could get a Kazite sword, too, if I happen to find one. I have a spear of varnish. I tried to force it. Well, I think where I can get mana stones at. I think there's mana stones in the top. No, those are ghost eyes. Huh. The mana stones at the bottom left of the map. Yes. There's, the bottom left of the map has mana stones. All your money, brand would be good. Yeah, brand would be an amazing upgrade. I just have to get to the locations to get the items. It's very true. Yeah, exactly, Kink. <laughs> Shiv, Dagger, Shield, Golem, Scrap, Crystal Powder, Palladium, Scrap. Gotcha. What's up, citizen? That's not too bad. I could get a Shiv Dagger pretty easily. Because the thing is, even when you impact them, they still move. That's what I was thinking. Mana Lake. I, I'm pretty sure they have, like, several crystals over there. A virgin sword? If I could enchant it with something interesting, maybe. A decay damage. No, I wasn't going to use Scepter of the Cruel Priest as my main source of damage, but we are going to grab it and mess with it a little bit. Just to mess with the power. Because the power it has is ridiculous. Horosaur would be good, I just haven't... 
I've been using horror stuff for items at the moment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You're about to get messed up. Oh, it's too far away. It's fine. It doesn't do any damage. Easy money. All day. Titan! If I can get predator bones, I can make a sword. Forgot these guys, these guys dropped chitin. Best of luck with scourge enemies, yeah. <laughs> Four swords, extreme poison buildup would be faster with manticore dagger. Yeah, that is true, though. Which side is he on? I think it's right here. Oh! He got wrecked. Oh, I love Hex Mage. Who suggested that? Who suggested Hex Mage? Because I could kiss you right now. I won't, because that'd be weird, but I could kiss you right now. You're a beautiful human being. That's all I have to say about it. I wasn't even thinking Hex Mage. I was going to go Cabal Herman instead, but. Little mana stone from these things. Oh, do they have them? Good point. They do. Watch this. Oh, doesn't it damage you? That's why I need to go to Monsoon. 50% corruption creates a dark stone, removes corruption, suffer extreme bleeding, and 65 decay damage. How much is 65? A lot. Definitely a lot. Again, we can fix this very easily. All you need to use is Mana Ward. I just don't have it right now. Well, I want to use that to lower my Corruption so that when I go into the Corruption, it'll just die instantly. Yeah, his friend didn't even wake up at all. It's really funny. Next Mage, after a while, hits different. No more T. Yeah, exactly. That no burn is ridiculous. And I forget it. I for some reason forgot about how good it was. Probably because I was forcing myself not to play with it for a while. My guy stood up. What are you doing, bro? Okay. Getting behind this guy? That's the challenge. Oh, come on, he did a 3-6. Oh, okay. They are very resistant to decay. Come back here! Oh, come on, stupid range. The forbidden technique. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the mana ward basically makes you immune to damage for four seconds. So you then use it and then you become immune. The bleeding you will be immune to, but then it'll run out. So then you'll still be bleeding and you need to use advantage to fix it. Are there no mana? There's mana stones here somewhere. 
But yeah, it makes you immune, but only for four seconds. So after that, you're going to start taking damage. Hey, my stamina cost? Nice, bro. What? Some idiot deleted his pickaxe. I don't know who that was. Freaking moron. And then that same idiot walked all the way down here. Well, now I feel like, uh, like a big dum-dum. I guess we're not getting mana stones right now. The file really impacted damage, it seems. Oh, it gives you a lot of damage. But also, these guys are really resistant to corruption. Corruption still has a decent damage boost. Is there any in the bottom? I don't think the bottom has any. Let's just walk up and kill the golems, and then... I only needed one anyway. If I remember correctly, I can get that back very easily. Is there a guaranteed pickaxe in the Wendigo dungeon? I don't know, is there? You wanna go see? We can find out. I can at least kill this guy. Dude, look at the stamina. Oh, it's so beautiful. I guess I didn't necessarily need to take Rogue Engineer, but I do like that we took it because of the stealth aspect. You can really be stealthy with it. It's quite nice, actually. A lot of boozu. That's like the seventh boozu we've seen. Oh, there's another mana stone. There are some. So, yeah, I thought there was at least one down here. For some reason, I second guess myself. I just like how beefy I look in the back. You know, like, all of my, my armor makes me look really tough. I feel like antique plate armor would make me look weak. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Hope you're correct about this whole pickaxe thing. What do we have here? This, I believe, gives cold resist. Yeah. Okay. Lantern off. Crouch. What do I want to aim for first? That's the thing. Look how just insane the stealth is, though. Like, I was very clearly in line of his sight, and he didn't care at all. Oh, 
Fight for it. That's right. You can block it. Heck yeah, dude. That is not the button I wanted to use. But oh well. I accidentally pressed five. <laughs> That's a complete waste. Oh well, you got to see how it works. <laughs> what did that give me? Absorb health lost by blood leech from the victims you affected. Huh. There's three mana stones, we're fine. And I've got a really easy way to get corruption back too. Actually, I think this should give it to me. Or no, I have to hit an enemy, don't I? Yeah, I have to hit an enemy. Okay, pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. Nothing yet. Spiky shoulder pads uh, do feel beefy. I agree. My lady caused a death pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Well, it would seem there is not a guaranteed spawn of a pickaxe in the Wendigo dungeon. Which, now we know, so. Not a wasted journey, but. Also, not ideal. Hey! Those offer corruption to me. He said, well, I lied. Nah, it's fine. We got to kill a Wendigo. All good. I think I'm gonna like this blood sigil thing, though. This it seems like a cool idea. I like this. Life Leech leeches a percentage of enemy HP, so better to use on bosses and tough enemies. Okay. Mana push, ward, and sigil. Mana ward, I believe, does, yeah. I think all of the skills do. The only one that doesn't is the... The dagger slash, because you're not actually activating it unless you're hitting an enemy. Alright, well, we got a couple still. I got three from that one dude, so... Yeah, five. I got another one. Ta-da. Even just placing the sigil raises corruption, I think. Uh, yeah, I think all actions raise it by a little bit. Pretty much everything to do with it. I guess maybe I should grab mana push just so I can use that. Not a bad idea. I mean, that's a good ability. I'm kind of wasting a slot with... Mason fusion right now because I'm not using it that much. This is just insane to me. Nothing. Didn't really have anything to give anyway. Alright, the entire idea of why I wanted to even go here was I wanted to see if I could get that scrap piece. And then we'll just go back to wherever they take us. So if they take us to the Sierra Zoe, I'll go there because I do need the cool boon and I need... What's the other one? 
It's a cool boon, and there was one other thing I wanted to grab there. But I can't remember at the time. Oh, well. I can get a bunch of mana stones if I grab a pickaxe for there. Oh, brand. Duh. Thank you. Don't have a varnish, unfortunately. Uncrouch. That's the only tough thing. I gotta uncrouch after I do it. That's what you call a bad, bad outcome. Doesn't help. I've been out of stamina for 20 minutes. They're really fast. That's what I'm noticing with them is like their speed is actually affecting me a little bit. Yeah, the double repose there. I don't know how I got that. I'd never seen that before, but that was really cool. Like, nah, I don't think so. Okay, I've got a bunch of health. Nah, saw me already. These guys are tough, because, like, I think I said this earlier, but Merton's Fire Poker specifically just does such terrible damage to golems. Like, the main weapon that it sucks against. Are there any unique enemies here? There are some unique enemies here that I'm realizing that, but I don't know if I can get to them easily. Maybe. The impact is so good. I know, dude. For a, a dagger? Like, come on. Yeah, Mesa Fusion has actually been really good. I think it was a good choice. Unfortunately, this guy... Uh, this guy gonna be a tank, dude. This guy gonna be a mega tank. No, I don't really have much. What is the energy thing? Is that reduce? Uh, oh, speed. Okay. That was the wrong button again. So I'm pressing so many buttons. That's what I came here for. All of my skills are pretty stamina heavy. Look at that. Oh, he's behind. Come on. I thought he was on the ground in front of me. Yeah, we 
We need to get some better... I need to get another Manticore Dagger. I need to get another weapon really, really fast. Let's just go get Brand. For the moment. Maelstrom is like a long-term goal. Skycrown is the next, next thing I need to go do. Well, I got my Corruption level up pretty fast. What am I at right now? 73. So if I am in here a little bit longer, I'll get back up to 80. Which I think I had food that gave me that, didn't it? Yeah, these filled with corruption. That's five. It's like 5%. It's a lot, actually. <laughs> it defiles you very quickly. A lot of junk. I'll take it. All right, hopefully they send us a year, though, because I would like to go there now. How about the Sun Fury Axe, or Sunfall Axe? You want Burning Effect? Sunfall is really good, yeah. It would definitely be a... I mean, I guess I could have gotten it pretty easily. I don't know. I just. I guess I just kind of got complacent with getting new items. I should have gone there and gotten the Sunfall Axe. That would have been a nice upgrade. At least from what I'm using now. You know? I may have been over in Levant for a while. The one effect that feels really weird to me is the extra hunger rate. Because, like, you're eating so many foods for buffs anyway. Why does that matter? <laughs> it does almost... No I, I've, it shows up every once in a while, but... Very rarely. Greeting. Yes. My guy's going back to Berg. Do I want to go to Berg? What's in Berg for me? Is there anything? I'm trying to think. If I go to Berg, I can technically let's just sleep three days. That's not that important. What do you need? Oh yeah, I gotta sell my crap that I have. What's up, Ronnie? You better have the money. 100% hunger rate basically tells me that corruption is the equivalent of weed in Outward. I guess so, yeah. Logically, that does make sense. Blimey. Alright, because I ate Lance. Nothing. You better have that Couldn't money. find that one. Oh, here it is. You better have the money. There we go. Sky crown it is, guess so. Guess it's when you need to buff less often than actually eat, but the hunger rate from corruption isn't enough to justify that. Yeah, pretty much. Need a place to remember this. <laughs> You're blasted just enough to start seeing ghosts. Honestly, the more we talk about it, the more that makes so much sense though. You have, like, an evil high. The rusted liquid with a dagger is kind of a pain. All the single target... But it, yeah, it's a little bit harder to use, yeah. That's why I like the uh, some of the other stuff a little bit more. If we go to Monsoon, I can technically pick up Mana Ward, so... It would be fine, that location.
Need potions just to detox? Yeah. It does fire damage and symbolize how lit it is. See what I'm saying? Like, the more we talk about it, the more, the more it makes sense. That's pretty accurate. Alright, tell me it moved, because I would be very upset if it didn't. I like how the inns in this game are just like, you can pay 50 silver and stay however long you want, but once you come out of your room, Greetings, that's it. Friend. Like, you'll be in there an hour. Come out of your room. Nah, you gotta pay more. Yes. Monsoon. My guy, you're the best. Going to Monsoon so I can get my freaking man award. Uh, I took the Heroic Kingdom. We're halfway through it right now. <laughs> Said, pass me the double shell horror. Hit me with it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Outward in and of itself is just a massive hallucination you go through while sitting in your bed. These are facts. Uh, we did not do purifier, so we should do that while we're here. Valid point, my guy. Brace? Brace, though. Brace be looking kind of good right by now. That's all I'm saying. You know I'm all about some brace. That's me. I'm right there with you. Greetings, friend. Alright, I'm going to switch out this... War? Men Award. Now... Ta-da! No damage taken. Wait. Why does it say I only have one blood sigil? Oh, I have no mana. Okay. I forgot about that whole mechanic. You have to have mana to use it. Is there something? Stab you in the head. Mage's poking stick. Cold stone, rage potion, antidote. Uh, I think of stuff that I need from here, and I feel like I don't need anything. Let's go make our tartines, because y'all knew I was coming here for the tartines, let's be honest. What could I do for you? Palladium knuckles. That's kind of good. What's this guy have? Does this guy have weapons? How can I help you? No, he's got a bunch of junk. Yeah, we did not do purifier. We're gonna go ahead and do that because I do want to complete that quest. Can I help you? Why you might ask? Because I want the glowstone backpack. The first time ever. Don't have rations. Eleven rations are fine on that. Alright, what all do we want to do here? Because I feel like it's just a purifier. Now I think about it. I guess I have to do a little bit of the rust lich to get out. Or, uh, gold lich. Starting pot of foo. 
Pot of the pot of the pirate. Pot of the pirate. I think it's how you say it. Three fish, one salt. It's been a nice range of buffs, including mana region. I guess that is really good. Anything with fish, you can count me out. I never make it. I got so used to not carrying around a fishing harpoon. Glowstone backpack would be bad for your stealth, yeah, but I want it. Just for the fun. I probably won't wear it that much, but I want it because it's fun. Alright, I don't need to carry that around. Fish are very cheap at merchants. Uh, see, I've never been in the habit of buying in there. Maybe I should start doing that. Oh, your boy needs some water. You said it was three fish and a salt? That's it? Can I help you? So you got five fish. Could be any fish. I think the, the Bane guy should have fish, too, I think. Any three fish. Huh. Greetings, friend. Well, I need, like, one more. Two more. Is there something you need? Hmm. That's fine. Like using Zorn's dagger instead of carrying a lantern around? Zorn's dagger is very bright. I like it a lot myself, actually. Salted fish soup is more restorative and nutritious than fish alone. Huh. Yeah, good catch on that one. That's a nice one to have. Think Zorn's dagger doesn't aggro enemies? I don't think it does either, actually. I don't think it does. I'm not sure. But probably not. Mana regen is two, actually? I mean, mana regen and health regen is always nice. So that's a pretty good food. Yeah, good call out on that one. I like that. Straight ahead. Actually, Merton's Fire Poker puts in work in the swamp. It's really good in the swamp. Tonosaurus might be resistant to it. I know they're resistant to decay. Which is what I'm using. Wow, what a lunge. Sky Crown is much better here. Oh, he didn't even attack me. Yeah, they don't really take a lot of fire damage. All right, they're not immune, though. They must have, like, 80 resist, but they're not immune, because he's taking damage from it. Oh, they're busting this dude up. Why did I help them? That feels like an error.
Alright, you're dead. Anytime you get a bandit with an axe, it's like, it's dangerous because if they get their 3-hit combo in, you, you know, you take a lot of damage. But also, their 3-hit combo can't be stopped and it's pretty lengthy. So, when they do it, if you're already in good position, you just get a free attack. Is a good way to go with a burn build with Meteoric Bow? I'm trying to think of ways to apply burn without swapping weapons often. Yes. Um, the easiest way would be to use Jinx. Just put on the burn hex if you can. You can use, like... If you wanted to, you could use Fire Sigil, just shoot it out, and then once you do that, move to your bow, you know? Or you use, like, uh... Actually, no, the Meteoric Bow has an enchantment that makes it burn. You can just enchant it with the enchantment. It automatically will burn the enemy. These guys are a pain. They're like really tanky and have high impact resist. And I don't think it's a Caldera enchant either. I think you could just do it regularly. And it makes that bow... Probably the best... I don't know. It, may, it might be the best bow in the game. If you enchant it with a Kindle. It's tough. It's a toss-up between that and the... Astro Bow as long... What's the other one? And Murmur as well. They're all really solid. Out of range on that. These guys are weak to fire. Odd. The other one saw me now. Okay. Can I take my thing now, please? Thank you. Yeah, the dagger's always breaking, bro. You take the fire damage bonus from Philosopher, you one-shot people. Yeah, it's insane. It's an insane buff. Fire Sigil with Flint and Steel is a funny way. I like that quite a bit. If there weren't so many enemies just completely immune or resistant to fire, it would be... I mean, it already is good. You could use it for a very significant portion of the game and trivialize a lot of stuff. This is broke, too. What the heck is happening around here? Who's breaking all my stuff? Every time... I'm irritated. Like, he can't really do that much damage to me, but I can't do any damage to him. Battle of the Ages, man versus dinosaur. Can he win? No, because he walked into the fight with equipment that does two damage. This freaking dinosaur, dude. He won't die, bro. That's the longest fight of all time. I've had a longer fight with this Tarnasaur than I've had with, like, bosses. Crazy. Do I need to go back to Mofat, or can I just go to the tree? 
I think I can just go to the tree. Need that confusion? I know, I really do. I just need a better freaking weapon. I don't know how I end up playing so much of the game with this very basic item. You can go straight up and do the quest? Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure, I couldn't remember. I mean, I think most of the time, I usually just went back just in case. All right, we can't fight anything until we sleep. We're in a very bad situation here. I guess the dagger's durability is not that bad. It's just the fact that you're using it over and over and over. So it uses it up quickly. The marble maze thing that applies confusion. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. Oh, the... The Morning Star. Yeah, yeah. My tent is too large for this cave. That dude just got hit by a trap. I bet you he's dead when I wake up. I bet you he's dead. This is gonna be a dead bandit. They saw me. There's like a 3% chance for that to happen. That's fine. That's, that's less fine. Alright, if they just stay around that corner, we're all good. Okay, they did not stay around the corner, and I feel... Not happy about that. Hey, can we not, like, double attack me here? What an awful area to fight in. These guys are really all about it, too. See ya, bud. They're all here. Remember how I said there's gonna be a dead bandit? They're all alive. I can't see a thing. I'm in the worst area of all time. Give me my freaking tent. It's nice doing damage again. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Horror armor is actually crazy tanky. It's just that you don't want to take it up against... Like, anything that does lightning. <laughs> and then you're roasted. Oh, wait, that was a mana stone, wasn't it? Yeah, let's grab that. Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna walk over the thing. None of them died. They were all alive, and they tried to murder me. Hey, I can get corrupted in here. Let's go, dude. Wait, turn off that. Dodge rule. Behind a tent, you can't see me. That's a luxury tent right there. Roasted! He's cheating, he's cheating, he's flying! Not fair.
Ooh, those are nice. I like that. Okay, there's note number one. Hey, eggs. Do I need eggs? I don't know. You'd never be too sure when a luxury tent won't come in handy, so I will grab it. Nice fast attack. Mm, I don't need that chest. You know what it was? It was like I ambushed, and so the mage that's usually right here was up top. So I had to fight all of the enemies that were up there. The light mender? Yeah, the light mender is going to be really awful with this build. I have to basically no hit it. I think he can one hit me with like three different attacks. Oh, that's. We we'll just walked in the room. I hate humanoids so much for the dagger. It's just so disappointing. You go to do a cool move and then they just dodge. How you feel about that? You got burn and poison on you. He's actually dying very quickly. Oh, nailed him. I'm gonna grab that iron sword, because if I happen to get enough chitin, I'm gonna craft me a horror weapon. I can stop using this weapon. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty decent loot, I guess. Stapled him to the railing, yeah. Are humans really weak to poison? Yes, they're very weak. The only difference is the marsh humans have armor. That makes them a lot more resistant. Alright, that should have been almost the last note. Dude. That is unfortunate. He turned, again, the very split second that I decided to activate my... Skill. This dude just does an insane amount of damage. Pathfinder is an insanely good weapon. I think it's, it's like Pathfinder or something. One more to get the key. Yeah, it's in the bottom, isn't it? The Pathfinder Claymore. Actually, this is a good weapon for this because I think it inflicts element of vulnerability. Yeah, it does 29 decay damage. It's just freaking slow as heck. But, I mean, look, it does a lot of damage. And that's without Element of Vulnerability being on there yet. Now, once it's on there, they die. Take that. Oh, half your health. Oh, more of your health. Ow. That's gotta hurt, bud. Just to play what happened, you uncrouched and walked a couple steps before pressing the backstab skill. Did I really? Is that what I did? I must have pressed the wrong... Uh, there's a lot of buttons to press when you're doing it. Darn. Not a lot of people use it for some reason. 
I really do think it's because of the slow speed. It's very slow. And you could just have Star Child Claymore, and it does more damage and has more impact and way faster speed. But this is really a good weapon. Wish there were more skill trees with more weapons specific skills, like the Greatsword skills. If they'd added, like, another DLC, they could have done another thing similar to what they did with, uh... Like, the specialized trainers and stuff from Caldera. I honestly should have just given Caldera more specialized trainers. Which game have you enjoyed more overall? Outward or Remnant 2? Honestly, they're both about the same. I mean, I've played both about the same amount of hours-ish. I mean, I've played Remnant 2 less because it's been out less, but like, in a, like in terms of making content, I played about done about a very similar amount. I've played quite a bit. I like them for different reasons. Like Remnant 2, I like the action and the combat. That I could just constantly be in, you know, getting in engaged combat. And then in Outward, I just love the adventure overall. I don't have my lantern on. The combat feels like part of a journey. Alright, you got Element of Vulnerability. The Giga Sheen's still going. You know it, DJ. I'm gonna eat it. I mean, he doesn't... He can't hurt me really that much. It does a little bit, but... Not, not that bad. Glowstone backpack. I think I need to give this to what? Mofat, maybe? Ooh. Palladium Great Hammer. Pathfinder, but that's some decent loot right there. The sneaky greatsword user. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't nerf it to the ground, kinda, in your weapon bounce patch. Yet no one complained because no one uses it. Yeah, exactly. What'd you do to it? I don't even know. I just got beat in mainline faction without dying, but accidentally fought Lightmender and got stomped. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lightmender's tricky, man. I mean, he looks like he's not gonna be that bad after you've fought him several times. You're like, I, I, I'm okay at him. But you get one slip up and he just, boom, clocks you. The mayor in Monsoon? Okay. I think it says that too, doesn't it? Like Lockwell? Yeah, Lockwell. I think you could turn it in in Harmattan as well to someone. But I don't know if it matters that much. Certainly wasn't built for electric resistance at all. Yeah, it's just it's just a tricky fight. Real easy to screw up one tiny thing. Because he's very aggressive. Like with Jade Lich, at least there's a lot of room. Because there's a lot of... His, his attacks are slow. They're dangerous, but they're slow. And you can easily get away from him. Lightmender's just really fast. Fought well, Lightmender with a ghost today, and it was kind of trivial. Like, you took the ghost buddy in there? That's fun. Sometimes I can't get up this hill. Hey, silver helmet. That's a really good find, too. Immediately heals wounds unlike most foods.
It just gives you like a ton of health. I have two tents right now, that's why I'm heavy. I mean, there's other reasons, but... There we go. The attack, uh, which creates a volley of lightning projectiles, can easily one-shot you if you're up close. Yeah, I've had it happen to me before. I think I was streaming, too. He does it, and all of a sudden, you just, boom, get hit by five balls at the same time, and they all instantly kill you. Nuts. Swap the decay and physical damage values, but made it so enemies become super weak to effect buildup. Mmm, interesting. Yeah, Glowstone is kind of... I don't know. I, I don't know what they did. I don't know, like, where it should be in the game. It's just a very awkward backpack. Like, they took it to effect, the Lightmender's backpack, that it was too strong, and they changed it. But then they didn't modify Glowstone to have any value. It really should have a little bit more. I think it's 75, isn't it? It's only 75. It's just too low. It's a great idea, but it's too low. It needs to be at least 85. That's why Zorn's is good, because it's 85. Like Brigands? I think even Brigands has 70. But with there, you're getting a free dodge and physical resist, or a physical damage, 15%. With the uh, Glowstone, it's like, you get a light source and no carry weight. Monster that scares me, low level. Tonosaurs are no joke. Dude, they're monsters. For real. They're very tough. I just got aggro, maybe? No. Doesn't even glow that well. Yeah, it should at least be, like, way better light than anything else we have. It's just an option. That's it. That is what it is. It's an option. It's not like it's a good option. It's not like it's a bad option. It's just something you can use. Yeah, Zorn is definitely the exception, but like an extra light source is not much. Like, think about it. Brass Wolf offers two protection. Dude, you're going to complain about protection? That's awesome. Uh, Mephinos gives you literally the most carry weight. Like, that's obviously good. I'm trying to think of the other backpacks. 10% damage boost from the Lightmender backpack. I guess they were just thinking, oh, this has light, but... I don't know. I feel like if it had at least 80 capacity, it'd be more usable. Tonosaurs are new beaters. Dude, I think I have a clip of this on my Discord. I don't know if it's a clip of that though. It might not. It might not be. There was a there was a moment in one of my sh my older sh outward streams where I was heading from Monsoon to the Lightmender's Tower to get out of the swamp, and I came upon an Alpha Tonosaur. Right, the reason the Alpha Tonosaur was there because he's not supposed to be in that location. I was under the mountain. He had fallen off of the very tall cliff that he's usually on top of. And was down there. While I'm fighting this Alpha Tonosaur, I had uh, another three Tonosaurs attack me. I was fighting four Tonosaurs at the same time. Let me tell you, if you think anything's tough, that is tough right there. That did not go well. Mephinos has two boxes strapped to a chair. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Oh, what'd you do to it in the mods, Perboina? Like the Alchemist backpack, since I like the horde food. Alchemist backpack is amazing. Also has the best fashion, dude. The Alchemist backpack has just literally the best fashion. It looks amazing. <laughs> Your friends who don't play Outward laugh how Mafinos look. That's kind of funny. 
Well, well, well. Someone knows how to use Brace. Brace really does kind of change the game for you. I think that's kind of... That skill in particular is a... It's like one of these humps that you just have to get over as a new player. Once you figure out how Brace works, what it actually does, then you go, Oh, I can beat this game. I could stop dying. Because you can start every fight with a major advantage. Glowstone Backpack works as a lexicon. Oh, I remember you telling me that. That's awesome. That's a cool idea. Yeah, you were a genius with that one. That's a brilliant idea. That gives it so much more use. I need to get the lightning buff on here. Think Tonosaurs are tough? Wait till you fight one in the unknown arena. Ooh, he's tricky. Because he has a massive range attack, too. He's got a really massive range attack. You, wait a moment. Why don't you let me walk to Damien myself? I'm on the way, dude. I gotta get my stuff from Mofat first. Watch yourself out in the marsh. It's never safe out there. Listen to me. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. I honestly think that as long as it has something that's more, you know, something more unique to it, then it's a much more usable backpack for sure. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to throw that one on when we do our, our mod stream Saturday. That mod is just super cool. Any amount of change to a backpack is awesome for me. What'd you Make do to Brass quick. Wolf? Did you change that one at all? I've been hearing rumors. I I beg your I'll pardon. hire some more guards, he says. Good job, buddy. If you want to do something about Sorobor's involvement, you'll have better luck in Berg. I think I'm going to just go back to our mat and, and then try and travel from there to Levant. I don't really want to walk all the way to Monsoon right now. I got 200 silver. I should have the rations, too. Yeah, I got plenty of stuff. Greetings, friend. Yes. Take me to our math and do I have everything here? Let's think. I got all the skills. I got purifier done and I got lightning boon. Yeah, let's get out of here. The mod lets you travel with a caravaner. That one's amazing as well. Yeah, it's a really good one. Because the stuff like this right here where I, like, have to go back here and then hope that it changes, and then... Yeah. Greetings! Yes! Level! Greetings, friend! Well, that worked out really well. I don't have any gold. Why? Doesn't matter. Palladium Greyhammer is amazing. Greetings, friend! Yes. One thing I need now is what? The thing from Zierzo? And then I can get brand. So no compass in the game? Lack of navigation. You mean that cup? What are you talking about, compass? Oh, you mean like a mini-map? Or like telling you where you are? That's kind of the idea, though. Like, uh, they want you to have to, like, use the environment to kind of try and travel around. It's very frustrating early on 
when you haven't played too much because you don't know any of like the land markers or like a river basically like an end marker you can follow the river and get pretty much anywhere you need to so that's frustrating at first one like once you kind of get where stuff's at it gets a lot better you can also mark the map you can put like a little marker on there if you think that's where you're at, or if you notice a location that has a unique item or something. Make you want to play Outward again? The game's too good. I know, fam. It really is. Alright, we got the Glowstone Backpack. We've got the Mage's Fire... What? Whatever it is. Hoking Stick. I need to buy the Alchemist thing while I'm here. Do I have money? I don't have money. I need to grab my gold. I want gold. I kind of just want silver. Alright, we got a couple of uniques to kill, and we can... Let's just do the quest here. How can I help you? What do I need to get? I just said something. I've lost a train of thought that I had. Oh, the thing from him. Isn't it 800, though? I, it's very expensive. I should have enough money. How can I help you? 700. And the swamp, you follow the pilgrim road? Yeah, the pilgrim road is a really cool idea. Because honestly, the swamp of all the places is the worst as a beginner. Like, you... Trying to find where you are is awful. It is such an awful experience. And then, once you kind of realize where that pilgrim road is, you go, oh, this is actually really helpful. It's still a little tricky to kind of find what's going on and where those are at, but it's a lot better. Let's make some... Do I need bouillon? I don't need bouillon yet. Chapoyon. It's a cool animation. Thoughts on the Kazite light set? The cooldown one? Oh, it's very good. Insanely powerful. I don't use it that much because it is a light set. And it does not provide damage for the most part. I mean, it's mostly the cooldown that you're getting going for. Do I want those in here? I think I want to keep those. Um, I don't need the tent. Ah, yeah. Why I have mushrooms? I'll never know. Okay, next part of the quest. Let's do this. I like that the caravaner aren't your personal transportation vehicle, but it sucks having to really rely totally on RNG. Yes, I think, honestly, what it should do is it should rotate. And in order. Okay, so if he's going to... If you go to Harmattan and he's going to Levant... Because that makes more sense anyway. Imagine, like... If he's going to go from one location to the next, that makes more sense. If he goes to it from Levant to Armat and back to Levant, that's like, why? So, I think they should have it in a rotation where it goes Sierzo, Levant, Monsoon, yada yada. So, if you see it and you go, oh, it's this one, I know when the next town is in the lineup. That way you can sleep a certain amount of days. Right now, you just have to wait this and hope, you know? My mind. When entering my chest, my FPS drops? Hmm. I'm guessing it's a setting you need to change, but I have no idea. I've never had that happen. The worst of the, this, the Corsairs are extremely... You're a somewhat recent addition Dude. to the city. It's possible the people in the slums might open up to you. Oh, I gotta talk to them, don't I? Every place discovered should be permanently marked on the map with a description. Um... Uh, Description, I guess, is not there, yeah. I mean, technically, they are there, though. Let me see. 
Let me show you. Like, not every place you visit, because there are some places that don't... Like, for instance, they're not really places, you know? But all of the main... Like, towns or uh, a structure, stuff like that. Yeah, like this right here. Like, I mean, Stone Titan Caves is marked right here. There's really nothing in between here. The wall guard. I mean, they give you the big stuff. I guess they don't mark, like, entrances to stuff. Because there's an entrance to a building right here. There's an entrance to something right here. Uh, you can get in the slide from here as well. They kind of show you the general area, I guess. It would be cool if you could draw on the map instead of just having markers. Ooh, that is a cool idea, because you could draw your own sort of, like, directions to it. That's a really neat idea. You could, like, circle a location or something. Like, with a giant circle. You know, not like a small one, like, with the indicator. But you could circle a giant circle to tell you this area has whatever. Hey there. I've seen... I wonder... Uh, what he say? I wonder. I need to go down here. What now? <laughs> what now? <laughs> oh, I need silver, dude. Dang it. That's unfortunate. What's up, Great White? Been spamming your vids for a minute now. Learned a lot from you. Good content. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. You touch it, you buy it. Thank you very much. Got the Chimera pistol. Fifty silver. Well, there's thirty-four. I need like a little bit more from that. Forty-nine. There we go. I think both points are fair. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not oriented for everybody. The whole real map thing. Fine. I enjoy it, obviously. I think it adds to the game, but obviously, for other people, I think it's... That is that is something that is well-known that people don't like, is that you can't... The map is hard to read. And you can use a mod to download that. It is very cool. I tried that, ma that mod. It's actually a really fun mod, because you can see where all the enemies are, too. It, like, shows you the giant, the unique giant for each area and all that stuff. Really fun. I think you, like most games, most games would take away your abilities and make you fight him with a basic set of stuff. This game's like, nah, just roast him, bro. <laughs> Howard's like, nah, just roast the guy. Um, what? Listen up. Don't I have to go down? I think so. Just like, I'm gonna hit you with my iron sword. Me, I'm just gonna stab you one time. Eh, it flies across the screen. It's a very forceful stab, too. I mean, it does a lot of impact. Where am I going? Oh, this way. I'm surprised. The most surprising thing about Outward is we've never gotten a game like Outward. We get games that are survival oriented. We get games that are RPG oriented. We've never gotten a game that is similar in design to Outward specifically. 
Like, there's a lot of different ideas around RPGs and stuff, but this game has a very distinct feel to it, and nothing else is like it. To be fair, though, it's not a very easy design to copy, or at least replicate, because there's a lot to this game. Companions in the form of NPCs. Yeah, the NPCs really don't have any major connection to you other than O'Leal. I think she's the only NPC you really care about for the most part. Kurat or, uh, what's his name? Not Kurag. Kurag, it's the one dude. What's his name? It starts with a C. K. No, 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 it doesn't. Yazan. Ah, it starts with a Y. Yazan is another one that has a very close connection to you. He's probably the... The second closest to your character. The thing about the Soraborians DLC is they tried to make Desi close to you. I think that's her name. Well, she's not. Like, she just doesn't have a close connection to you at all. Other than being a beginning character. Going out on her own. And then Berg. Berg tries to connect you to Risa. I guess they try to connect you to Roland, so you have a little connection to Roland as well. He feels like your buddy. But other than those three characters, that's there's not much connection. I mean, you try they try to connect you to Risa Aberdeen, but she's like somewhat evil at the same time. Like she's not that good of a person overall. An assassin. Morrowind has a lot of the open world. Do you do what you want feel? One complaint I have is I wish they had mounts. Mm. I need to play Morrowind. That's the one that a lot of people have brought up when I play this game. Is Morrowind. They're going to turn around. Just got to wait for them to go a different direction. Let's see. Where are you going? There we go. He didn't see me. Ah! You suck, bro. Watch this. See me now. Wow. Backstab does way more damage. I think it's because I get a damage increase whenever I have pain on the enemy. We're really just showing the power of the Manticore dagger right now. That's really all we're doing. Because <laughs> my main weapon's not that good. Alright. Uh, I can't protect my cold that much, but... Alright, that's way too many enemies. The first crew, I was fine with. Now that I've already seen four more, I'm good. Not with a dagger, bro. Where's the door? Oh, back here. Maybe I like backstab this witch. That'd be cool. Or I could miss. Oh, I thought that was a guy as a cactus. That explains a lot. Oh, he should die. These guys wanted it. I had to give it to him. The shield guys are the tough ones. Because if they block, I'm immediately in trouble. Give me an opening. Ooh, that was a... I didn't even mean to hit him. I got lucky. He died, too. All right, now it's one-on-one, -on -one, bud. What you gonna do? You're gonna die. That's what you're gonna do. Did you grab a worm from Taylor? Yes, I did. Good reminder. Game get updates? No, this game is completely finished at this point. They are uh, they are done making anything for it. Actually, they did release a update not a couple months ago, maybe they ch they made a couple changes. They added um, I think the enchantment that gives raw damage to weapons now 
regens their durability, I think is what it was. I think you've tried every build combination yet. I've I've tried every build like idea that you can do. I there's might be some combinations that I haven't tried though. What? Not happening. In terms of skill trees. Oh no. He is. Mm. Listen off with you. I just didn't want to fight him. They can live. They're not that bad. Yeah, Polter guys, thank you. Yeah, I've said it many times. I think one thing they could have definitely done to improve is add a lot of random encounters. Like, random animal encounters in the world or random caravans that are broken down. You just get to talk to an NPC and, you know, be like, what's going on? Things like that. Some skill trees that don't work together. I mean, they all work together in a way in that they're usable, but some don't have the... They don't have, like, a lot of incentive to use them together. You know, I agree with that. Just keep doing that for fun, I guess. I, I just thought he was going to hit me. I don't know. Alright, last thing we'll do for the day, I'll go to Sandro's cave, and then that'll have to be it for the day. Give us a boob. I know, right? A lot do, but some just feel like trying to push the triangle pieces together. I... Oh, into a square hole? Yeah, I somewhat agree. Like, let's take, for example... The ball hermit goes with everything, so you immediately take that off the table. It's always good. It's just a jack-of-all-trades type of deal. Because of the breakthrough. Um, Speedster. There's a great example. Speedster does not go with anything. In fact, Speedster is probably the most specialized skill tree in the entire game. It only works with certain things. First off, it doesn't work with... Like, it works with magic, but only if you're wanting to spam cooldown. Pretty much. Um... It doesn't work with a lot of melee build. I would say it's probably... I guess you could use it with shield decently. This is not an easy skill tree to use, especially compared to some of the others. Like, a lot... Like, yeah, I agree. Like, in one aspect, Speedster seems like a weak skill tree. Because if you think about it, it kind of feels weak just because of the low usability. However, the builds that do make use of Speedster are ridiculously strong. Like... Max cooldown on chakrams, you know, stuff like that. Dude, stealth in this game is actually the most fun thing ever. That guy just turned around. And saw me. Turned back around so I could backstab him. I appreciate that. The dedication to the backstab is very high. Oh, he saw me. I got a little too close there. Uh, what's up, Mario? Will you be playing Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes. 100%. That is my game for the year that I'm waiting on. For sure. The problem is, the Speedster is you have to change your play style for the attacks. It's very, very true. Very, very true. You kind of have to play into it a lot. Uh, that's my issue with it, too. You know, I don't play Speedster very often. Almost never, in fact. I almost never play that class. Not because I think it's a bad class, just because I have no reason to use it most of the time. 
I'm trying to think of stuff that I can do here. I, I don't have, like, a lot of... Buffs, per se, I guess? Maybe, um... That? As long as I have my stamina... That's the easy thing about daggers. As long as you have your stamina up, you're good. That's pretty much all you need. These guys are gunning for me. I'm just gonna leave. I can't kill him from here. Actually, can. Hold on. So high for Dragon's Dogma 2? Yeah, it's it's gonna be fantastic. No doubt about that. That first game... The first game was just so much fun. In, like, every regard. That sucks. These archers are very accurate. Dude, I know I can get across there. Can you not? I thought I had before. I feel like I'm just hitting at the wrong spot. Huh. You cannot get over there. I was like 80% sure that I was wrong about that. You totally can. Oh. Let's activate this, I guess. Well, this is the easy way. I was trying to do the hard way, dude. I was trying to be cool about it. That's a good time for my dagger to break. I stop hitting me with stuff. I don't appreciate it. Time for a quick naparoo. Actually, wait up. I got an idea. Okay, finish Purifier Quest before I keep going, man. I feel like Purifier Quest is timed. Uh, I would finish Purifier. Yes, it is very much timed. It's the only quest... It's the... Well, one of two, but it's the most timed quest in the game. It's the only one you have to be really careful about. Most of the others have a pretty... lenient time limit on them. Actually, watch this. Guaranteed Ambush. Missed it last time because of that. Yeah, as soon as uh you've as soon as you finish the first the first section of your faction quest and start the next one, purifier begins and you need to do it then because it ends at the end of that that part of your campaign quest. Okay, I got woken up, but there's no one here. Hmm, fascinating. Watch one of your vids where you hit the wind temple up early for access to horror weapons. That was game changing. I start every game with that now. <laughs> nice. You like that? Yeah, we uh we started doing that a couple of times on the streams. I was like, man, this is too efficient. And then I made that guide for it. And I really realized how efficient it was. Because you can literally make more money than you need for half the game at the very start of the game. It's insane. It's really cool that you can do that. That wasn't possible before Definitive Edition. I mean, you could do a lot of things to get money, but... The money-making strategies were largely improved by the DLCs. Quite a bit, actually. I don't think I see anything else I need. Maybe Stealth Up. Let's do Stealth Up.
All right, we're not gonna be able to see anything for a hot minute. There's usually an assassin bug somewhere. Look at my little purple glow. Ooh, that's so cool. Totally missed. Wait, what do I need to use? I thought that was it. I forgot I had that on my, my inventory, too. What is... Oh, yeah, I can't even use blood turret. Crap, I forgot I could... I thought I could use it for some reason. I need the ghost to use that. That sucks. I can still use dagger slash, though. I was thinking... This whole time I was thinking, oh, I can use... Uh, Dude, get the freak over here. I can use the blood turret. I can't use that. I can only use... The dagger. Really? Now we choose the gang up? That's cool. Convenient! Yeah, no conjure. That's a bummer. Not too big of a deal, though. Dagger Slash is still enough to make it worth using. Do Ice Rag. Did I forget to use the Ice Rag? I think I... Or the Ice Varnish? Because I feel like I didn't have it on. All stealth. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. You don't want some of this, huh? Oh, my word. Every time I try and run... These guys suck with the dagger. Their backing up thing is awful for it. The hitbox is just so bad. There we go. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to see. Forgot to turn that back on. Metalized bones again. Unfortunate. Mana push will be great as well, though. I do need to go to Cabal Hermit Tower and get it. Yeah, the K-Boon, I should have got when I went to Armatton, but I just kind of passed on it for the moment. I'll do it later. It would really skyrocket my damage, though. I'll say this. You know, stealth isn't required by any means on the build I'm doing. Especially that, that skill, you know. That skill just makes it so the enemies don't see you, though. Like, even when you're not stealth, they just don't see you. You can get much closer to them before they prep to fight you. Look at that one dagger attack right there. That's nutty. What do they got? Ooh, okay. Oh, uh, mana stones. Hey, anyone notice no ghost that showed up every three minutes? I don't know what that's about. Did you still talk to Friendly Immaculate? Yes, I can. Yeah. I just, again, I haven't been back to Zero Zero or Jersonese at all. Yeah, see, I got all the way up here before he noticed me. That's not good. Can't see. This area is too small.
Making too many hits from them because I can't maneuver a little bit in this cave. All I'm trying to say is wait till I get a weapon that inflicts pain. <laughs> this is going to be vastly improved and it's already insanely good. Ooh, those are good potions to have. I like that. Back here. Nothing? Okay. Yes. Um, the dagger, for whatever reason... Not even necessarily for whatever reason. It applies in one hit once you backstab. I believe it'll do the same thing with opportunist stab. I'm not 100% though. Backstab gets four times damage, and I must be related to damage. It's a percentage, but... I think because it does double it does double the damage the dagger normally does, it's gonna double apply it, maybe. Oh yeah, it moves slow, okay. Rupture torture are affected by pain and confusion. Yeah, pain's actually very useful. You know what's really fun? One of the more fun things you can do in the game is make a hex mage. You use brand. And you have a mini saber enchanted weapon. Because it inflicts chill and pain. And if you're playing into ice, like very heavily playing into ice, you can... I definitely press the button. Oh, wrong one. You can do a lot of damage by just snapping Rupture and Torment over and over again after you apply the Pain and Chill. I've, I did it before. It was actually really fun. Subscribe now, so I'll see it when you're live. Hey, catch you later, Great White. Glad to hear it, man. Have a good night, dude. Alright, got all that. Gotta give me my Brass Wolf backpack. Can't be leaving that up here. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. As in, none at all. They just wanted me to redo that. That's all there is. Playing with a Rainbow Hex Steel Saber? Yeah, I mean, you can't beat that, though. What is with this hole? I've never fallen down that, and I fell down it twice. Incredibly inconvenient. I think that's it. I think we did the whole thing. Pretty sure there was an ornate chest somewhere, but I don't. I didn't see it. Uh, Probona said it's increasing the amount of hits, not actually damage. Gotcha. Your ornate chest is hidden very well. I figured it probably was. I think it has something to do with that back area I walked by. I'm not worried too much about it, so. Well, I need the cool bone. I think this might be the most progress I've ever gotten on a faction quest in one stream. I usually get very little because I'll do other stuff. Mainly build up the build. This build got together really quick though because all of the stuff was in the direction that I needed, sort of. Let me check my quest tab. I don't know what I need to do here. Go to the city of Berg and Enmerker Forest. To warn someone. Oh, that's Purifier. Uh, talk to Yazan. That's when the desert looks really cool right there. 
It's all lit up and everything. I need to go kill Alexis. I need to remember to do that. She may give me one that I need. Need to do some shenanigans with the train cards to get it? I appreciate the spelling there. <laughs> grab a Chimera Pistol, I think. I could probably grab one for me, too. I'm debating on it. I would recommend mouse and keyboard. I always used to play this on a controller, too, because I started on Xbox. And so when I switched over, I was like, oh, I'm used to it. It'll be better on mouse or on controller. I think this game is vastly improved by mouse and keyboard. Your ability to control the battlefield is much higher. Especially when you're, like, trying to use daggers and roll behind people and stuff. Backstabs in particular benefit highly from... From mouse and keyboard, in my mind, at least. If you're not going to play co-op. Co-op, obviously, you could just use it, really, whenever you need to. You'd be like, hey, go get his attention. He got his attention. Stab. I beg your pardon? Are you uh -huh. curious? That should work. Old Levant key. Easier to switch directions and control the camera. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, a lot more control over stuff, which is really the best advantage you can get in the combat. Especially some of the harder fights, like the Scarlet Emissaries and stuff like that. You need to be able to move very freely. Okay. Let me put that back in here. Fire varnishes. I need to keep some of those on me, actually. And I th think that's all I need. What subclass do you recommend for Rune Sage or Rune Mage? Well, you would run Rune Mage with the Runic Prefix if you want to run it primarily. And then I would run Cabal Hermit alongside it for the damage. And if you want easy access to mana, you can go Philosopher. If you don't care about mana too much, you think you're fine with potions, you can go... Um... You can go Mercenary to reduce your movement speed. Not reduce your movement speed, to reduce the stamina cost of you running around a lot. Because runes, you're running a lot. You're running forward, putting a trap down, running back. So Mercenary is not bad with that. Anthony, what a great day of gaming. I appreciate the stream, dude. Glad I caught the hour bug game. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Glad to have you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the day. That is a nine-hour stream of Outward. So this was a lot of fun. We got a lot done. I think I'll probably end up streaming tomorrow again because I want to I want to beat this playthrough this week. Um, and I like I said, I don't have much Remnant 2 content to work on or anything, so... If I, I definitely stream on Thursday like I always do. That'll be at 4. I'm not going to change the time on Thursday at all. Um, and we'll get back into it. We'll finish Faction Quest and start Antique Plateau, all that jazz. Because we got our, all our classes and everything set up. All our we Not all our weapons. We're still working on the main weapon, but we're really close. We just need one more thing and grab Sky Crown, and then we're in business for sure. Honestly, I watched your content for a while now. Never got to catch a stream like this. Yeah, I was glad to have you. You were here the whole time, I think. Had lots of fun. Thanks for the time. You bet, for sure. Yeah, I'll be live some more times this week. So if I'm... Um, just come by. Have a chat. It'd be fun. Looking forward to Mark. Heck yeah, dude. March is going to be awesome. Dragon's Dogma 2. Would you mind me joining on Saturday, by the way? Uh, let me ask Six, and I'll give you a heads up. Yeah. I wouldn't mind, but let me ask him first, because he's the one that... He asked me about it, so... Let me see what he says, and then, uh, I'll... I'll give you a heads up. Here's we can do the, the multi-co-op mod, yeah. But, yep. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for the stream. It was fun. Thanks for being here. I will... Uh, I'll put out the stream on Discord and everything whenever I go live so you can see it, and that's it for me. So, have a good rest of your week. Or to on it. I'll see you, I guess.
This is great. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, catch you later, JD. All right, everybody. Have a good night. I'm out of here.